Hi everyone. Very good evening to all of you. Yes, yes, everyone. Yes, yes, good evening, good evening. I can see the chats here. Yes, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Or Hamasha Kitarat Hamasha Kitarat Thoda Saleto. Okay. As usual, okay. <laughs> yes, 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 I'm good, I'm good. Uh -huh. Chalo, hai. I can see your chats here. Yes, all of you, tell me, how are you going to go? Hello, sir, Kim Cho, Bhalo Vache, I'm going to go. Yes, अच्छा है, very good. ये बताओ, so far see, yes. So now we are going to start with the rapid revision of psychiatry. So now you tell me, have you revised psychiatry completely? एक बार पूरा revise किया, all of you? एक बार, at least for one time. Uh, like in the different different colleges, I have complete, I have completed psychiatry in detail, right? So now we are going to have only rapid revision. The most important topics we are going to revise, we are going to learn, and from See, especially those topics I will be emphasizing where uh, like so many questions are being framed, right? Yes. Chalo, okay, no problem, Dr. Sayed Asif. Sir, you have a comment on cricket. Okay. I'm showing you a lot of Harsha Bhogle. Okay, we'll do it. We'll run away. What was the last time in the last time? All right. Fine. So let's start. See here. First of all, I'm going to show you all the chapters. See here. Now, first of all, you tell me how many questions you are expecting from psychiatry. How many questions you expect in upcoming FMG exam? See here. These are all the chapters which I'm showing you. How many questions do you expect? As per blueprint, you will say, sir, five marks. As per blueprint, you will say five questions only. But remember here. These days, there is a changing pattern now. Last time, see, exam was very, very difficult. Right now, last time, exam was very, very difficult. Do you know how many questions they have asked? Last time, they have asked, in psychiatry, they have asked 13 questions. 13 questions. So now you will ask, how? So first of all, let's understand which chapters are most important, where you are going to invest your time, right? Okay, fine. This time, INI CT, they have asked seven questions. See, NEET PG, eight questions. Last time, FMG question 13. Before that, nine questions. So, on an average, I expect minimum up to 10 questions in psychiatry. Let's understand how. First of all, these are psychiatric topics. From here, I expect six to seven questions. From here, I expect six to seven questions. Six to seven questions, these are going to be the direct questions. How to diagnose schizophrenia, how to diagnose depression, mania, mood disorders, substance abuse, right? No? See like the pediatric psychiatric disorder, after sleeping disorder, eating disorder, anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa. These are actually direct questions, all right? But the most important thing which most of the students are leaving. Remember here, most of the students are not emphasizing that is actually what? Psychopharmacology. Psychopharmacology. See here, from here, I expect five questions. I am telling you five questions from psychopharmacology, antidepressant drugs, mood stabilizer drugs antipsychotic drugs, treatment of schizophrenia, treatment of mania, treatment of sleeping disorder, treatment of eating disorder, side effects of antipsychotic drugs, side effect of antidepressant drugs. So psychopharma, I'm telling you, extremely, extremely important. Please revise it well. I will be covering all the new medicines which have recently approved right now. So psychopharmacology, I'm telling you five questions minimum. Last time in MCI, last time in FMG, they have asked 13 questions. Out of 13 questions, 7 questions were related to psychiatry, direct psychiatry. And 6 questions were related to psychopharma. Psychopharma question, right now? So yes, 
So we have to emphasize on psychopharmacology more this time. So first of all, now you see here how many questions we can expect from different, different, right now from different, different chapters. First of all, most important chapter is general psychiatry. Most important chapter is always general psychiatry, where we are going to learn about mental status examination, basic, basic definitions. Do expect that, see, suppose if they are going to ask you six questions in psychiatry, means 100% only psychiatry question, one question will be one liner. Five questions will be big, big, you have to decode the language. So see, from general psychiatry, we are going to learn about delusion, hallucination, sorry, delusion, hallucination, mental status examination, all in neurotransmitters, dopamine, serotonin. So from the first chapter, general psychiatry, you can expect two questions for sure. Two questions for sure. See, schizophrenia one or two. Substance abuse, minimum two to three questions. Minimum two to three questions, substance abuse. And in substance abuse, most important is alcohol. And can you tell me what is the most important topic? Yes, what is the most important topic in substance abuse? Uh, Dr. Shivram, yes, psychopharma karaunga, bahut achche se karaunga, right? Yes, Dr. Zanab, Dr. Pushpendra, all of you, yes, very good. I'm glad to see all of you. Yes. I can recall some of your names. Okay, different, different colleagues. Yes, Dr. Mizanur Rahman. Yes, Dr. Raman Saini. Dr. Lokesh. Dr. Amit. Yes, Dr. Divya Reddy. Yes, Dr. Vijesh. Yes, very good, very good. All of you? Yes. In substance abuse, most important topic is alcohol, alcohol, alcohol. In the alcohol, what is the most important topic? Can you tell me any kind of delirium? Are you able to recall? Can you answer me? Which one? Which delirium? Bolo, answer karo. Delirium tremens, most and most important. Second most important, Wernicke's encephalopathy. Remember here, fine? After that mood disorders, if you see the question of last time MCI question, no, from mood disorders means what? Depression and bipolar disorder. Last time FMG, only from depression they have asked three questions, three questions. So on an average from mood disorder, we can expect minimum one to two questions. Minimum one to two questions. Yes, after that, neurotic disorders like anxiety, phobia, panic disorder, PTSD, OCD. One question pakka from here, one question from here, and somatoform disorder like somatization, hypochondriasis, factitious illness. So in total, one to two questions from here. See, sexual disorders will be covered in psychiatry also, forensic also. Do not leave paraphilia. From sexual disorder, minimum two questions. Minimum two questions you can expect. I'm saying, I'm not saying 100%. 100% no one can say. Expect. Because sexual disorder will be covered in psychiatry also. And forensic also. Paraphilia. Paraphilia, sadism, masochism, lust murder. Right? See, I've taught you everything in detail. So, so see, see here. Sexual disorder, see, in psychiatry, these days... So like in the upcoming exam, I can expect one question related to the management, related to the medicine, new drug. Okay. Eating disorder, anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa, very important. Child psychiatry, autism and ADHD. Psychoanalysis, last time one question. Sleep disorder, narcolepsy and all. Personality disorders, I expect one. Remember here, an organic mental disorder will be covered in neuromedicine also, right? No, like delirium, dementia, amnesia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's and all. So see here, now when you see all these chapters, now you can have more clarity where to spend more time. Again, I'm telling you, psychopharma, no one is going to leave. Psychopharmacology, even when you are revising pharmacology, CNS drugs, please revise it well. All right, chalo, let's start. Yes, very good. Dr. Koshar Alam, you are asking, sir, please tell about psychosexual stages of development. Obviously, I'm going to cover this topic in psychoanalysis chapter. Okay, now let's start the session. Fine, so we are going to start with rapid revision of entire psychiatry, complete psychiatry. Okay, less question, more revision, more topics. All right, chalo, fine. First of all, general psychiatry. See here, 
Overall, we know the basic things here that the basic point what we have learned that most important neurotransmitter related to psychiatry is what? Dopamine, serotonin, norepinephrine, acetylcholine. Fine. Now we tell me, see, basic thing, whatever we have learned here, that increased level of serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine in a limbic system will cause what? It will cause what? Psychotic symptoms. Our person will become hyper. And in the same manner, decreased level of these neurotransmitters will cause what? Decreased level will be causing what? Depression. Depression. So can you tell me some of the functions of dopamine? This will be covered in your physiology. Please remember here, physiology, don't expect direct question. Physiology will be integrated with neurophysiology, psychiatry, medicine, everywhere physiology will be there. So can you tell me some of the important functions of the dopamine? See, we are going to have revision here. Can you answer me? All of you, please write down in chat box. What are the functions of dopamine? Dopamine ka functions bolo. Dopamine kya kaam karta hai? What dopamine does? I have explained you in detail, right? Can you answer me, all of you? Remember here, yeah, whenever you abuse any substance, mahang, ganja, hashish, cocaine, whatever you want, right? No. After that, you are getting kick, no? Kick because of what? Because of dopamine. So first of all, dopamine is responsible for kick. Dopamine is responsible for kick. After that, you are enjoying, no? Right? After that, you are enjoying after abusing bhang ganja, right? Cannabis, I'm talking about, right? So see here, dopamine is responsible for reward, for pleasure, reward, pleasure, and even for addiction, even for addiction, right? No, even for addiction. Remember here, serotonin is responsible for, please remember, serotonin is responsible for good food, good mood, and good sleep. That's why it is called as what? Happy hormone. Happy hormone. Now if I have a patient, now if I have a patient, 21 year old female, she's saying what? Sir, I do not feel good. I'm not eating well. I'm not sleeping well. For last one month, I'm having some negative thoughts also. So can you tell me the diagnosis? Now I have taught you this month that you can easily answer. Yes, this is a case of what? Depression. This is a case of Depression. So do you think in the depression there is what lack of food, lack of mood, lack of sleep and some other symptoms, right? Okay, fine. So do you think in the depression there is a deficiency of serotonin, right? Deficiency of serotonin. So do you think to treat depression I should be giving a medicine which is going to increase the level of serotonin? Do you think I should be giving SSRI? Yes. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Easy to understand. Whenever I'm going to give SSRI, this is going to increase the level of increase the level of serotonin. Serotonin, very good. Now, without seeing the notes, please write down in chat box. Minimum of five SSRI drugs. All of you, all of you, please write down. Sir, Amit Anand ka shadi ho raha. Wish him good for the new life. Very good. Bahut, bahut mubarak ho aapko. Hai na? Lekin abhi focus karenge hum log. FMG. Okay? Chalo, theek hai. Shadi mubarak ho. Best wishes. Wherever you stay, stay happy. I think Dr. Amit, right? Chalo, great. Okay, fine. Chalo, all of you. Please write down at least five SSRI. Five SSRI. Likho, likho, likho. Yes, very good. See here. Yes, first of all, most important is what? Fluoxetin. See here, I will be writing some drugs. Please keep on writing. I hope all of you have received the notes also, right? PDF is shared, right? Huh? PDF is already shared. Keep on using. Please write down, okay? Fluoxetin. The PDF is already shared in the Telegram group. Link is shared in the chat box here. I can see here. Yes, very good. Fluoxetine, acetalopram, sertraline, dapoxetine, dapoxetine and paroxetine. Dapoxetine and paroxetine. 
मिनिमम फोर टू फाइव ड्रग्स ऑफ एवरी क्लास यू शुड बी एबल टू रिकॉल ठीक है एग्जामिनर्स कैन राइट द नेम ऑफ लो ऑक्सीटेन एसिटेलोप्राम डेपोक्सीटेन राइट नो पैरोक्सीटेन ओके फाइन so now if i can increase the level of serotonin i can treat depression remember here these days ssri this is the drug of choice for drug of choice for depression drug of choice for depression okay very good theek hai chalo fine now serotonin you can understand in the easiest language i can say that serotonin is what serotonin is what Happy hormone, right now, Doctor Shri Niket Kumar. Very good, very good. ठीक है चलो fine. All right. Now you tell me, see here. Now what about norepinephrine? What about norepinephrine? Norepinephrine. This is responsible for alertness, for arousal, alertness and arousal. My question is that if I have a patient of depression, I have started my patient on SSRI, and even after that, if there is no improvement, see here, norepinephrine is responsible for what? Alertness and arousal, no? Alertness and arousal. So you would have seen depression patient also no every time, no? Like this, no every time like this, no alertness, no arousal. So do you think apart from serotonin, I should also be increasing the level of norepinephrine? Yes or no? Answer, tell me. Yes, right now. So now, if my patient is not improving, now apart from serotonin, I should also be targeting for what? Norepinephrine also. So now, do you think I can start my patient on SNRI? Yes, serotonin, norepinephrine, reuptake inhibitor. This will increase the level of both. So can you tell me at least a few examples of SNRI? Please write down in chat box. I can check here. Please write down in chat box, all of you. Very good, doctor. Doctor Kanu said, doctor Momina. Very good. Okay, fine. Please write down. Doctor Shubham Verma, can you please share PDF instead of PPT? I think PDF is already shared in the Telegram group. Please check there. Right now. Yes. Okay. So two SNRI like Venla Faxin. Remember here, like Venla Faxin and Des Venla Faxin. Venla Faxin and Des Venla Faxin. Venla Faxin and Des Venla Faxin. These are two SNRI. Two SNRI. The question is that why I am teaching you all these drugs? Remember here, these days mostly they are asking the questions related to the management of psychiatric patients. okay you no know, so we should know all this my question is that when will you take a decision that you are supposed to start the patient on snri direct question when will you take a decision that you should start your patient on snri please write down in chat box remember here whenever you see that patient is having what lack of drive right lack of motivation lack of motivation lack of energy lack of energy right now if a depressed patient is saying what i don't want to do anything in my life there is no motivation and all right now so remember when there is a lack of energy lack of drive lack of motivation then please choose snri increase serotonin also nor epinephrine also i hope all these points are clear to all of you now Last one here is what acetylcholine. Last one is what acetylcholine here. Acetylcholine. So can you answer me? What is the function of acetylcholine, all of you? Function of acetylcholine. Whenever you smoke a cigarette during the break, है ना? So during class break when you smoke cigarette. After see here when a faculty will be taking class for two hours. After that you are very much you know silent, lack of energy, lack of attention, lack of concentration. During the break when you smoke a cigarette. what is your condition then eh after that you are having good attention good concentration good judgment power good mathematic ability right a good mathematic ability very easy to understand so what does it mean what is there in the cigarette what is there in the cigarette what cigarette is going to stimulate can you tell me see there is what tobacco there is what nicotine nicotine is especially going to stimulate two neurotransmitters one is a dopamine second is acetylcholine because of dopamine you are getting what kick because of choline acetylcholine you will be having what good attention good concentration good judgment power 
गुड मैथमेटिक एबिलिटी गुड लर्निंग एबिलिटी गुड गुड मेमरी पावर इट मीन सिगरेट इज गुड राइट सी सो मेनी बेनिफिट नो है यू कैन से वॉट एसिटाइल कॉलिंग इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर वॉट राइट ना गुड अटेंशन गुड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन राइट नो अटेंशन हॉर्मोन एसिटाइल कॉलिंग इज वॉट अटेंशन हॉर्मोन राइट अटेंशन न्यूरो ट्रांसमिटर यू कैन से लाइक दैट रिमेंबर यू एस एयर when i say like this no uh, acetyl choline is good for attention concentration judgment power it means cigarette is good don't take it seriously see i was taking class somewhere right now so i said the same sentence uh, you know like like sarcastically one student met me during during interval he told me sir because of you i started it again today come on don't do this okay more than 50% of the world's tumor right now that is because of tobacco it means cigarette is bad i have to be very much a specific remember now one more point here that acetylcholine is a, see this also helps in this also enables muscle action enables muscle action here if i have to integrate about acetylcholine with any clinical part which one what about alzheimers do you think in the alzheimer's disease there is what degeneration of neurons producing acetylcholine remember yes very easy to answer. please remember all these points right okay fine okay so now you tell me see here so we have learned about ssri and snri two classification we have completed remember you have to memorize the name of drugs keep in mind okay fine now see here now okay now see here last two last time mci question they have asked you know there was the difference between organic mental disorder and non organic mental disorder this was the question i am telling you last two last time this year only so like uh, so january 2023 question first question how to differentiate organic and non organic mental disorder remember here see first of all see in the class also i have given you the example that if there is a patient after road traffic accident you are getting right no road where patient is having what very good yeah this annotated pdf will also be shared okay don't worry this will be shared okay okay fine So see here, after road traffic accident, if you see head injury, are you going to do CT scan or not? Yes. So what is the investigation of choice here? What is the investigation of choice? NCCT is the investigation of choice in a case of acute head injury. Remember here, in this patient, you can say like this patient is A. In this patient, if you do CT scan, you can see some changes or not. You can see some changes on CT scan. Yes, if you can see some changes, it will be called as what organic disorder. Basically, what if there will be some medical cause? If there will be some medical cause on a radiological investigation, can you see some changes in brain parenchyma, damage of brain parenchyma? Yes, damage of brain parenchyma. This is called as organic. If you have one more patient, patient B, who is actually a medical practitioner, who is standing in operation theater on the fourth floor, he looks very much fine, perfectly fine. Suddenly, during the surgery, he is asking that now, sister G, why this buffalo is singing a song for me in operation theater? Hey, come on, in operation theater, huh? buffalo singing a song, huh? auditory hallucination. Very easy to understand. Now, if you do CT scan, can you see some changes in brain parenchyma? Obviously, answer is what? No. no changes mostly no changes in brain parenchyma on radiological investigation now this will be called as what non organic mental disorder also called as what also called as functional mental disorder very easy to understand in the, at the same time if i ask you what about alzheimer's disease if you do ct scan can you see some changes in alzheimer's disease can you answer me after neuromedicine all of you please write down जल्दी लिखो वॉट वॉट चेंजेस वॉट चेंजेस वॉट चेंजेस राइट द चेंज येस सेरेब्रल एट्रोफी अल्जाइमस डिजीज रिमेंबर हियर अल्जाइमस डिजीज यू कैन सी वॉट cerebral atrophy so on ct scan i am able to see some changes no so alzheimers will be considered as organic disorder non organic disorder answer is what 
organic disorder very easy at the same time alzheimer's will be seen in old age or young age obviously old so remember here organic mental disorder mostly in old age but non organic remember here most of the psychiatric conditions are what functional non organic psychiatric conditions will be starting in young age right now young age always keep in mind that for organic mental disorder some medical causes will be there for sure some medical causes will be there for sure but not non organic not necessarily right okay fine so what are the examples of organic mental disorder first of all remember delirium and dementia delirium and dementia do you think there can be a clouding of consciousness or disorientation to time place and person in organic mental disorder when i talk about delirium answer is yes delirium what is happening in the delirium in delirium sudden onset of symptom disorientation to time place and person so i can say that yes there can be what clouding of consciousness clouding of consciousness yes it can happen in organic but non organic person will be well oriented person will be well oriented okay fine my dopamine is also here hmm. continue now so remember here sometimes examiners will be writing different different terms clouding of consciousness disorientation to time place and person right now disorientation to time place and person altered sensorium asan bhasha mein mental confusion what is the meaning of disorientation to time place and person after head injury if a patient is getting admitted in your emergency department and if you are and if you are wearing a white coat patient is asking you hey are you sanjeev kapoor are you a chef hey what kind of shopping mall is this huh? no music no lighting oh my god it is day or night what does it mean patient is disoriented remember disorientation can occur in organic not in psychiatric so schizophrenia patient will be well oriented easy to understand depression patient will be well oriented so here example i can write down schizophrenia depression yes these are what psychiatric condition these are non organic right now where will you see neurological deficit obviously in the organic not in the non organic hallucination can be seen in both but what is the most common type of hallucination in organic visual keep in mind one liner question but in psychiatric condition most common is what auditory most common is what auditory most common is auditory overall most common type of hallucination is which one overall auditory overall audit out of these two which can which can be acute can you write down all of you organic or non organic very good remember here delirium is what sudden onset acute so organic is acute and non organic is never acute remember here yes, psychiatric condition it will take so much time it will take very very much long time psychiatric condition okay now see schizophrenia will take many many months many many years to develop right now so remember here non organic is never acute this will be what chronic or you can say what very slow and progressive progress slow progressive disease asan bhasha mein in the easiest language i can say organic disorder this is the disorder of brain and non organic this is the disorder of mind so can you answer me the question what they have asked last last to last time in fmg exam which of the following is not a sign or symptom of medical cause of psychiatric condition basically organic disorder patient uh, like examiner has asked option number 1 old age onset option number 2 clouding of consciousness option number 3 acute onset can be there option number 4 auditory hallucination will be more common can you answer me all of you jaldi fast yes very good right now see auditory right now because see here more common is what visual hallucination see here 
See the topic which I have explained you here. Now the topic which I have explained you, this is a very easy topic, but you can easily get confused. But the table which I have shared here, remember here from the basic, basic things also they are asking the question. Now do remember here that non-organic mental disorder is further divided into two, psychotic condition and neurotic condition, psychosis and neurosis. How to differentiate psychosis and neurosis? This is the favorite topic of MCI people. Very, very easy question. One liner question they are going to frame here, right? Okay, fine. Okay, suppose if I have a patient A, patient A and patient B. Patient A is suffering from what? OCD of contamination. OCD of contamination means what? What is the full form of OCD? All of you? Obsessive and compulsive disorder, right? Obsessive and compulsive disorder. OCD of contamination, where a person is having what? Uncontrolled thoughts, right? No, where a person is having what? Uncontrolled thoughts. That what? Hannah, your hands are dirty, dirty, dirty. Wash it, wash it. He knows that, he knows that these thoughts are irrelevant. These thoughts are senseless. So do you think patient is aware about his condition? Yes. Patient knows that these are irrelevant thoughts. And I'm wasting so much of my time, my energy and my money, right now. And I'm suffering from a disorder. So I can say that patient is aware about his disease. Awareness about disease is called as what? Can you answer me? Bolo, awareness about disorder is called as what? Insight. It is called as what? Insight. Insight means what? Okay, remember here, insight means what? Awareness about disorder. Awareness about disorder. Very, very important. You should be knowing this. Awareness about disorder is called a what? Insight. Remember here, if insight is present, it is called as neurotic psychiatric disorder. Neurotic disorder means patient knows that he is a patient. Patient knows that he is a patient. Usko pata hai ki wo bimar hai. Usko pata hai ki wo patient hai. That is called a word insight is person, right? Okay, fine. But what about patient B who is suffering from delusion of grandiosity? Same example I will give you which I used to give during my class. After watching Bahubali movie, a person starts behaving like Bahubali. I am Bahubali. When other people are saying, hey, you are just a common man. Shut up. He saying, shut up. This is my Maheshmati. Now you tell me, do you think he knows that he is suffering from a disorder? No. Insight is absent or present? Insight is absent. Insight is absent. When insight is absent, it means what? He is suffering from a psychotic disorder. Psychotic disorder. You cannot take a chance to forget this word. This is what? Insight, insight, insight. Very, very important. Very, very important. Right now? Okay, fine. Now, the question is that OCD of contamination patient, now OCD of contamination patient, whenever he will be using, suppose, uh, like if a patient OCD of contamination, whenever he is going to use public toilet, no, public toilet, he can see that many people are standing in the queue. Five people are already there. He will take a decision, okay, let them wash first. I will, I will wash in the last. Because if I start now, there will be the biggest line in the history. So do you think his reality testing is, uh, do you think his judgment power is normal or abnormal? See, judgment power is what? Normal. Do you think he is intact with the reality testing? He understands what is happening in and around? Yes, reality testing is also normal. But what about psychotic disorder? Remember here, judgment, power, reality, testing, both are, remember here, both are abnormal. Both will be abnormal. Delusion and hallucination. Delusion and hallucination, these two are psychotic symptoms. Delusion is a disorder of, delusion is a disorder of thought. And hallucination is a disorder of perception perception delusion and hallucination these two are psychotic symptoms so these are present in psychosis absent in neurosis now when i talk about the personality when i talk about personality 
you tell me personality will be preserved in psychosis or neurosis personality means what shirt pant well grooming right now so well groomed personality is normal or preserved personality is preserved in neurotic disorder and personality is disturbed in psychotic disorder so now you can easily understand that ocd of contamination is an example of neurosis at the same time you should know about depression remember your depression also right now depression also so depression is also what depression is also neurotic condition but psychosis most important disorder is what schizophrenia even mania basically a schizophrenia patient does not know that he is a patient he will say that he is normal you are abnormal like that very easy to understand please don't forget this i will spend more time in first chapter and schizophrenia in these two chapters i will be spending more time because from these two chapters only maximum questions are being framed third most important chapter will be substance abuse right now fine so like uh, like apart from that eating disorder and some other disorders i will not be spending so much time right okay fine chalo fine so now i can i i hope that all points are clear to everyone now you see this question the same question i have asked you during class lecture also see the purpose of showing you this question is to understand the framing of the question because i can see here that most of you see uh, uh, like uh, many students are here like who have not attended my live lecture so you can see this question and you will be having more clarity right now do understand this is the normal pattern of framing a question these days in psychiatry big big question will be there five six lines will be there one liner questions are difficult big questions are easy to solve decode the language decode the language i can see that many of you are doing mistake dr adnan is writing d dr vidya pratap is writing writing d dr asab c dr iswan you are writing c dr rajesh you are writing b dr zainab d dr swiss pande wow swiss good डॉक्टर अभिषेक चलो ठीक है आई कैन सी दैट सेवेंटी टू एटी परसेंट ऑफ यू आर राइट इन दिस क्वेश्चन बट स्टिल मेनी ऑफ यू आर डूइंग रॉन्ग नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू टेल मी वट इज द डायग्नोसिस कैन यू आंसर मी वट द डायग्नोसिस यर वट इज द डायग्नोसिस डायग्नोसिस इज ओ सी डी ऑफ कंटामिनेशन राइट नो ओ सी डी ऑफ कंटामिनेशन यू कैन इजिली रूल आउट जस्ट नाउ आई फिनिश नाउ the judgment power is normal yes insight is present yes because see ocd is a neurotic condition reality testing is absent no reality testing is present no so this is wrong here no this is wrong d is wrong here but what about ego dystonic remember here very very important term you always keep in mind always keep in mind there are two words ego syntonic an ego dystonic these two words you cannot forget ego syntonic ego dystonic syntonic means what agreeable to self agreeable to self dystonic means what disagreeable to self suppose see when i talk about personality disorders when i talk about personality disorders now personality disorders are ego syntonic what does it mean patient will never accept that he is a patient if any of your friends who is suffering from any personality disorder no he will be thinking that he is completely normal other people are abnormal what does it mean why because he think that no everything is fine i am okay no problem at all it means what it is agreeable to him he does not find anything wrong this is called as ego syntonic ego syntonic ego syntonic means what i am fine i am okay you are not okay i am okay bhai who are you to ask me ha huh? this is what ego syntonic but what about ego dystonic oh my god oh my god something is wrong with me something is wrong with me it means what i am not happy because of my disease ocd of contamination here patient knows that here patient knows that he is wasting so much of time so much of energy so much of money he knows that oh my god weird thoughts irrelevant thoughts senseless thoughts are there and i am not able to control it right now because of this he is going into depression also so do you think He is happy in his life. No, remember 
OCD of contamination is what? Ego dystonic, dystonic. And personality disorders are what? Ego syntonic. Sir, aaj YouTube ad please off kar dijen. Achha, YouTube ad aara isme kya? See, that is not in my control. <laughs> Chalo, fine. Thik hai na? So now you can easily understand, no? Right? Okay, fine. So remember here, dekho. So far, I have taught you some one-liner question. Insight. Word. What is the meaning of insight? Can you answer me? Insight means what? Awareness about disorder. On the basis of insight, I have divided psychiatric condition into two. Right now, like neurotic disorder, psychotic disorder. Insight is present, neurosis. Insight is absent, psychosis. Next important catchy term is what? Syntonic. Ego syntonic and ego dystonic. Syntonic means I am fine. Agreeable to self. Personality disorders. Ego dystonic. I'm, oh my God, oh my God, what is happening? When person, when patient is not happy with his attitude and work, right? That is disagreeable to him. That is called what? Ego dystonic. Ego dystonic, right? All right. Now see here, let's talk about this mental status examination. See here, whenever I have a psychiatric patient, what is the name of clinical examination in a psychiatric patient? It is called as mental status examination. Mental status examination. Mental status examination. Here at the same point, examiner can confuse. See, this is what MSE. Examiner can write MMSE also. What is the full form of MMSE? Mini mental status examination. Where do we use MMSE by the way? Can you answer me? Where do we use MMSE? All of you, please write down MMSE. Yes, mini mental status examination, where do we use? Organic mental disorder, organic mental disorder. In a case of accident, head injury, in a case of Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, we have to use what? MMSC, right now when I talk about what? Like delirium, right now delirium, MMSC. So, so now please answer me, what are the five components of MMSC? This can be your clinical examination in neuromedicine also. Psychiatry also. So what are the five components of MMSE? First of all, I want to check orientation of patient. How much oriented my patient is? Second, after that, I will give him a white paper. I will ask him write three words. Write three words like hat, cat, mat, whatever. Okay. He has to write three paper registration and then I would like to check his attention and concentration level. Then I will ask him, hey, which words you have written on that paper? Recall. I want to check what? Recall. Recall. And five, I want to check what? Language of the patient. Language of the patient. So these are the five components of MMSC. Remember here, yeah, these are the five components. I have to check what orientation, registration, attention, concentration, recall, language. In total, how much is the score of? In total, how much is the score of MMSC? In total, 30. 30. 30. Maximum score of MMSC is 30. Equal to or uh, less than 24 will be considered as organic mental disorder equal to or less than 24 is called as what organic mental disorder very easy to understand so if i give you two disorders here schizophrenia and delirium or schizophrenia or dementia of alzheimer's where will you do mmsc Schizophrenia or Alzheimer's? MMSC. Answer is Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. Right now? But when I talk about any psychiatric condition, any psychiatric condition, what is the name of clinical examination? Only MSE. Mental status examination. Mental status examination. This part. So see here. See from this point you can expect one question. From this point, from this table you can expect one question. First of all, look at the general appearance of the patient. If patient is maintaining, you know, hygiene, grooming or not, right? Speech rate and tone. So see, see why to look at the general appearance? We can understand patient is suffering from a disorder which can be higher socioeconomic status or lower socioeconomic status, right? Okay, fine. Speech, if patient is speaking a lot, 
patient is speaking a lot. You can say what? He is suffering from mania. A patient is not at all speaking. Not at all speaking. That is called as what? Patient. Mostly patient is in depression. One more term is there. Please write down. That is called as. That is called a prosody of speech. See, this is called a prosody of a speech. Prosody of a speech. What does it mean? Prosody of a speech means what? Emotion of a speech. As per the expression, you can understand. Same word, different expression. Like one Hindi word is then acha. You would have seen that movie in a P.K. Amir Khan movie. In the beginning, you will say, like, expression pe bhi dhyan dena padta hai. Right? Acha, 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 acha. Hamko sikha riya hai. Same word, different expression, means different meaning, no? This is called as prosody of speech. Prosody of speech. Remember here, words are difficult, but important for them. Right? Prosody of speech. Now, mood and affect. Now, remember here, mood and affect. Mood and affect. See, this describe what? Emotion. Emotion. Emotion of the patient. Right? ओके डॉक्टर अमित ये नहीं पढ़ाया आपने अभी आगे टर्म लिख लो लिख लो जो भी एक्स्ट्रा पॉइंट देखो हो सकता है कभी कभी क्लास में कुछ पॉइंट्स मिस होते हैं माइट भी अगर यहां पे एक्स्ट्रा मिले लिख लो राइट डाउन ओके फाइन मूड एंड अफेक्ट डिस्क्राइब व्हाट इमोशन सो आई कैन से डिप्रेशन इज अ डिसऑर्डर ऑफ मूड इज इट टू अंडरस्टैंड मूड डिसऑर्डर डिप्रेशन परसेप्शन हाउ डू यू परसीव एनीथिंग हाउ मेनी सेंसेस डू वी हैव फाइव विजुअल ऑडिटरी ओलफैक्ट्री taste and a touch suppose if there is nothing but you can see something visual hallucination suppose if you are able to hear some voice which other people cannot auditory hallucination you are a cocaine abuser and suddenly you are getting oh my god under my skin something is there something some insects are there some insects are there so kya bologe tactile hallucination kya hai wo tactile hallucination in cocaine in the same manner See, sometimes if you are having, uh, like in any condition, in any pathology, if you are having a sweet gulab jamun, having it, right, no? And after that you are saying what? Oh, yeah, salty, very bitter. Might be gustatory hallucination. This is called what? Gustatory hallucination. Gustatory. Okay, fine. Suppose if a person is going, suppose if a person is having what, you know, like uh, some kind of problem in a smell because of any pathology. If he is going to use a public toilet, public toilet especially of railway station, ammonia, ammonia, full of ammonia, hmm? and then after that he is saying what? And all right, so after that he is saying what? See, after using public toilet of the railway station, person, wow, what a fragrance here, man, what a smell. This is what? Olfactory, right now? Easy to understand? Please uh, write down. Please write down this word. Overall, what is the most common hallucination? Here only please mention it. Please write down. Most common is auditory. Most common is what? Auditory hallucination. Most common is auditory hallucination overall. Visual hallucination. This is most commonly seen in organic mental disorder. When I talk about tactile hallucination, where do we see tactile hallucination? First of all, cocaine. Please write down cocaine. Cocaine. This can also be seen in alcohol withdrawal syndrome. Alcohol withdrawal symptoms. Alcohol withdrawal symptoms. Where, where does a patient have gustatory and olfactory hallucination? Please write down. Especially in a temporal lobe epilepsy. Especially when there will be a problem in the temporal lobe. Very easy to understand. I hope all these points are clear to everyone. One question I would like to ask you here. Tactile hallucinations are also called as. What are the other terms we are using for tactile hallucination? Can you answer me? Bolo all of you. For tactile hallucination, can you write down a few words? Tactile hallucination, important. This is also called as what? Formication. Formication. Also called as 
मैगनस फिनोमेना और मैगनस साइकोसिस मैगनस साइकोसिस मैगनस ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज कोकेन बग्स कोकेन बग्स प्लीज कीप इन माइंड टेक्टाइल हेलुसिनेशन ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ए फॉर्मिकेशन मैगनस फिनोमेना और मैगनस साइकोसिस और कोकेन बग्स दीज टर्म्स आर रिपीटेडली एस्ड क्वेश्चन इन एम सी आई वन लाइन है क्वेश्चन बट फ्रीक्वेंटली वेर डू बी सी कोकेन 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 सेकेंड ऑप्शन एल्कोहल ऑल्सो कीप इन माइंड वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो नाउ आई कैन इजिली से दैट hallucination is a disorder of perception now thought or cognition remember here thought especially you have to learn about what thought right now thought see here i have to i have to check the thought process of patient also what actually my patient is thinking what actually my patient is thinking remember here what actually my patient is thinking so disorder of thought is what illusion delusion is a disorder of thought we should also know sometimes we have to you know sometimes we are using the term cognition also basically cognition is a broader term this is the mental process by which we are learning something like speech memory action behavior orientation right now but here most important component is thought so thought and cognition sometimes these are being exchanged so if i am doing behavior therapy to improve the speech of a person action behavior orientation i am doing behavior therapy no this is called a what cbt this is called as what cbt cognitive behavior therapy cognitive behavior therapy most important line of management in psychiatry remember here for a psychiatric patient we are using what behavior therapy to improve the cognition is called as what cbt given by whom given by aaron beck aaron beck aaron beck remember all these points are very very important and higher mental function like attention concentration judgment power memory power abstract thinking all these are what higher mental function so remember here all these points which i have taught you here these are the components of mental status examination very very important keep in mind okay chalo fine so can you answer me this question very very easy for you now i think this should be the piece this should be the piece of cake for you people now answer karo obviously radiological investigation you can easily rule out no ct scan mri in the in the see these we are not using in the mse right now radiological investigation right now radiological investigation is not the component of mse mental status examination very good i can see that all of you are correct in this question very good now see here let's talk about the disturbances of emotion we have to learn about all these why i am explaining you all this i could have left all these topics but remember here from here you can expect some question i have to see i have to divide remember here the disturbances of emotions i have to assess like quality of emotion fluctuation of emotion first of all see here i want to assess the quality of emotion my patient is sitting in front of me here only right i have to check the quality of emotion of my patient i can see that my patient after abusing bhang he is very happy laughing jumping dancing euphoria right now euphoria see when my patient is happy is laughing jumping dancing when i'm ask when i'm ask hey what happened i don't know he saying what i don't know what does it mean eh euphoria excessive happiness without any reason one more patient is there he is very much silent sad depression so depression and euphoria these are the examples of what quality of emotion please write down two important terms here remember here see here normal mood is called as what normal mood is called as what euthymia normal mood is called as euthymic mood normal this is normal mood elevation and mood you know mood elevation there will be what euphoria here it is what depression very easy to understand euthymic means normal 
प्लीज राइट डाउन वन मोर टर्म डिसफोरिक मूड डिसफोरिक मूड मीन्स वॉट इरिटेटेड मूड इरिटेटेड मूड associated with or accompanied by you know irritation with sadness also this is called as dysphoric mood if a person is having mania hyper mania can be two types euphoric also is laughing jumping working a lot right euphoric person is working a lot he is shouting he is having so much energy hyperactive but he is very much irritated so that will be called as what dysphoric mood happy you foric mania i hope these points are clear to all of you now fluctuation of mood right fluctuation of mood there can be emotional lability labile labile means what emotionally unstable emotionally unstable a person is laughing at one time shouting at another time laughing shouting ek bar hasta hai ek bar rota hai mostly wo hasti hai ya fir wo roti hai this is called what emotionally unstable i am saying what emotionally unstable this is called as labile affect this is called as what labile affect labile emotion fluctuation of emotion can you tell me where do we see labile emotion unstable emotion can you tell me bolo kahan kahan dekhoge first of all yes bipolar disorder borderline personality disorder this can be seen in schizophrenia also so when there is what severe fluctuation of emotion severe fluctuation of emotion it is called as what it is called as labile emotionally unstable opposite is what no fluctuation flat affective flattening what does it mean there is no fluctuation your friend who has scored see here now mci result is out mci result is out your friend who has scored a 243 mark you are informing your friend hey result is out you have scored 243 he is saying acha after that you slapped him saying acha this is what ha huh? affective flattening affective flattening when ecg is like this person is alive when ecg is like this flat matlab gone khatam okay easy to understand so affective flattening means what no change in emotion no change in emotion flattening of emotions no emotions at all appropriateness and a congruency very very important term remember here appropriateness and congruency appropriateness is as per social situation as per a social situation suppose if a person is in graveyard shamshan ghat kabristan If a person is in graveyard and after that he is meeting everyone, hey wow, what a gathering here, man! You look so handsome today, huh? If a person is behaving like this in graveyard, what does it mean? Appropriate or inappropriate? Obviously, inappropriate. Simple, right? No? Okay. Now congruency means what? When thought and speech are matching. when thought and speech are matching see whatever thought is there speech should be same no right no speech should be same also na so when thought and speech are same it is called a what congruency but thought and speech are different it is called a incongruency incongruent means what opposite suppose if there is a patient of depression depression patient is there no depressed he is very depressed he is saying what i am the richest man on the earth does it suit him suit na kar raha tere pe ha This is what incongruent mood, right? Depression with delusion of grandiosity is incongruent. But if we saying what everyone is going to die, mm, it suits you well, right? Now this is congruency, very easy. Now you tell me which part of brain is responsible for production of emotion? Can you answer me? Bolo, answer karo, all of you. which part of brain generates the emotion answer please limbic system right now this is what very good limbic system limbic system generates the emotion limbic system 
generates the emotion. So can you tell me five components, neuroanatomical structures of limbic system? Can you tell me? Mnemonic, I have taught you match, M-A-T-C-H, mammillary body, mammillary body, amygdala, alimus, cingulate gyrus, hippocampus. These are five neuroanatomical structures which are responsible for production of emotion. But if a person is in a graveyard, he is able to recall old jokes, he is getting laughter in graveyard. Zozo se hasi aari hai, but roke hua hai, nahi hasna hai. So which part of brain regulates the emotion? Can you answer me? You can get the emotion, that is because of limbic system. But not to laugh, who is going to control your emotion? Can you answer me? Which one? Frontal lobe, very good, right now? Frontal lobe. Frontal lobe. Remember, yeah, very, very important. Yes, very good. So please write down, limbic system generates the emotion and frontal lobe regulates the emotion. All these points are important. Two important words are also there, anhedonia and alexithymia. Very easy to understand. Anhedonia, especially we see in which condition? In severe depression, in schizophrenia. Anhedonia means what? Inability to experience the pleasure in old activities. Patient will say, well, earlier I used to enjoy, but now I do not enjoy in my Pahle maza aata tha, ab nahi aata hai. This is called as what? Anhedonia. This is called as what? Anhedonia. Inability to experience the pleasure. Alexithymia means batao. Inability to express and understand the emotion of emotions are there but person is not able to express it person is not able to express it out jazbat hai dikha nahi pa raha that is called as what alexithymia alexithymia remember these words are important so emotional problem classically very frequently we see in schizophrenia my question is that see here see my question is that Yes, very good. Okay, fine. If a patient is not able to express the emotion, do you think there can be lesion, there can be any damage in any anatomical structure? Yes. Here I have taught you a match. Here I have taught you match, right? Remember here, this was last time need PG question. Damage of any of these neuroanatomical structures will be causing emotional problem, emotional problem. Last time there was a question in Eat PG, a person is not able to express his emotion after road traffic accident, after head injury, there can be lesion, there can be damage in which part of the brain? Option number one, pituitary gland. Option number two, corpus callosum. Option number three, hippocampus. Option number four, all of these. Answer please. Answer bolo, all of you. Okay, Dr. Roy, sir ka lecture sun ke pehle bhi maaz aata tha, aaj bhi aata hai. Matlab, any donia nahi hua hai bhi? Eh? Chalo, I'm glad. Thank you. Answer please, all of you. Dr. Himanshu, yes, very good, all of you. Very easy to understand, no? Hippocampus, hippocampus, right? Hippocampus, very good. All right. So now, disorders of perception. Illusion means what? False perception. False perception. In the presence of any object. Basically, some, suppose if I am showing my pen to my patient, my patient is saying what? Oh my god, this is revolver, revolver, revolver. This is illusion. Something is there. Any object is there, but perception is false. That is called as illusion. After seeing a rope, if a person is getting a scared, oh my god, oh my god, a snake, a snake, a snake, a snake, that is what? Illusion. But hallucination is what? False perception in the absence of anything. Nothing is there. But person can see, uh, see something that is visual hallucination. Now you see this question. I have asked this question maybe somewhere. You would have seen this question. Yes, please write down. Please answer the question.
A chronic alcoholic person has stopped taking alcohol for last 18 hours. He can hear the noises of a small insects. He knows that he is hearing these noises because of alcohol withdrawal factor. Because of alcohol withdrawal factor. Basically, insight is present. So, he is hearing some voices. What is the answer here? I think some of you might be marking. Answer, batao pehle. You are writing delirium tremens. Dekho, first of all, delirium, dekho, DT, when you talk about this, no. This will happen after 48 hours of cessation of alcohol. Okay, na? So, this one is wrong. Answer is what? Remember, last time also, pseudo hallucination they asked. So, hallucination and pseudo hallucination will always be important. Remember, there are four criteria to diagnose real hallucination. First of all, understand it. After that, we will solve the question. There are four criteria to diagnose the real hallucination. First of all, this occurs in absence of any stimulus. As vivid as real. What is the meaning of as vivid as real? Exactly the same. Exactly the same. 100% same. 100% same to same. Right now? Okay. Experienced in outer objective space. Outer objective space. Basically, patient will say, what sir? I can hear some voices and these voices are coming from out of the box. Awaz aarayye. Bahar se. I can hear some voices. Voices are coming from out of the wall. The patient will say, voices are emerging in my own mind, inner subjective space, so do hallucination. And involuntary. Whenever a patient wants, he cannot behave like he is hallucinating. So these are four criteria to diagnose hallucination. Hallucination is a psychotic symptom where insight is absent. But in this question, insight is present, no? So this is a case of what? Pseudo hallucination. Answer is what? Pseudo hallucination. Related to this topic, yes, related to this topic, multiple times they have asked the question. Multiple times they have asked. Uh, see, two years back in AIMS they have asked this question. A patient is saying that he can hear some voices which are originating within his own mind. What is the diagnosis? Auditory hallucination or pseudo hallucination? What is the answer here? Bolo. A patient can hear some voices and patient is saying that he can hear these voices which are originating within his own mind. True hallucination or pseudo hallucination? Can you answer me? Answer is what? Pseudo hallucination. Remember here, it should never be inner subjective, always outer objective space. Again and again, I am telling you, these four criteria which I have written here, extremely important. You cannot take a chance to forget these points which I am teaching you. Okay? Right? See here, I am doing rapid revision. Uh, like actually, I will be finishing everything a uh, maximum in four hours. Maximum. Right now, four hours. But, you can solve 70 to 80 percent question. If you have, if you already have attended my subject before, so then you can solve 100 question. But if you are attending for the first time, 70 to 80 percent you can solve. Okay, fine. I have taught you four criteria to diagnose real hallucination, but there are some special types of hallucination which do not obey all the criteria. First of all, hypnopompic and hypnogogic. Hypnogogic may mark go. These two are seen in sleeping disorder. Which sleeping disorder? Narcolepsy. Narcolepsy. What is the drug of choice for narcolepsy? Modafinil. Okay. Remember here, hallucination before going to sleep. Hallucination before going to sleep, before going to bed, before going to sleep is called as hypnogogic. Hallucination before getting up from the sleep. That is called as hypnopompic hallucination. Hypnopompic hallucination. Now synesthesia. Stimulus in one modality will be producing hallucination in another modality. Will be producing hallucination in another modality. This is called as synesthesia which is also called as a reflex hallucination. What does it mean? Patient will say what? 
कि डॉक्टर वेन एवर आई एम हियरिंग द साउंड सी हियर सी हियर स्टूमुलस इन वन मोडालिटी हेलुसिनेशन इन अनदर मोडालिटी तो पेशेंट ने से वॉट कि डॉक्टर वेन एवर आई लुक एट द ट्यूबलाइट और वेन एवर आई लुक एट एनी बल्ब और ट्यूबलाइट आई स्टार्ट हियरिंग द वॉइसिस ऑफ अमिताभ बच्चन स्टूमुलस इन विजुअल मोडालिटी हेलुसिनेशन इन ऑडिटरी मोडालिटी Easy to understand. So, so, so what patient is saying? That whenever, see, whenever I see that tube light, no, whenever, see, whenever I see that tube light, I start hearing the voices of Amitabh Bachchan or someone else. Right? No. Basically, this is called as what? This is called as what? Synesthesia, synesthesia or reflex hallucination. This is seen in substance abuse also. Substance abuse also. Which substance abuse? LSD and cannabis. Cannabis is nothing but bhanganja. LSD and cannabis. Please write down after abusing, see here, after abusing cannabis, after abusing bhang, or ganja person will say what? I can watch, see here, I can hear light, I can watch music. I can hear light, I can watch music. So do you think what has happened, see here, do you think there is what? Senses got crossed. Crossing of senses. Crossing of senses. Okay. This is called as synesthesia or reflex hallucination. Okay. Very easy to understand, right? Okay. Functional hallucination. Stimulus in one modality, hallucination in same modality. Patient will say what? Okay, doctor, whenever I am hearing... See, whenever I'm, uh, whenever I'm making phone call to you, whenever I speak with you, whenever I hear your voice, suddenly at the same time I start hearing the voices of Amitabh Bachchan at KBC. See, stimulus in auditory, hallucination in auditory, it is called as functional hallucination. So remember here, four special types of hallucination. Four special types of hallucination. Hypnopompic, hypnagogic, sleeping disorder now, synesthesia and function. One more Fifth type also, please write down. Extra campaign hallucination. Extra campaign hallucination. Seeing beyond the sensory range. Seeing beyond the sensory range. Seeing beyond the sensory range. Patient will be standing in a room. He can say that, yes, I can see one person is standing out of this wall. He is having a gun is in hand. When I will go out, he will kill me. Basically, he can see out of wall also. You can remember like that, no extra campaign. Person is standing in a camp. He can see beyond camp also. Impossible, no? How can a, how, how can a person see beyond the wall? Eh? Extra campaign. These are five special types. Okay, I have taught you all these most common hallucination. Can you answer me? Auditory. In organic, visual. Olfactory, gustatory, where? Temporal lobe. Tactile hallucination only in cocaine or somewhere else also? Eh? Bolo answer karo, all of you. Please write down. Yes, Dr. Sudhanshu, yes. Hana? I can hear light, I can watch music. I can hear light, I can watch music, right? Very good. And cocaine, alcohol also, alcohol withdrawal syndrome also. Can you write down other names of tactile hallucination? Can you write down other names of tactile hallucination? Write down other names of tactile hallucination. Answer please. Yes. Formication, cocaine bugs, right? Magnans phenomena. Very good, very good. Shall I find now disturbances of thought? See here, we divide, see here. We have learned all the disturbances of emotions. Very good. Now we are going to learn the disturbances of thought. There can be flow of thought. Flow of thought or a stream of thought. How thoughts are flying? 
how thoughts are coming rapidly in the mind of the patient. That is called a what a stream of thought. One example, flight of ideas. One example is what? Flight of ideas. Flight of ideas, which you can see especially in mania. Which especially you can see especially in mania. Right now, see a flight of ideas, slowing of thinking, even circumstantiality disorder also. Nowadays, now circumstantiality. This is considered as a disorder of flow of thought. Earlier it was there in the form of thought, but now circumstantiality is a disorder of flow of thought. Circumstantiality means what? Guma phira ke answer karna. Giving unnecessary details before the final. Flight of ideas, there can be rhyming words also. Multiple thoughts. Like there was a question in 2019 or 20 in FMG. After getting discharged from the hospital, patient is saying, what I am I am having so much money. I am going to buy honey for my sweet sunny. Honey, money, sunny is what? Flight of ideas. You can understand like that. Okay? Fine. Now, form of thought. Form of thought. I will give you all the examples of form of thought. See here, form of thought means what? Ideally, whenever I show you a bottle, cylindrical form, mobile phone, a rectangular form, In the same manner, our thought should also be well organized, well associated. If thoughts are not associated, it will be called as what? Formal thought disorder. Formal thought disorder. I will give you all the examples. Next is content of thought. The actual content of thought. Disorder is called as what? Delusion. Delusion. Possession of thought. Patient can say what? His thoughts are under the control of someone else, like thought alienation. Remember, thought alienation. Even obsession, remember here, obsession means what? OCD, uncontrolled thoughts, where patient does not have control. So, obsession is also the example of possession of thought. Remember, your thought alienation means what? Patient is saying what? Someone can control my thoughts. Someone is inserting thoughts in my mind, thought insertion, 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 right? Someone can withdraw my thought, someone can broadcast my thought. These are the examples of thought alienation. Let's learn all the examples of formal thought disorder. Remember here, first of all, derailment. See here. Very frequently, they are asking questions from these kind of topics which I am teaching you now, right now. Derailment, loosening of association, loosening of association, incoherence. Derailment, if there will be loss of association, loss of connection between two or more thoughts. If I ask the patient, hey, what do you know about Indian history? What patient is saying? See, Pandit Nehru was the first Prime Minister or Dr. Rajendra Prasad was the first President of India, Sachin scored century. These two thoughts are associated. No, he was going on a rail, suddenly he got derailed. It is called as derailment. Loosening of association, loss of association, loss of connection, sudden loss of connection between the component of single thought. You ask the patient, hey, how are you feeling now? Patient is saying, I am very hungry. It will rain today. Eh? Suddenly loss of connection between the single component. Loosening of association. Incoherence. Total lack of organization. Total lack of organization between the components of thoughts. If you ask the patient where do you live, he is saying what Andhra, Mark Zuckerberg, Instagram, Facebook and etc. Did you understand anything? This is called as Incoherence. Tangentiality, answering in a distant related manner. Answering in a distant related manner. Right now? Distant related manner. Yes, very good, Dr. Anjali. Yes, Dr. Lokesh, Dr. Shubham Verma. Dr. Shubham is asking what the difference between derailment and loosening of association. Keep in mind, derailment means what? More than two thought problem or multiple thoughts. Loosening of association, single thought problem. That's it. 
Answering in a distant related manner is called as tangentiality. Keep in mind circumstantiality, giving unnecessary details before the final answer. बहुत सारा घुमा घुमा फिरा के घुमा फिरा के आंसर करेगा पेशेंट सब कुछ बहुत सारी उल्टी पुलटी बातें बहुत सारी बातें आखिरी में जाके आंसर करेगा दैट इज सरकमस्टैंशियालिटी टेंजेंशियालिटी पेशेंट विल नेवर गिव यू डायरेक्ट आंसर इफ यू आज द पेशेंट हु इज योर फेवरेट एक्टर ही विल से व्हाट ही विल से बॉलीवुड इज ऑल अबाउट रोमांस हॉलीवुड इज ऑल अबाउट एक्शन डिड ही गिव यू द एग्जैक्ट आंसर नो इफ यू आज द पेशेंट व्हाट डू यू नो अबाउट आइंस्टाइन व्हाट पेशेंट विल से साइंस इज अ ब्रांच व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन रिसर्च एंड एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन डिड ही गिव यू द आंसर exact answer no if this is the question answer should be this but answer should be like this distantly related thoda sa touch karke nikal jayega that is called as tangentiality if i make a diagram like this class 9th one line see in mathematics one line which is going to touch one line which is going to touch only one point of circle at a point is called a tangent line this is this is not going to touch the nucleus this is not going to touch the center this is called a tangent line tangent answering in a distant relative manner tangentiality but if you ask the patient suppose if there is a junior doctor senior doctor is asking him beta which specialization field would you like to take during your pg and he saying sir when i was in second year i was liking patho a lot psm also good you know after that when i joined pedia department cute baby patient oh yes pedia no sir but actually you know doctor house is medicine is classy but no sir one day what happened no when i entered operation theater there i saw oh my god surgeons are playing with the blood all right sir I would like to take surgery department. Surgery, sir. See here, he gave the answer, but round and round, round and round, unnecessary details before the final answer is called as what? Circumstantiality. Circumstantiality is a disorder of what? Flow of thought, a stream of thought. But tangentiality is a disorder of what? Form of thought, answering in a distant, related manner. Even remember here. See here, neologism means what? Neologism means what? Coining a new word. coining new word especially all these we can see in schizophrenia 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 yeah some of you are writing the the tintin tapa right tintin tapa okay fine chalo tintin tapa example we can take or we or we can take some other basically any new word which is never seen in any dictionary or anywhere Suppose if a 19 year old boy is asking his mom, "Mom, I want my tin tin tapa." What do you want? "Hey, mom, I want my pen." So like, why did you say, "Mom, just now I coined a new word for my pen." Or maybe if a boy is using he wants his notebook, he's asking, "Mom, I need my sanapai." What? "Mom, please give me my sanapai." What? "Sanapai? You don't understand this, right?" "Hey, what do you want, beta?" "Mom, please don't waste my time. Just now I coined a new word for my notebook, sanapai." Coining of a new word. is especially seen in schizophrenia schizophrenia metonyms word approximation word approximation using old word in a different fashion i am standing in operation theater i want my surgical gloves i am asking the nurse no, sister ji i want my hand socks huh? for specs i need my eye cover for wrist watch i need my time vessel old words in a different fashion it is called as metonyms metonyms clanging rhyming but incomprehensible incomprehensible which you cannot understand rhyming words are there dekho flight of ideas mein rhyming words were there but you could understand no but here clanging formal thought disorder if you ask the patient hey what is the meaning of fragrance he will say what absence nonsense presence flatulence fragrance did you understand anything now focus here perseveration earlier this was categorized as a formal thought disorder now perseveration is also categorized as a flow of thought flow of thought okay flow or a stream of thought remember here perseveration and circumstantiality as per in new updates these are categorized as the disorder of flow of thought disorder or a stream of thought disorder perseveration means what unnecessary repetition of same thing 
अननेसेसरी रिपीटेशन ऑफ सेम थिंग इफ यू आज द पेशेंट वट इज योर नेम यू विल से आकाश वट योर फादर्स नेम आकाश वेर डू यू लिव आकाश वट इज योर कॉलेज नेम आकाश दिस इज वॉट Perseveration, unnecessary repetition of same word, same thing is called as perseveration. All formal thought disorder. I remember out of these seven, see here only these seven. These seven are formal thought disorder. Perseveration, circumstantiality, flight of ideas, flowing of thinking, inhibition of thinking. These are the examples of flow of thought. Are a stream of thought. Please keep in mind, and these these words are repeatedly asked. Now related to content of thought, delusion. What is the definition of delusion? Can you answer me? Delusion का definition बोलो. False form, fixed and unshakable belief. Which is based on irrational ground. I'm the most powerful man on the earth. This is called a what? Illusion of grandiosity. Although it's false form, but it is fixed, hundred percent fixed. Means you cannot shake. You cannot shake it. If patient is thinking that he is Bahubali, it means he is Bahubali. You cannot say you are a common person. He can kill you like that. Is it to understand? Remember. Delusion is limited to a particular domain. Limited to a particular domain. Okay. Now let's understand. Delusion of persecution means what? A patient is having this kind of belief that someone wants to kill me or someone wants to harm me. That is called as delusion of persecution. Overall, this is the most common type of delusion. Delusion of reference. Patient will refer himself. Patient will refer. Himself for everything, whatever is happening in and around. Suppose the patient is standing here, AC fell down. Patient will say, "What? I kept my hand in my pocket. That's why AC fell down." Seriously, he will refer himself. Whatever is happening here and there, he will refer himself. Illusion of the reference. Suppose if patient is uh, like, suppose if he is in the bus, he travels in a bus, and now. Suppose other people, unknown people, if they are talking, if they are talking, right? If they are talking, patient will say, "Oh my God, they are talking about me. They are talking about me." Delusion of reference, delusion of love. MBBS first year, very common, huh? The most beautiful girl of my batch is in deep love with me, right? Very common, no? Yeah. Delusion of love. It can happen to anyone. See, fantasy is fine, free of cost. Do whatever you want. But when it will be considered as a disorder, when it will become a problem. See, remember here, there can be difference in you know, like difference in uh, status also. Suppose if a rickshaw puller is thinking what Angelina Jolie is his girlfriend, Ashwarya Rai is his girlfriend. I know, although hundred percent false, but he is having this kind of belief. You cannot change it. When this will be the problem? See here, rickshaw puller. How much is age? Twenty-nine year. So delusion. He is saying what? Angelina Jolie is his girlfriend. His mom is saying what? When his mom is asking what? See when his mom is asking what? Hey, now you should get ready for marriage. Now he say no, 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 no. My Anju, you know, my Anju is waiting for me in America. Anju means Angelina Jolie. Is it to understand? Now this will become problem. Right now, now when he does not want to talk to any other normal girl, now this is called a what delusion. Now this is a disease, delusion of love, also called as fantasy lover syndrome, erotomania, and difficult term is what de Clairembault syndrome. This is called a de Clairembault syndrome, delusion of grandiosity. I am the most powerful person on the earth. Right? Huh? Chal, all right. Now, delusion of negation. Last, last to last time. I know I see the question. Delusion of negation means what? Delusion of negation means what? Claiming of non-existence of something. Claiming of 
नॉन एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ एनी बॉडी पार्ट ये पेशेंट सेम व्हाट यू नो व्हाट हैपेन सी माय स्कल सी माय स्कल दिस इज एम्प्टी एलियंस हैव ऑलरेडी स्टोलन माय ब्रेन एलियंस हैव स्टोलन माय ब्रेन माय स्कल इज एम्प्टी पेशेंट विल से यू नो यस्टरडे माय फ्रेंड ही लेफ्ट टू यूएस एंड व्हाट ही डिड यू नो ही स्टोल माय पैंक्रियास इन आईनाई सिटी दे सी व्हाट क्वेश्चन दे हैव आस्क्ड दे आस्क दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट a severely depressed patient is sitting in opd he is saying that he cannot eat the food on asking why he can't eat the food patient is saying i cannot eat the food because i do not have head what the diagnosis here illusion of negation nihilistic delusion right no nihilistic delusion also called as cotard syndrome cotard syndrome was there in the option delusion of infidelity infidelity means what cheating on a spouse cheating on spouse so because of this kind of delusion person can have what morbid jealousy pathological jealousy shakespeare wrote a novel on infidelity othello that's why it is also called othello syndrome remember your delusion of, of infidelity is more common among male than female it is more common in alcoholic case also alcoholic case also see here basically see basically what is happening here suppose if husband is claiming his wife that his wife is having his trauma right like that although she is 100% innocent but he is he is having this kind of belief he is having this kind of belief no he is having a trauma right like so every time he keeps on asking her Every time he keeps on he checking her phone again and again, again and again. Any guest is coming, every time he is asking multiple questions. So basically, every day fight, fight, fight. After one month divorce, but if a wife will be having this problem, no wife again, delusion of infidelity, no divorce. Situation will be worse then. And after one month, when husband will be sleeping, he will remove them. He will do. He will cut the genital organ. It is called as Bobbit syndrome. Please write down. It is called as what? Bobbit syndrome. Bobbit syndrome can be seen with. Bobbit syndrome can be seen with the delusion of infidelity. Bobbit syndrome means what? Delusion of male genital. Delusion of enormity. Any of my action can bring a big disaster. any of my action any of my actions can bring a big disaster suppose if patient is having cough he will not be coughing open he will be coughing like this <laughs> so why is coughing like this he will say if i cough openly no entire city of hyderabad will do that he will not pass the urine in public place why right? other man is to kya hai क्या हो जाएगा गोइंग टू पास द यूरिन देयर द बिगेस्ट फ्लड दिस इज कॉल्ड एस व्हाट डिल्यूशन ऑफ आई हैव नॉट सीन दैट क्वेश्चन आई हैव नॉट सीन दैट क्वेश्चन ऑन डिल्यूशन ऑफ इनॉर्मिटी लास्ट फाइव इयर्स सो यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट डिल्यूशन ऑफ गिल्ट मींस व्हाट डिल्यूशन ऑफ गिल्ट सीवियर फीलिंग ऑफ गिल्ट फिफ्टीन ईयर्स बैक वन ऑफ योर बैट्समैन ही बोरो Now he is meeting you, and he is saying, "Hey, you know, I didn't do my best. God is not going to forgive me. No one is going to forgive me. I think you, uh, you are suffering from him. You are suffering from an actual crisis right now. Actually, because of me only, na? One me. All these are what delusion. Delusion of guilt can be seen in severe depression. Now look at this picture. What is the answer? Which type of delusion is this? are you saying mic problem okay now is it fine is it fine now yeah okay now i think it should be fine right okay 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 theek hai okay see this is what delusion of grandiosity this is what delusion of persecution picture number 1 picture
picture number two, picture number three, picture number four, and five. So what about picture number three? Delusion of reference. Picture number four, delusion of infidelity. Picture number five. She's saying what? Half part of her face does not exist. Delusion of negation. Delusion of all delusions, all hallucinations are important. Now, last topic here. See this one. Very good. All of you are doing great. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. FMT कब होगा सर डॉक्टर मिजानुर रहमान यू आर आस्किंग आई थिंक आपको स्केड्यूल मिल गया होगा स्केड्यूल में होगा अभी डेट मुझे तो नहीं याद है बट एफ एम टी विल बी देर डॉक्टर सैयद आसिफ यस दिस पी डी एफ विल ऑल्सो बी शेयर डोंट वरी ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू चेक वॉट हाइयर मेंटल फंक्शन हाइयर मेंटल फंक्शन सिंगल नंबर Gradually increases to two number sequence, three number sequence, and so on, so forth. What is the name of this test? Bolo. Answer, please. Okay. Now I'm going to check what. Higher mental function. Last to last time FMG question. Remember here digit span test. Remember here all these we are going to digit span test. If I'm asking the patient to count the number at the span of a digit, uh, like I will ask the patient to count the number at the interval of two. So he'll so be counting like this: two, four, six, eight, ten. This is called a digit span test or digit repetition test, especially to check attention level of the patient. Attention level of the patient, right? Now I want to check the concentration level of the patient. I want to check the concentration level of the patient. Higher level of attention is called as concentration. Now I will give him a difficult task. Subtract 7 from 100 and keep on counting. 100 minus 7 equal to 93. Then he has to count like 86, 79. 72, 65, 58. I can easily count because every time I speak the same thing, right? But patient will take some time. And patient will say, what? Sir, 100 minus 7 equal to 93. Uh, after that, sir, 86, uh, 79. Sir, India Pakistan matches was going on. Did you see that? See, suddenly loss of concentration. Very easy to understand. This is called as serial. This is called about serial 7 subtraction test. Last time, this was the question. This was the question last time, FMG question. 100 minus 7 equal to 93 is a test used to assess which higher mental function. Okay? Concentration. Or concentration is also called as what? Higher level of attention. Higher level of attention. Proverb test. Similarities test. See here. Now you can easily understand here. See, what is the meaning of proverb test? I'm asking the patient, what do you mean by health is wealth? Is not understanding. Now, if I ask him, hey, what do you mean by a pen is mightier than the sword? Pen is stronger than the sword. Patient is saying, yeah, your pen might be of 15 kilograms. What does it mean? He's not able to understand the deeper meaning of my sentence, right? So basically, he's not able to understand what his abstract thinking is poor. Abstract thinking is poor. Okay. In the same manner, similarity is testing. I'm asking the patient, what is similarity between table and chair? He's saying, what, both are on the floor. But if he's saying that, yeah, both are made up of goods. Now it's good. So remember, proverb testing or similarity testing, similarity testing we are using for what? Abstract thinking. Test judgment. I'm giving a test to my patient. What will you do if you see a house on fire? Patient is saying, I will make a selfie. Right? It means what? His judgment power is not good. It is called as what? Test judgment. Test judgment. Okay, so why we are using this? To check judgment power of the patient. Remember, when I am saying 2, 4, 6, 8, and this is forward, no. When 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0, that is backward, right? 
remember digit span forward test is better digit span forward test is better for attention also concentration also immediate memory also i'm talking about what? immediate memory right now you can easily solve this question what is the answer here now now you can easily solve the question yes this is a case of what number digit span test right this is called a what digit span test this is called a what digit span test very easy to understand right hello fine now schizophrenia see here uh, so let's understand schizophrenia next very very important chapter schizophrenia see simple rule you have to keep in mind if a patient is having only delusion then he will be called as a case of delusional disorder if he is having only hallucination okay hallucination case delusion hallucination together schizophrenia in schizophrenia many symptoms can be there multiple symptoms can be there suppose if you are getting a big question suppose if you are getting a big question multiple symptoms patient is having and if you don't know the exact diagnosis if you are not able to solve the question if you see in the option if answer is the schizophrenia mark it answer will be correct but having said that keep in mind patient will be having more than one symptom i am saying not only one more than one symptom should be there so what are the symptoms remember here first of all you have to keep in mind either there can be a delusion hallucination formal thought disorder or disorganized symptom disorganized symptom behavior means what you would have seen uh, like in summer if a person is wearing you know five five jackets or if a patient or if a person is wearing five t-shirts together shirt t-shirt shirt t-shirt right okay suppose if a patient is wearing suppose if a person is wearing you know for five specs at the same time you can see that what kind of normal person is right so that is called disorganized behavior you no know, disorganized behavior okay fourth point motor symptoms motor symptoms physical symptoms and fifth negative symptoms negative symptoms out of these five remember minimum two symptoms should be there if two symptoms are there in the same patient 100% diagnosis is a schizophrenia schizo remember here these symptoms should be there for more than six months this is the rule that symptoms should persist for more than six months so how much is the duration criteria for schizophrenia more than six months equal to more than six months but this is given by as per dsm-5 as per dsm-5 old classification now as per icd-11 icd-11 is saying why to wait for six months huh? why to wait for six months if patient is having equal to more than two symptoms even for more than one month it will be called as a schizophrenia a schizophrenia remember here so what is the new classification what is the new criteria of diagnosis of schizophrenia equal minimum equal to more than two symptoms for more than one month 100 percent schizophrenia 100 percent schizophrenia same symptoms like schizophrenia can occur same psychotic symptoms like schizophrenia can occur. Maybe because of any stress, loss in business, loss in exam, right? Maybe because of high fever. But duration is less than one month. If duration is less than one month, then please remember, this will not be considered as a case of schizophrenia. This will be considered as a case of what? Acute psychotic disorder. Acute psychosis or acute psychotic disorder. Acute psychotic disorder. I hope all these points are clear to all of you. Right now, and remember out of these five, one more rule is there. Out of first, second and third, at least one symptom should continuously be there for one month. One should continuously be there for one month one month i hope all these points are clear to all of you especially you have to emphasize on uh, 
है ना ओके फाइव रिमेंबर यर चे देर आर फाइव सिम्टम्स देर आर फाइव सिम्टम्स आउट ऑफ दिस फाइव मिनिमम टू सिम्टम शुड बी देर For more than one month, this is the new classification. If examiner is especially mentioning DSM five, no, then answer will be more than six months. More than six months. Now, let's learn here. See here, obviously, schizophrenia can come in family also. So monozygotic twins will be having more chances than dizygotic. See here, there was a question in MCI. Deletion, deletion of which chromosome can cause schizophrenia? Chromosome number twenty-two. This is called as what? De George syndrome. De George syndrome. De George syndrome, also called as velocardio facial syndrome. Velocardio facial syndrome. Chromosome number twenty-two. Very good. Very good. Doctor Murshid is asking too much ads. देखो आई डू नॉट हैव कंट्रोल ऑन दी एड्स ही सपोज इफ देर विल बी सो मच सो मच ऑफ एंगेजमेंट नो देन देर विल बी मोर एड्स बिकॉज ऑफ यूट्यूब राइट ना सो यूट्यूब इज नॉट आवर कंपनी ओके सी लाइक लाइक वी आर डूइंग दिस थ्रू आई एस एम एडिटेक एक्चुअली एक्चुअली प्रोसियम एंड डॉक ट्यूटोरियल राइट ना सो यू कैन मैनेज और राइट ओके चलो फाइन वेरी गुड और राइट See now, next is what biochemical factors. Now we are knowing that increased level of dopamine, increased level of serotonin. These two are most important neurotransmitters. Anna, you are asking for ad, huh? Ad ke liye is there something we can do? You ask them if they can if they can do something with the ads, okay? Because the students are, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> Chalo, okay, fine, theek hai. I have asked the team to do something. All right. Chalo, all right. Remember here. Yeah, now we are knowing the fact what increased level of dopamine and increased level of serotonin will be causing what schizophrenia-like symptoms. Apart from these two, yes, there can be what? See, there can be increased level of norepinephrine also, GABA also, glutamate also. But remember, especially these two, dopamine and serotonin. See, remember here, obstetric complication, obstetric complication. Always keep in mind, schizophrenia is mostly seen in villages, right? In villages, right? Okay. So remember here. Obstetric complications can lead to schizophrenia. Season of season of birth, low temperature, winter season. Yes, it can cause. Do you think schizophrenia can be infectious? Actually, no. But as per the research, during pregnancy, if mother got exposed to influenza virus, influenza virus, right? There is very high risk of schizophrenia in the newborn baby see here late late paternal age late paternal social yes immigration i am telling you immigration these are risk factors for schizophrenia see during the war when so many people are going to travel to other countries right now other countries right and if so many people so obviously in other countries they will not be having equal rights they will be abused physically mentally also they will be tortured so there can be psychological trauma no so immigration is also the risk factor for what schizophrenia in which a drug abuse in which a drug abuse there is very high risk of same symptoms like schizophrenia please write down like cannabis 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 LSD, cocaine, cocaine, even alcohol also. All rave drugs, hallucinogen, hallucinogens like amphetamines, LSD. Now, remember who coined the term schizophrenia? It was coined by Eugen Bleuler. It was coined by Eugen Bleuler. Eugen Bleuler. He coined the term schizophrenia. he he gave a four symptoms of schizophrenia he said that he said that four a's will be there like autistic symptoms 
ambivalence, affect problem, association problem. Now, autism means what? Socially isolated. Socially isolated. See, especially in this schizophrenia, person would like to stay alone in the dark room, closed room, right? Alone. Right now, some autistic symptoms will also be there. Say, not exactly similar to autism of the pediatric age group, but some symptoms. And most importantly, what? Socially withdrawn. Patient would like to stay alone. Ambivalence means what? Inability to take a decision. Inability to take a decision is called as ambivalence. Suppose if you are going to shake hand with the patient, no. now when you are, see whenever you are going to shake the hand with the patient, now patient is going to take his hand from the pocket now, he will be confused whether to shake or not, whether to meet, whether to greet or not, like this. Inability to take, inability to take a decision, ambivalence, affect, affect means what? Emotion, mood and affect, remember here, mood and affect. Both are same. Means emotion. Mood is long standing. Affect is short standing. Remember like this. Short term expression of emotion is called as affect. Long term for last one month I was very 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 sad for last one month. That is mood. So see in schizophrenia mood problem can be there classically. There can be anhedonia. Anhedonia means what? What is the meaning of anhedonia? Inability to experience the pleasure, right? So there can be anhedonia, olexithymia, there can be depression, there can be mania, right? And there can be affective flattening. Basically, one emotional problem can be there, very commonly seen among schizophrenia patients. Right? There can be depression, there can be mania, there can be affective flatting, there can be inappropriateness of emotion. Schizophrenia patient can laugh in the graveyard. Right? There can be incongruency. Right? Association disturbances. Association, where I have taught you loosening of association, formal thought disorder. Formal thought disorder. Remember here, at least one formal thought disorder you can expect in schizophrenia. These are four A's of Bleuler. Repeatedly, can you write down, see, can you write down in chat box what are the four A's of Bleuler? Autism, ambivalence, affect disturbances, and association disturbances. Association disturbances. Right? Repeatedly asked question. Examiner will ask you which of the following is not the component of four A's of Bleuler. Or Bleuler symptoms of schizophrenia. Right? Okay, fine. Very easy to understand. Achha, wo kya tha? Dr. Shubham, these are the risk factors for the newborn babies, right? And newborn. Newborn. Okay, fine. Next question. See here, four symptoms you have to focus here. Na? Achha, wo kya tha? Giving unnecessary details before the final answer. It is called as what? Circumstantiality. Achha, wo kya tha? Answering in a distant related manner. Not answering the exact answer. Answering in a distant related manner is called as what? Tangentiality. Tangentiality. Very good. Tangentiality. And a tangentiality. Coining of a new word is called as what? Neologism. Neologism. Using old words in a different fashion is called as what? Metonyms. Metonyms. Right? Very good. Now, one more scientist was there. His name was Kurt Schneider. He categorized all the symptoms of schizophrenia as first rank symptoms. First rank symptoms. Who gave? Scott Schneider. Examiner can frame the question like this. Which of the following is not a component of first rank symptom of schizophrenia? I am not saying that all symptoms are supposed to be present in the same patient. No. Few of first rank symptoms can be there. This is called what? Schneiderian first rank symptoms. Remember how to memorize. There are three thought phenomena, three made phenomena, three auditory hallucinations. When patient is having only thought problem, 
or insertion withdrawal broadcast what does it mean last to last time there was a question that schizophrenia patient is saying what aliens are sending radiations to his brain and asking him to kill the neighbors this is called a what thought insertion someone is withdrawing my thoughts and utilizing it withdrawal oh my god someone is going to broadcast my thought only thought problem this is called about three thought phenomena when thoughts will be converted into action now it will be called as made phenomena now it will be called as what made phenomena like made volition made affect made impulse made volition means what volition means against the will against the will whenever you are going to work in psychiatry department you, know, you have to be very very much cautious maintain a distance between the patient also suppose if you are talking to suppose suppose if you are speaking with the patient no and you are speaking like this, okay okay what happened what happened what happened and suddenly patient will slap you like this so when patient is going to slap you like this now after that when you are asking the hey why did you why did you slap me? no no sir no no sir i did not slap, i did not slap you sir so that person who is there no he can control my action and you know when the i was actually controlling my hand but you know that person can control my action and suddenly i could not control i slapped you i am really so i did not do this no 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 this is called as what made volition against the will many chata tak kabhi aapko maana maine nahi mara apna na na maine nahi mara aapko kisne mara usne easy to understand to ab ye batao पेशेंट डॉक्टर पे हाथ उठाए उसको पनिशमेंट होगा क्या इफ इसकी जोफरीनिया पेशेंट इज गोइंग टू मर्डर इफ इसकी जोफरीनिया पेशेंट इज गोइंग टू मर्डर अ पर्सन विल देर बी पनिशमेंट आंसर इज नो नो बिकॉज ही डज नॉट नो वॉट ही इज डूइंग he does not understand the consequences of any crime which ipc can you answer me which ipc yes ipc number 84 ipc number 84 which rule macnaughton's rule macnaughton's rule macnaughton's right no macnaughton's see this is also called as what a right or wrong test macnaughton's rule is universally uh, like uh, like everywhere we practice macnaughton's rule macnaughton's rule in india it is described by 84 very very important ipc so made volition against the will made affect affect means what emotion patient is admitted in, in your department patient is laughing at one time shouting at one time laughing one time shouting laughing shouting laughing shout when you are asking the patient hey why do you why do you do like that no 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 that lady who is sitting in that corner she can control my emotion she can control my emotion whenever she wants she can make me whenever she wants she can make me cry this is called as what made affect patient will claim what someone can control my emotion made impulse impulse means what what is the meaning of impulse last time mci they have asked the question what is the definition of impulse sudden urge to perform any action and that can be injurious to other people impulsive control disorder right no right so impulse see suppose a patient was having juice like this suppose a patient was having juice like this when nurse came suddenly he thrown the juice on the patient right this is so after when patient after when nurse is come what did you do like that no 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 i didn't do this. that guy he created this impulse in me and i could not resist made impulse six symptoms completed now there will be three auditory hallucination three auditory hallucination patient will say sir voices are arguing about me voices are commenting on my action and i can hear my own thoughts what does it mean patient will complain what ki doctor you know one thing when i sit alone in the room i can hear some voices and these voices are discussing about me only they are abusing me they are saying that i am fat i am this i am that right no so here so patient will say what patient will hear this kind of voice there hey, how fat he is how bad he is how eh, how mad he is who is he here he is the patient he is the patient as per english grammar i me first person you your second person he she it they third person that's why voices are going is also called as 
थर्ड पर्सन हेलुसिनेशन थर्ड पर्सन हेलुसिनेशन कीप इन माइंड voices are commenting on patient's action whatever patient will do he will hear the voice because there is what running commentary dr shubham verma is asking how we can understand that patient is actually the patient or he is acting he is acting for this we have to admit the patient minimum for one month we have to keep the patient under observation we have to go for biochemical checkup also right now serotonin dopamine also right now and we have to keep the patient under observation under observation right now? so many signs and symptoms are there on the basis of which because see here see here how to differentiate a real patient and a fake patient how to differentiate a real patient and a fake patient real schizophrenia patient will be same since morning to night time fake patient no he will start acting under the observation is it to understand when he will see that someone is watching he will start acting he will start behaving like a psycho person second important point real patient can survive without food water and normal sleep for one day two days and longer longer duration but a fake patient he is healthy person no he cannot survive without food water and normal sleep okay real patient schizophrenia patient will not have a water for longer longer duration so if you see the face face will be dry lips will be dry but a fake patient will be healthy maintaining grooming and all everything real patient will be cooperative you do examination for two times three times no problem but fake patient if you repeat the examination again and again he will be irritated irritated because he will be scared oh my god he can catch me doctor can catch me easy to understand right okay fine now voices are commenting patient can hear running commentary in the beginning patient will be normal only you cannot diagnose in the beginning that he is a schizophrenia patient right now so suppose if there is a patient who is living on 15th floor who is living on 15th floor in that building 50 floors are there See, in the beginning, whatever patient will do, he will hear their running commentary. Now, suppose if he is getting ready for the office, okay. So now, suppose if he is wearing shirt, pant, okay, everything. Right now, so when he is wearing the, oh, now he is going to wear the shirt. Now he is going to wear the tie. Now he is going to wear the wrist. Now he is going to wear the, wear the perfume. Now he is going to take his bag. Now he is moving towards the door. Now he is going to lock the door. Now he is moving towards the lift elevator. Now he is going to press ground floor. In the beginning, there will be only running commentary. but after certain interval of time there will be what there will be the commentary but there will be what which type of hallucination hallucination of the hallucination of the command hallucination of the command in the beginning only commentary was there now command type when he pressed ground floor now he will hear the word hey why did you why did you press ground floor press 50 floor 50th floor let's go up he will press 50th floor let's go up let's go up let's go up now he is on the top of the floor now when he is on the top of the floor when he will be looking at the down hey you wanted to go there on the earth you wanted to live with this kind of creepy people these are not human beings these are insects you wanted to go there seriously you are not human being you are superman you are spider man you should not walk you should fly and he will fly fly means what to side so remember here this commentary type especially command type of auditory hallucination is most dangerous old question okay next is audible thoughts audible thoughts means what whatever patient is thinking he is hearing it suppose if he is thinking that he is going for the lunch oh he is going for the lunch he is uh, like suppose if he is thinking that uh, like he wants to meet his girlfriend oh he is going uh, like he is going on a date basically whatever he is thinking he will hear it it is audible thoughts i have taught you nine symptoms nine symptoms first rank symptom next somatic passivity somatic passivity visceral hallucination patient is having abdominal pain but he saying what no no aliens are sending radiations that's why that's why i am having abdominal pain he can feel the pain and i am having joint pain i am having this pain that pain my friend who is sitting in new york he is sending infrared radiations from there somatic passivity delusional perception a delusion is associated with the normal perception what does it mean when patient is looking at omni car omni car you know see as per the movies i am saying omni car ka use kya batao especially to kidnap as per the movies i am not degrading any car okay 
एज पर दूवीज है ना ओमनी कार में क्या होता है किडनेप करके लेके भाग गया है सो पेशेंट इज हैविंग दिस काइंड ऑफ डिल्यूजन देखो वन डिल्यूजन ओके विल बी एसोसिएटेड विद नॉर्मल परसेप्शन वेन एवर पेशेंट इज लुकिंग एट ओमनी कार ही सिंह ओ माई गॉड देर गोइंग टू किडनेपिंग ओ माई गॉड देर गोइंग टू किडनेपिंग दिस इज वॉट With the normal perception, delusion or persecution is associated. This is called as delusional perception. I have taught you all these symptoms, all these symptoms in detail. Please remember first rank symptoms, four A's of Bleuler. These are repeatedly asked question in MCI. Now see this question, please. देखो, in this manner exam ने will be framing the question. Can you answer this question? Which of the following does not describe the first rank symptom? Emotions can't be controlled by others. Obviously, made affect it is there, right? Now, so answer is what? He only. Very good. I can see that all of you are correct. Very good. Very good, doctor. I can see Doctor Nasirina, Doctor Surbi, Doctor Adnan. All of you, Doctor Rizwan, Doctor Vas, Doctor Vidya. Very good. Very good. Very good, Doctor Lone with this guy, Doctor Lalit. All of you are doing great. Yes. Now, what are the symptoms in schizophrenia? We see you have to focus on five symptoms. There are positive symptoms. There are negative symptoms. Disorganization symptoms, catatonia, violence, homicide. Remember here, these symptoms are very very important. First of all, what is the meaning of positive symptoms? Positive symptoms means what? Add on symptoms. Add on symptoms means what? The symptoms which got added in the life of the patient earlier it was not there, but now these symptoms are there, like delusion and hallucination. Psychotic symptoms are called as positive symptoms. These got added earlier it was not there, now it is there. Negative symptoms means what? Loss of normal function. Earlier patient used to laugh a lot, now he is not laughing. Earlier he used to talk a lot, but now he is not talking. Earlier he used to be very sociable, now he is not very sociable. These are negative symptoms like abolition. Abolition means what? Lack of drive to do goal-directed activities. Apathy, loss of interest in activities. Asociality means what? Asociality means what? Person, patient is no more social. Person is no more social. Earlier he used to attend all marriage functions, all parties, but now he's not attending anything. Earlier he used to work a lot, but now he's not working. Earlier he used to be very social, but now he's not. A sociality. Anhedonia. Inability to experience pleasure. Alogia. Loss of, you know, like decrease in verbal communication, affective flattening, affective flattening. All remember here, examiners are asking this kind of question which of the following is not a negative symptom of schizophrenia? Now, disorganization symptoms. What are the disorganization symptoms? Formal thought disorder. Disorganized behavior means what? Wearing five five shirts, wearing nothing also, kind of wearing nothing and running on the road. That is also what disorganized. Very easy to understand, right? Inappropriate affect laughing in graveyard. Catatonia was coined by Karl Kalbom. Karl Kalbom. Okay, so see related to schizophrenia, I have mentioned here important names of scientists. First of all, who coined the term schizophrenia? Eugen Bleuler. Who gave first rank symptoms? Kurt Schneider. Who explained about catatonic symptoms? Karl Kalbaum. What I am saying is that catatonia means what? Motor symptoms. One more important scientist. Who explained about schizophrenia for the first time? He was Emil Kriplin. He was Emil Kriplin. Emil Kriplin. Who explained about dementia precox. At that time, there was no name like schizophrenia. There was a name like dementia precox and manic depressive illness. Everything was fine. 
But he said that this can be seen only in precox. Precox means what? Young age, adolescent age. Schizophrenia can be seen. Remember here, mostly schizophrenia will start in adolescent age group. This is 100% true. Schizophrenia will start in young age. Mostly, all psychiatric condition, all non-organic condition can start in young age only. Young age only. Organic old age, I have taught you in the beginning. But remember, schizophrenia in some cases can start even after 45 years of age also. This is called as late age onset, late onset schizophrenia. So, this word got disqualified. That's why new name came schizophrenia. Okay? Fine. Now, these are, see, these are what, see, what kind of pictures I'm, See what kind of pictures I'm showing you now here? These are what? So see what symptoms I am showing you here now. What are these? Remember these are called as motor symptoms. These are catatonic symptoms. Catatonic symptoms. This is called as what? Moving like a wax is called as waxy flexibility. Moving like a candle wax. This is called maintaining a posture due to sudden neurogenic block. This is called what? Catalepsy. Catalepsy. Remember here? Catalepsy is seen in schizophrenia. Be careful. There is one more word that is called a cataplexy. Cataplexy is what? Sudden loss of muscle tone. This is seen in narcolepsy, sleeping disorder. So be careful about these words. Be careful. This is catalepsy. Cataplexy is seen in sleeping disorder. Okay? So basically sudden neurogenic block. Sudden muscle rigidity. I was doing physical examination. I asked the patient to abduct the shoulder like this. Now suddenly there was neurogenic block. Now patient is moving like this. This is called as what? Catalepsy. Maintaining any kind of posture is called as posturing. Posturing. Making odd facial expression is called as grimacing. Grimacing. Mimicking speech of the examiner is called as echolalia. Echolalia means what? Mimicking speech of the uh, see here mimicking speech, mimicking speech of the examiner. जो बोलोगे वही बोल उसको repeat करेगा. That is called echolalia. But this picture what I am showing you here, mimicking action is called as what? Mimicking action is called as echopraxia. Even, see, some other motor symptoms. Can you tell me some other motor symptoms? Yes, some other motor symptoms like, some other motor symptoms like, super, super. Super means what? Immobile, immobile, posturing, vaccine flexibility. Okay? Automatic obedience. Negativism, hyperactivity, all these are what? Motor symptoms. Jejen Halten. See, even one more is important that you call a perseveration. What is the meaning of perseveration? Unnecessary repetition of same thing. For one time I asked the patient, show me your tongue. Only for one time I asked. But after that, whatever I'm asking my patient, again and again he shows it. Again and again he's showing the tongue. This is called as what? Perseveration. Remember here, all these are what? Yes, all these are what? Catatonic symptoms, motor symptoms. Remember here, last year they have asked about echolalia. Echolalia. So motor symptoms are important, right? So Jejen Halten, perseveration, vaccine flexibility, all these are important. But you have to know one update here. When I talk about catatonia, no? Catatonia. Earlier, catatonia was considered as only a symptom. 
बट एज पर आई सी डी इलेवन कैटाटोनिया इज नो मोर अ सिम्टम देर इज अपडेट कैटाटोनिया इज अ न्यू डायग्नोसिस नाउ कैटाटोनिया इज अ न्यू डायग्नोसिस नाउ catatonia is a new diagnosis now right no this can be seen in some other disorders also like severe depression autism dissociative disorder this can be because of some medicines also right okay now see this question now we are going to learn about pathophysiology from here we can expect one question solve this question now some of you are marking b and some of you are marking a right here patient does not maintain see here here patient does not have hallucination and here patient does not have delusion and hallucination here patient is having what here remember here patient does not maintain hygiene and grooming hygiene and grooming so basically i would say what negative symptoms right no negative symptoms now let's understand here see here first of all symptoms and symptoms in schizophrenia are happening because of what dopamine because of dopamine how many dopaminergic pathways are there four mesolimbic tract mesocortical tract nigrostriatal pathway tuberoinfundibulum tract we have learned all these that we have learned all these point here that See, decreased level of dopamine in nigrostriatal pathway will be causing Parkinson's like symptoms, will be causing Parkinson's like symptoms, right? Okay, in tuberoinfundibulum tract, apart from dopamine, one more hormone is there that is called as what? Prolactin. That is called as prolactin. Prolactin. What is the relation between prolactin and dopamine? Both are opposite to each other. If one will increase, another will decrease. There will be what negative feedback. One will increase, another will decrease. I hope all of you know that if there will be hyperprolactinemia, there can be multiple symptoms, right? No. What are the functions of prolactin and oxytocin? Milk ejection, secretion, right? For the symptoms of schizophrenia, especially these two tract, mesolimbic and mesocortical these are responsible these are responsible remember here first of all what are the positive symptoms delusion and hallucination what are the negative symptoms where there will be what loss of normal function like anhedonia a uh, sociality he is not maintaining uh, like anything right of uh, alogia all these remember what is the pathophysiology of these Increased level of dopamine in mesolimbic tract will give rise to positive symptoms and decreased level of dopamine in mesocortical tract will give rise to negative symptoms. Keep in mind, very very important. What I am saying here that increased level of dopamine in mesolimbic tract because of this there will be positive symptoms like delusion and hallucination and decreased level of dopamine in mesocortical tract will be causing what? negative symptoms negative symptoms one more point you should know here remember here what about medications patient respond well to medication if positive symptoms are there so good prognosis patient do not respond good patient do not respond well to medication right now and they have poor prognosis if there will be negative symptoms so see, positive symptoms responding well to medication, good prognosis, negative symptoms, poor prognosis, easy to understand. What is the pathophysiology? Remember, a pathophysiology is what? Increased level of dopamine in mesolimbic tract, positive symptoms. Decreased level of dopamine in mesocortical tract, negative symptoms. I hope all these points are clear to all of you. Now you can answer me this question. 
Okay, no, so negative symptom, decreased level of dopamine in meso, right now, mesocortical pathway. Very easy to understand. I hope all these points are clear to all of you. In the same manner, see here, I am telling you this pathophysiology is very, very important for the exam. Very, very important. This is what you are going to learn in the treatment part also. Now we are going to learn last topic here in the schizophrenia treatment protocol. First of all, if you have a schizophrenia patient, we have learned all these, all these facts that in the beginning, there was a concept of only dopamine, dopamine, dopamine. In the beginning, there was no concept of serotonin. So scientists were knowing that only because of increased level of dopamine, 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 there will be what positive symptoms or there will be psychotic symptoms. So scientists made a drug. D2 antagonist. First time, scientists made what? D2 antagonist. So it was called as first generation antipsychotic drug. Since typically it was blocking dopamine, it was called a typical antipsychotic. Typical antipsychotic. Now, let's understand here that. So, what are the examples of typical antipsychotic drug? What are the examples? Bolo, are you able to recall? At least haloperidol you should keep in mind. Haloperidol, most important drug. Even some other like flufenazine or even, even the, even the chlorpromazine, chlorpromazine. These are what? First generation drug. First generation, right now? First generation drugs. See here, so what were the side effects we are going to learn here? Side effects and all we are going to learn. My question is that, Suppose if there is a normal person, suppose if there is a normal person, normal person, what will be the level of dopamine in all their tracts? Everywhere it will be normal, normal, normal and normal. But suppose if there is a schizophrenia patient, what will be the level? Remember here, in mesolimbic tract it will be increased, in mesocortical tract it will be decreased here, normal, here normal. So now you are giving first generation drug. Like I am talking about haloperidol. I am talking about haloperidol. So haloperidol is what? Dop dopamine antagonist, no? So this is going to decrease the level of dopamine, right? No? Decrease the level of dopamine. So it is going to decrease the level of dopamine in mesolimbic tract. But what about mesocortical tract? Further decrease. Further decrease. Negro estriatal pathway, since you have given medicine from outside, no, you have given medicine from outside, so this is going to decrease the level of dopamine in all dopaminergic pathways, right, here also dopaminergic pathways, tibiro and fundibulum, here also dopaminergic pathways. I hope you are able to recall that positive symptoms like delusion and hallucinations were there because of increased level of dopamine in mesolimbic. So when you are giving medicine from outside, what will be the response here? There will be improvement in positive symptoms. Improve hoga, right? Very good for the patient. But you remember this fact that negative symptoms were there because of decreased level of dopamine, decreased level of dopamine in mesocortical tract. So now what will happen? There is a further decrease, no? Further decrease, why happen? So kya hoga happen now? Now there will be worsening of negative symptoms. Negroestriatal pathway, Parkinson's like symptoms, some motor symptoms, some neurological symptoms. Patient is complaining about doctor, medicine which you have given me, like haloperidol you gave me, right? Doctor, after taking this medicine, what is happening with me? See, you know, I'm not able to sit at one place. I have to keep on moving from here to there. Acute acutacea. Sometimes I'm having sudden muscle contraction of my neck. Deviation of eyeball. Oh my God. Sometimes I'm having what? Sudden as a laryngospasm also. Right now. So sometimes I'm having, I'm having the jaw lock also. Dystonia. What are these? Yeah, yeah, sir. Extra pyramidal symptom. These are what? Extra pyramidal symptoms. Remember here, what is the logic behind extra pyramidal symptoms? What are the logic behind extra pyramidal symptoms? Decrease the level of dopamine in negro pathway. Same table, 
can be asked in physiology question of. A patient of schizophrenia was started on a haloperidol. Now patient is complaining that, sir, he's not, uh, sir, I'm not able to sit at one place. What is the, what is the pathophysiology? Decrease of dopamine in negrostriatal pathway. Decrease of dopamine in negrostriatal pathway. Now, one more serious complication is happening. I have a patient of schizophrenia. She is only 21 year old female, unmarried. She is complaining, doctor, the medicine which you have given me after that, I am having galactoria. Galactoria. Why galactoria? Because a decreased dopamine level will cause what? Increased level of prolactin. Increased level of prolactin. So galactoria, right now? Right? So this is, uh, so actually this is very much wrong for the patient, right now? Wrong for the patient, right? Some other patients are complaining what? Lack of libido also, lack of libido, right now? Lack of libido, erectile dysfunction also, right now? So basically, uh, so many side effects are happening. And now my question is that, my question is that, do you think when I have given first generation drug, when I have given first generation drugs, did I support my patient more or I have harmed my patient more? There was improvement only in the positive symptoms. There was improvement only in the positive symptoms. But there was worsening of negative symptom, extra pyramidal symptom, galactoria, some sexual side effects and all. Very easy to understand. So it means what? My patient is in trouble. Only first generation drug, remember here, all extra pyramidal symptoms are happening because of what? Because of dopamine, only dopamine. So doctors were in trouble. Doctors were in trouble. Fine. Now one day what happened? I have taught you that symptoms like schizophrenia can occur in drug abuse also. There was a young patient who abused LSD, who abused LSD. He had all symptoms of schizophrenia. Doctors did urine examination. Doctors did urine examination. And they found there was very, very increased level, a very, very high level of serotonin metabolite. Serotonin metabolite, right? No? Very, very high serotonin. So doctors thought, hey, only, dip, only dopamine should be increasing. Now see, in a urine, if increased level of serotonin is there, what does it mean? It means what? There is very high level of serotonin in his body. There is what? Very high level of serotonin in his body. Right now? Fine. So doctors made hypothesis. Oh my God, what does it mean? It means for his schizophrenia, serotonin is also responsible. They did examination to all the schizophrenia patients and now they have found in a schizophrenia patient there is increased level of dopamine also, increased level of Serotonin also 5-HT is what? 5-hydroxytryptamine. 5-HT is serotonin. Now, they, now there was a new hypothesis that there will be increased level of what? Dopamine. Increased level of what? Dopamine and serotonin. Dopamine and serotonin. So now they made one more drug that was having antagonistic effect that was having what antagonistic effect on d2 and serotonin both d2 and serotonin both remember here now the new drug d2 blocker serotonin blocker also since typically it was not blocking dopamine it was called as what atypical antipsychotic kya bologe isko aap atypical antipsychotics second time it was formulated so second generation drug right no second generation drug so can you give me some example of second generation drugs right i have taught you in my class also right mnemonic kya tha batana zara cause rack cause rack cause rack most important drug is what close up Clozapine. Remember here, see this is short form. Cosrac, C for clozapine, O for olenzapine, Z for ziprosidon, R for resperidone, A for aripiprazole, 
Q for QTRP. All these drugs, please write down. Please write down and please memorize. Remember, your first generation, haloperidol. Keep at least haloperidol in mind. Second generation drug, kya hai batao? Cause the rack. Minimum six drugs you have to keep in mind. Most important drug is clozapine. Most important drug is clozapine. Very, 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 very important. Very, very important. Right now? Very, very important. Right now? Very, very important drug. Okay, fine. Thank you. All right. Please write down here. When I talk about typical antipsychotic drug, no, so neurological side effect. Neurological side effect. You can say extra pyramidal symptom because of dopamine only. But atypical, remember here, very less extra pyramidal symptoms. Mostly there will be metabolic side effects. Mostly there will be what? Metabolic side effects. What are the metabolic side effects? Increase sugar, increase lipids, hyperlipidemia, hyperglycemia, increase weight, weight gain, sedation, sedation, right now, sedation, hyperglycemia, hyperlipidemia. Remember here, for clozapine, we should know some points because this is the most important drug. Remember, this is the best antipsychotic, I'm saying best. Clozapine, first of all, Least extra pyramidal symptom. You should know what? Least extra pyramidal symptom. But maximum weight gain. Maximum weight gain. Remember, this is the drug of choice. This is the drug of choice for treatment resistant. Schizophrenia. Treatment resistant schizophrenia. This is the drug which decreases suicidal, which decreases what? Suicidal tendency. In psychiatry, there are only two drugs which are anti-suicidal. One is the lithium mood stabilizer and another is clozapine. Anti-suicidal drug. Okay. Lithium is a mood stabilizer drug. All right. Yes, very good, very good, very good, yes. I can see that most of you are able to answer here. Now, clozapine, okay, these side effects are manageable, but there are some grave side effects. There are some lethal side effects of clozapine, and this you should be knowing, some lethal side effects like, some lethal side effects of clozapine, or granulocytosis. or granulocytosis, seizure, and myocarditis, myocarditis. A granulocytosis means what? Destruction of WBC and a neutrophil. Remember, so, so what does it mean? If you want to start a patient on clozapine, what is the most important blood test which you are supposed to perform? CBC. CBC is mandatory. CBC complete blood count is mandatory before you start a patient on clozapine. Remember here, when you are supposed to, suppose if in the beginning, WBC neutrophils were normal. When you are supposed to stop it, when WBC is less than 3500, when neutrophils are less than 1500, please stop. Please stop. Now one more patient is there who is already on. One more patient is there who is already on carbamazepine. Which is the drug of choice for trigemina neuralgia. There is already a patient who is on, there is a patient who is already on carbamazepine. Now he has started developing psychotic symptoms. Can you prescribe him clozapine? Answer me yes or no. Yes or no? Answer is no. Carbamazepine should never be combined with clozapine. Carbamazepine should never be combined with clozapine. Why? Because for carbamazepine also you should know what are the grave side effects. Carbamazepine, a granulocytosis, a plastic anemia. 
So carbamazepine also, clozapine also both have same grave side effect. There will be superimposition of what? Destruction of, okay, so destruction of blood cells. So that's why carbamazepine and clozapine should never be combined. Never, never, never. Keep in mind, this can be your pharma question. Very easy to understand. Apart from a granulocytosis, what are the other serious side effects of carbamazepine? Any skin related problem, can you answer me? Very serious emergency. Carbamazepine, I'm asking. Steven Johnson syndrome, right? Steven Johnson syndrome. Aplastic anemia, so blood related issues also, right? And this can cause what? Hyponatremia also hyponatremia also. So, whenever you start a patient on carbamazepine, you have to check sodium level. See, now let's talk about carbamazepine and oxcarbazepine. Carbamazepine and oxcarbazepine. Remember, both can cause hyponatremia. But remember, hyponatremia will be seen more in oxcarbazepine. Remember, at this time, I know CT question. I know CT question. Hyponatremia is more with oxcarbazepine than carbamazepine, right? Chalo, fine. Aage badenge. Okay, fine. So now you tell me clozapine, okay, clozapine, this is second generation drug. So this is going to what? This is what? This is having what? Antagonistic effect on dopamine as well as serotonin. But one more plus point. This is having partial agonistic effect on dopamine also, partial agonistic effect on serotonin also, partial agonistic effect, okay? Main is antagonistic. Main is antagonistic effect. But partial agonist support. So now what is the main function here to balance dopamine, dopamine, dopamine. To neutralize the dopamine. Okay. So now whenever I am starting a patient on second generation drug, second generation drug like clozapine, like clozapine, right. All of you, first of all, please write down the full form of cause rack in chat box. All of you, please write down. Without seeing the notes. Bolo. Cause rack full form. Clozapine. Olenzapine. Dekho, write down. All of you write down, write down, write down. Yes, clozapine, olanzapine, ziprasidone, resperidone, aripiprazole, cutiapine. Very good. Memorize the name of drug. Psychopharma, psychopharma, psychopharma. Five to six questions will come, I'm telling you. Okay. Now, second generation drug. Suppose if I'm starting my patient on aripiprazole. Aripiprazole. So, what it is going to work here now? It is going to balance, it is going to neutralize the dopamine. See, suppose if it is increased here, so it is going to decrease it or making it normal. If it was decreased, it is going to increase or making it normal. Here also neutral, here also neutral. So, whenever we are giving second generation drug, second generation antipsychotic drug, now there will be improvement in positive symptoms also, negative symptoms also. Right now, positive symptoms also, negative symptoms also. So what should be the drug of choice now? Drug of choice for schizophrenia is what? Atypical or second generation antipsychotic drug. Overall best medicine is what? Clozapine. See here, apart from, see, so what can be the side effects of clozapine? Obviously, hyperglycemia, hyperlipidemia, weight gain, sedation, and one more, pyaloria also. Cialoria means what? Excessive salivation. Salivation. Now you tell me. See here, what should be the protocol to start the patient? What should be the protocol to start the patient of schizophrenia, right? Okay, fine. Yes, very good. Very good. I can see that most of you are able to answer. Most of you are able. Yes, very good. So see here. See this question and try to answer.
मोस्ट ऑफ यूर मार्किंग आंसर ए राइट वेरी गुड हंड्रेड परसेंट रॉन्ग डॉक्टर कार्तिक डॉक्टर शुभम वर्मा ओके ठीक है ऑल ऑफ यू शुड ट्राई Who is not responding to close up? No. Who is not responding to close up? Now let's see this. देखो, what is the protocol? How we are going to start the treatment of schizophrenia patient? Always see step number one. Step number one. Always start with a typical antipsychotic. Always start with a typical antipsychotic drug, except olanzapine and clozapine. Olanzapine and clozapine, I have to, I have to preserve it for future. So I can start my patient on any antipsychotic like aripiprazole, aripiprazole or aspiridone. Okay, fine. After that, I am calling my patient to come after six weeks. But when patient came after six weeks, no, there is no response. Now change other atypical antipsychotic. Again, except olanzapine and clozapine. Again, you call your patient to come after six weeks. Again, when patient came, there is no response. Now step number three. Step number three. Now you shift the patient. On a typical antipsychotic, typical antipsychotic like haloperidol. Again, you call your patient after six weeks. Again, there is no response. Again, there is what? No response, right? No. Now, patient will be called as a case of treatment resistant schizophrenia. Treatment resistant schizophrenia. Now, what should be the drug of choice? Now, drug of choice should be clozapine. Clozapine. Clozapine is the drug of choice for what? Treatment resistant schizophrenia. Again, you call your patient after six weeks. Again, if there is no response, last option is what? ECT electroconvulsive therapy electroconvulsive therapy electroconvulsive therapy right so what is the answer here now when patient is not responding to close up in then what should be the answer last option is what electroconvulsive therapy remember here there are different different types of schizophrenia like there are different different types of schizophrenia. One is called as paranoid, paranoid type of schizophrenia. Second is a catatonic type of schizophrenia. Third is hebephrenic schizophrenia. Hebephrenic or disorganized. Paranoid, overall, this is the most common type. This is having late onset but good prognosis catatonic motor symptoms are there now this is having best prognosis what i'm saying here that this is having best prognosis hebephrenic schizophrenia also called a disorganized this is having early onset bad prognosis i'm not saying worst it is saying what bad prognosis but worst type of personality Worst personality. What does it mean? You might have seen a naked person running on the road. Right now? You might have seen what? Naked person running on the road who has not taken bath for last one month. Right? Playing with his tool, shouting, abusing everyone. So the, the dirtiest type of person or that person will be called as a case of what? Maybe phrenic or disorganized type of schizophrenia. Worst personality but bad prognosis. Fourth type, they call these three you keep here. After that, if you have a patient who does not come under any of these categories, he will be called as a case of what? As a case of undifferentiated. Fifth, simple type of schizophrenia. Simple type, this is the rarest type, but 
वर्स्ट प्रोग्नोसिस वर्स्ट प्रोग्नोसिस सिंपली इट इज इज ऑपरेन नो हिस्ट्री ऑफ पॉजिटिव सिम्टम्स ओनली नेगेटिव 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 सिम्टम राइट ओके फाइन नाउ सिक्स इज अनडिफर सिक्स्थ इज वॉट रेसिडुअल टाइप ऑफ स्किज ऑपरिनिया पेशेंट स्टार्टेड हैविंग पॉजिटिव सिम्टम्स बट लेफ्ट ओनली विद सम रेसिड्यू ऑफ नेगेटिव सेवेंथ इज पोस्ट स्किज ऑफरिनिक डिप्रेशन विच इज हैविंग मैक्सिम लेवल ऑफ वॉट सुसाइडल टेंडेंस रिमेंबर हियर ई सी टी इलेक्ट्रो कन्वर्जिव थेरेपी नो दिस कैन बी सपोर्टिव इन ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ स्किज ऑफरिनिया Having said that, if patient is presented to you after two years, if patient is having schizophrenia for more than two years, no, he will be called as a case of which type of schizophrenia? Chronic schizophrenia. Remember, ECT is not productive here, useless. ECT. Does not work in long-standing schizophrenia. Is it? Or after two years, if a patient is coming to you, or if a patient is having schizophrenia for last two years, ECT will not be that much effective, right? ECT will not be that much effective. So remember here, what are, what kind of question? One line examiner question. One line question examiner can ask. Best prognosis: catatonic. Worst prognosis: simple. Late onset: good prognosis. okay in paranoid personality is preserved even in which a drug abuse paranoid type of schizophrenia can be seen remember cocaine cocaine okay heavy phrenic early onset bad prognosis so this classification the seven types which i have written here now this is as per dsm 5 and icd 10 but there is a new update in icd 11 as per icd 11 new classification of schizophrenia is what if a patient is having first time attack it is called a first episode if patient is having attack and one more history is there before also patient had schizophrenia multiple episodes third if patient is having many relapses for more than one year then it will be called as what schizophrenia continuous this is what as per icd 11 new classification first episode multiple episode continuous right okay fine now see here now what is the definition of treatment resistant schizophrenia treatment resistant schizophrenia when a patient it when a patient is not responding to minimum equal to a minimum two antipsychotic drugs when patient is not responding to minimum or equal to two antipsychotic drug patient will be called as a case of what treatment resistant schizophrenia now what should be the drug of choice clozapine my question is that my question is that this time actually in nicit they asked a patient of schizophrenia was started on antipsychotic drugs patient did not respond to two antipsychotic drug now patient is started on drug a after starting the patient on drug a patient is complaining of hyperglycemia hyperlipidemia excessive salivation weight gain what is the name of drug a please answer all of you name of drug a very good now you can easily solve right drug a is nothing but all of you write down write down jitna samajh mein aa raha likho yes drug a is what clozapine 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 now you can easily understand clozapine is most important don't get confused with clonazepam clonazepam is benzodiazepine that is different this is clozapine 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 very important drug for your exam for your patients now solve this question read this question and try to solve Yes, 
he developed rigidity inability to move his eyes so basically this is what a type of extra pyramidal symptom type of extra pyramidal symptom let's learn all extra pyramidal symptoms one by one okay which of the following drugs should be added to the treatment this is the question here so let's learn about extra pyramidal symptoms acute dystonia means what sudden muscle contraction sudden muscle contraction like there can be sudden neck muscle contraction this is called as what right neck also called as torticollis lipation will become like this this is called what torticollis torticollis see there can be what jaw lock jaw lock deviation of eyeball laryngospasm these are acute dystonia dystonia so what is the drug of choice we have to give what anticholinergic drug how to treat acute dystonia anticholinergic drug injection we have to give which one either we are going to use promethazin very very important promethazin benzotropine or even you can go with what diphenhydramine these are the drugs which we are using to treat what acute dystonia now acute akathisia means what restlessness restlessness here patient will not be able to sit at one place patient will keep on moving from here to there here to there again and again right now inability to, to sit fidgeting of legs right now so there will be symptoms like anxiety and this is acute akathisia there can be suicidal behavior also what is the drug of choice beta blocker which beta blocker especially drug of choice remember propanolol propanolol neuroleptic malignant syndrome very very important what is the meaning of neuroleptic malignant syndrome you might have learned about this no here yeah, there will be what very very high fever okay very high fever severe body pain severe body spasm there will be what sweating right no very very high fever there will be what sweating there can be seizure if you do blood test increase level of cpk enzyme increase level of cpk enzyme this is called a neuroleptic malignant syndrome what is the drug of choice to treat this drug of choice is what dantrolene 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 okay dantrolene very very important drug remember here all these drugs are important to treat extra pyramidal symptoms very very important these are acute symptoms and long standing obviously there will be what tardive dis right now tardive dystonia dyskinesia tardive dyskinesia means what like a rabbit like feature there will be what face will become like puffy protrusion of tongue lips and all rabbit like symptoms no okay fine so what to do see first of all anticholinergic drug should be given and after that you have to shift the patient to second generation drugs because extra pyramidal symptoms are mostly because of what for generation drugs patient can also develop parkinson's like symptom because you are decreasing dopamine level so drug induced parkinsonism can also be there right i hope all these points are clear to all of you so now can you answer me what is the answer here what about this question this is a case of what rigidity inability acute dystonia dystonia right now so we have to give which drug anticholinergic out of these which one promethazine promethazine drug i hope all these points are clear to everyone very good very good now see some new drugs a patient is having a schizophrenia with major depression new drug is brexpiprazo a patient is having a schizophrenia with bipolar new drug is cariprazine cariprazine please memorize a patient is having schizophrenia with parkinson's associated psychosis there is only one drug recently approved pimavanserin so i have taught you three new antipsychotic drugs brexpiprazole cariprazine and pimavanserin pimavanserin please memorize the new drugs very very important 
Old question I have asked you before also. Answer please. Cap grass and prigoli, very important. Cap grass and prigoli. Dr. Surbhi Singh B, Dr. Learn with the sky Singh B, Dr. Lalit, Dr. Adnan, Dr. Zana, very good. All of you are saying a prigoli only. Eh? Prigoli, all of you? Okay. One is called a cap grass, another is prigoli, syndrome of subjective doubles. All these are what? All these are called as delusion of see remember here so especially this is called about delusion of misidentification especially we have to focus on cap grass and prigoli cap grass and prigoli see what is the meaning of cap grass syndrome he is male and she is female see when patient is saying that she is my wife. No, 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 no. She is not my wife. No. She looks like my wife. So what he's claiming here? A real person is replaced by an imposter. It is called as cap grass. One is replaced by another person. It is called as cap grass. What patient is claiming here? A real person is replaced by an imposter. It is called as cap grass. How to memorize? In a football ground. Natural grass is replaced by artificial grass called as cap grass. Remember like this. In the same manner now, free golly. Free golly. Free golly. Here patient is saying that he is a beggar. No, no, he is not a beggar. No, 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 no. He is my brother only. My brother has taken the appearance of a beggar and now he is disguising me as a beggar. So here in free golly syndrome, patient is saying what? One person can change multiple appearances. One person can change multiple appearances. Same person can change multiple appearances. That is called as what? Prigoli syndrome. So cap grass, what does it mean? One is replaced by another. Two people are involved in cap grass syndrome. Prigoli, one person can change many appearances. Many appearances. That is called a what? Prigoli syndrome. So what is the answer here? Answer is Prigoli syndrome. Last time in MCI, they have asked question, in which type of dementia cap grass syndrome will be seen? Remember here, there is a type of dementia that is called a dementia with Lewy body. Please write down dementia with Lewy body. Here patient will be having maximum visual hallucination. Maximum Visual hallucination, maximum visual hallucination, right now, patient is having maximum visual hallucination, so patient can have delusion of misidentification, so remember here, delusion of misidentification can be seen with dementia with Lewy body, last time MCI question answered, right, okay, fine, now one more time, see, do you think all schizophrenia patient will be mentally retarded, no, I have explained you about Professor Nash, John Nash, who got Nobel Prize, and schizophrenia patient can be genius also. But some patients can have schizophrenia with mental retardation also. Mental retardation also, that is called a what? Prof schizophrenia. Okay, and this is a Van, actually Van Gogh. This is a Van Gogh. Van Gogh was a famous painter. Van Gogh was a famous painter who was suffering from schizophrenia, who slashed, who chopped his own ear, left ear actually. Okay? So schizophrenia with the self-mutilation is called a Van Gogh syndrome. Mostly person will be very much oriented in this schizophrenia. No disorientation, no mental confusion. But in some cases, there can be schizophrenia with the disorientation. Schizophrenia with mental confusion. Dream-like state. Oneroid means dream. It is called as oneroid type of schizophrenia. Okay? Remember one more type of schizophrenia, old one more scientist was there, his name was T.J. Crow. His name was T.J. Crow. He divided schizophrenia into type 1 and a type 2. In type 2, in type 1, everything is good. Good prognosis, responding well to medications, right? Good pro Type 2, everything will be bad. Bad prognosis, responding bad to medications. Very easy to understand. Type 1, type 2, old type of questions, okay? 
TJ Crow classified is schizophrenia into type 1, type 2. Okay. In this manner, we have completed each and every point. See here, I have covered. See here, for first chapter and second chapter, we have spent. Uh, we have, we actually spend a lot of time. So, but actually, it's worth. I'm telling you, it's worth. Now, and I can, now some small, small chapters. Eating disorders. How many eating disorders you know? Can you write down in chat box, all of you? Anorexia nervosa. All of you write down. Jitne bhi aate hain, likho. Write down all types of eating disorders which I have taught you. Yes, at least you will have anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa, binge eating disorder, binge eating disorder, avoidant, restrictive food intake disorder and pica. At least these five you should know. Out of these, please remember here that overall most common type of eating disorder is a binge eating disorder. Most common type is what? Binge eating disorder. Now, remember when I compare anorexia nervosa and bulimia nervosa, first of all, let's learn about these two. Question is that why there, are, see why there is eating disorder. First of all, eating disorders will be more common among male or female? Much, much more common among females. Ratio is a 10 is to 1, but this can be seen among males also, right now? Okay, so why they have this kind of eating disorder? Because these people are what? Image conscious, weight conscious, figure conscious. Young girls, especially teenagers, they would like to become what? Like they pick up on the code, like Angelina Jolie, right now, figure maintaining and all. So I know after eating disorder, they will become what? Malnourished Angelina Jolie. Weight loss can be there. But these, remember here, anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa, these are what? Image conscious, weight conscious, figure conscious, right? See here, she she appears to be very much fine. But whenever she is looking herself into the mirror, she is thinking that, oh my God, I am becoming fat, I am becoming fat. So what she will do? She is going to restrict the food. She will not, this is the maximum lunch what she is having now. So either there will be maximum restriction. Or even if she is going to eat more, even if there will be a binging, what is the meaning of binging? Binging means what? What is the meaning of binging? Binging means overeating. Binging means what? Overeating. Binging means overeating, right? Overeating. Binging. Yes. So even if she is going to eat a lot, eat a lot after that, there'll be what? Feeling of guilty, right? Now, there will be what? Feeling of guilty. Now she is going to have what? Now she is going to do what? She is going to vomit out. She is going to vomit out. That is called the purging episodes. So basically, so these are called as what? Compensatory behaviors, right? Now, these are called what? Compensatory behaviors. Okay, fine. Compensatory behaviors. Either there'll be what? Binging. After binging, there will be what? Purging episodes. Purging means what? What is the meaning of purging? To vomit out. She will insert the finger into the mouth. After that, she will vomit out or excess use of laxatives. Right. So now you tell me if she, first of all, either she is not going to eat, there will be a problem for sure. Yes. If there is maximum restriction, yes, problem there will be there. Overeating and over vomiting also, there will be secondary complications. No. So see, let's learn here, very easy to understand and very, very important topic. First of all, suppose if I have two patients, patient A and patient B. Patient A is having maximum restriction. Maximum restriction means what? She is eating very, very less. For last one week, she is eating every day only one, one bread. That's it. See, both are image conscious. What I'm saying is that? Both are image conscious. Maximum restriction. If there is a maximum restriction, do you think there can be nutritional deficiency? Maximum restriction. So do you think there can be nutritional deficiency? All of you? Yes. There will be what? A nutritional deficiency. Nutritional deficiency. Do you think there can be situation like starvation? 
starvation yes there can be situation like a starvation that is there will be situation like a starvation right very easy to understand that there will be situation like a starvation a starvation means what do you think there will be definition see there will be what say there will be deficiency of carbohydrate fat protein minerals easy to understand yes there will be different there will be a deficiency of all these right now remember here now when there will be deficiency of nutrition do you think there will be weight loss there will be weight loss yes weight loss so do you think because of these nutritional deficiency do you think there can be imbalance in hormone also yes there will be what decreased level of lh and fsh lh and fsh now tell me do you think there can be amenorrhea also yes amenorrhea amenorrhea can also be there right amenorrhea can also be there do you think there can be sexual problem also yes lack of libido delay in secondary sexual growth do you think there can be edema also edema yes loss of protein loss of albumin right now because of decrease in albumin there will be what edema because of loss of nutrition do you think each and every muscles will also be affected yes heart will also become weak heart muscle so what will happen here now so what will happen now now there will be what decrease heart rate there will be what decrease bp hypothermia also hypothermia also if you see face okay forearm and the back there will be what a lanugo there will be what a lanugo okay very easy to understand patient a patient b is having more purging see here more binging and more purging episode basically she is eating full plate biryani full plate but after three to four hours she is realizing the fact oh my god i have eaten a lot right now you tell me if after three to four hours if she is going to vomit out do you think there will be situation like a starvation no starvation no starvation so if there is no starvation what will happen to weight weight will be decreased or normal weight normal weight what about sexual function normal libido normal secondary sexual growth normal what about menses mostly normal sometimes abnormal also sometimes sometimes but mostly normal okay fine now see here a was having maximum restriction a is what a is anorexia nervosa b is having more binging more purging b is what bulimia nervosa now out of these points now you can easily understand which one is more dangerous anorexia is more dangerous or bulimia is more dangerous remember here dangerous anorexia is more dangerous than bulimia but which one is more common remember is bulimia is more common than anorexia bulimia is more common than anorexia my question is that if she is going to insert the finger again and again in the mouth again and again in the mouth do you think there can be erosion over the knuckles yes it is called as what russell sign it is called as Russell sign, Russell sign. Do you think there can be the risk of dental caries also? Yes, dental caries. Do you think there can be inflammation of salivary gland also? Salivary gland. Yes, there can be parotitis. Again and again vomiting. Do you think there can be metabolic abnormality? Metabolic alkalosis. Remember here, Russell signs and all these can be seen in both anorexia also, bulimia also. But more common in bulimia, more common in bulimia than anorexia. Remember, all these points are important for your exam. All these points are important for your Very easy to understand, right? Remember, earlier there were two criteria to diagnose anorexia nervosa. Two criteria, weight loss and amenorrhea also. Remember, Amenorrhea can be seen in approximately 89% people, 89% patient, not 100%. What about the boys is having, a boys will be having anorexia there? No problem, right? No. So, now there is only one criteria to diagnose. Remember, now there is only one criteria to diagnose. Anorexia nervosa. And this is what? 
weight loss. This is what? Weight loss. How much is the normal BMI? Normal BMI is 18.5 to 24.9. Remember here, if BMI is less than 18.500%, patient is suffering from what? Anorexia nervosa. Now there is only one criteria to diagnose anorexia nervosa and that is what? Weight loss, weight loss, weight loss. Now answer me one question. Suppose if I have a patient in my OPD, I have one patient in my OPD, 17 year old girl, on examination, I can understand that she is image conscious. Russell signs are also positive. Menses are normal. So far, what is the diagnosis? Menses are normal. No amenorrhea. What is the diagnosis now? Anorexia or bulimia? Bulimia nervous so far. But the fourth option is if along with all these symptoms, if BMI is less than 18. Now what is your answer? Now answer will become what? Bolo. Now answer will become what? Anorexia nervosa. Anorexia nervosa. Very easy to understand. Right now? Because Russell signs can be seen in both. Right now? Image consciousness both. Right now? Okay, fine. All right. I hope all these points are clear to all of you. Remember here, because of the image consciousness and all, patient can go into depression also, social phobia also, patient can commit suicide also. Right? Okay, fine. Now, are you going to, for the treatment, are you going to admit both or only one? Remember how to treat, how to treat anorexia, hospitalization is mandatory. What is the most important factor for hospitalization? It is what? Weight loss. Right? It is what? Weight loss. Increase the calorie by 500 every day. Most important, supervise the patient for two hours after taking meal because she can go to a washroom and she can vomit out, right? CBT is always most important. You have to what? Motivate the patient to eat well, eat healthy. Suppose if it is not working out then, we can use SSRI, fluoxetin. We can use what? Fluoxetin, SSRI. Good food, good mood, good sleep. We can also use a TCA because in TCA also we are going to increase the level of serotonin, right? Ciproheptadine and antipsychotics like Olenza can also be used. Why? Because their side effect is to increase the weight. Yes, side effect. This is what? Side effect. Bulimia nervosa we can treat on OPD basis. Corner stone of eating disorder is always what? CBT, CBT, CBT. But if patient is not responding, then last option is what? SSRI. Okay, anorexia nervosa and bulimia nervosa should be clear to everyone I'm telling you. Very, very important. Very, very important. Now, can you solve this question? Here also patient is having same symptoms like anorexia nervosa, restrictive type, nutrition deficiency, weight loss. She avoids eating because she does not like the smell of the food. Remember here? Here important thing is what? She is not image conscious. This is the point. This is the point I am telling you. This is the point here. She is not image conscious. Let's see this question. One more disorder is there that is called as what? That is called as avoidant restrict food intake disorder. These patients also do not eat the food. But why they are not eating the food? Because they do not like the taste or a smell of the food. Right now? So, remember here, that's why they do not eat. That's why they avoid. It is called as avoidant restrictive food intake disorder. Right? It is also called as functional dysphagia. Remember here, same symptoms like anorexia nervosa will be there. Weight loss will be there. So how to differentiate? Remember, these people do not eat because they do not like that taste or smell of the food. That's why they avoid. But they are not image conscious. They are not image conscious. No disturbance of body image. They are not image conscious people. Right? Very easy to understand. Right. So here, answer is what? Answer is avoidant restrictive 
food intake disorder. Now, look at this patient. Do you think he would like to become like Hrithik Roshan? Obviously, no. Binge eating, foodie people, food lovers. So obviously, weight gain will be there here. Weight gain, right? Now, how to differentiate bulimia nervosa and binge eating disorder? Compensatory behavior in bulimia nervosa is there? Yes, it is there. Binge eating? No, foodie people. Weight in bulimia nervosa? Normal. But binge eating? Weight gain. Now, one question. If patient is having, see here, if patient is having weight loss and image consciousness, what is the answer? Bolo, answer, bolo, sablo. All of you, without seeing the notes, please keep on writing. Weight loss, image consciousness. Anorexia nervosa. Image consciousness. Weight is normal. What is the diagnosis? Bulimia nervosa. Weight loss. No image consciousness. Avoidant restrictive food intake disorder. Easy to understand. I hope all these points are clear to all of you. Remember here, one more eating disorder is here. That is called a pica. Pica means what? Appetite for non-nutritive substances. Appetite for non-nutritive substances. That is called as pica. Psychological disorder. Right now? Okay, fine. When a person can eat brick, chalk, right now? Brick, chalk, clay, even hair, even fecal matter. That is called as pica. Now, personality disorder is very, very important. First of all, what is the meaning of personality? See, remember here, first of all, personality disorders. Mention here that. Everyone will be having different way of responding to a particular situation, right? No, different way of responding to a particular situation, right? Okay, power of adjustment. So, see, almost all of us will be having. Dr. Shubham is asking, what is the treatment for bulimia? Yes, for bulimia, first of all, behavior therapy, CBT. CBT. If the patient is not responding, then we can go with SSRI and you know, TC. Uh, we can start, you know, like some kind of TC also, right? Okay, fine. Personality disorders, almost all of us will be having some problem, some kind of personality issues. But remember, if it starts hurting you, if it starts creating problem in your personal life, family life, social life, right now, and the professional life, then it will be called as personality disorders. Remember, personality disorders starts in a young age. Adolescent age, okay, and personality disorders. Remember here, young age and personality disorders, these are egosyntonic in nature. Egosyntonic means what? Person is completely normal, agreeable to say, no problem at all. I am okay, you are not okay. I am okay, man. See here, here since this is egosyntonic, so the patient never wants to take any treatment. Patient never wants to take any treatment. See, now, now, wait for some time. Write down in chat box, what are the new antipsychotic drugs I have taught you? Please write down all of you. Write down all of you. Three new antipsychotic drugs. Bolo ek bar. Brixpiprazole, Cariprazine, and what? Primavensary. What are the full form of Cosrac? Write down Cosrac. Full form of Cosrac. Clozapine, Olenzapine, Ziprasidone, Respiridone, Aripiprazole, Cutiapine. If there'll be acute dystonia, what should be the drug of choice? They call it magic. Like? Like? Write down Promethazin, Venstropin, or Diphenhydramine. Acute Akathisia, Beta Blocker, Propanolol, Neuroleptic Malignant Syndrome, Drug of Choice, Dantrolin. Okay, Dantrolin. Very good. So remember, personality disorders start, see here, this will start in young age, egosyntonic. That's why personality disorders patients, they never want to take any treatment. So first of all, I'm going to teach you as, as per clusters, okay? 
as per ICD-10 and DSM-5. First of all, old classification. Cluster A people will appear to be odd, will appear to be odd and eccentric. Will appear to be odd. Dekke lagega ke this guy looks very, very odd. So, here there are three personality disorders. Paranoid, schizoid, schizotypal. If a person is always suspicious, remember you are always suspicious of other people. Always suspicious. Right now? These kind of people, they believe in conspiracy theory. They believe in conspiracy theory. They question on the loyalty of their friends also. And they feel that everyone want to, everyone wants to harm them. So that's why they will always be in the revenge mode. Always be in the revenge mode. Okay, revenge mode. Remember, paranoid personality disorder, no? Paranoid personality disorder. See, now you tell me when a person is always suspicious about others, about without any reason, always suspicious, hamesha dusro pe shak karna, always suspicious about other people. So this will be more common among male or female. Male or female? Always suspicious? Okay, you are writing about females. No? For females, it is considered as normal. Eh? Normal. Eh? Eh? Jokes apart. Remember, paranoid personality disorder is more common among male. Among male. Paranoid personality is more common among males. Remember, paranoid is always suspicious, right? They believe, we, they believe in conspiracy theory, right? Always in the revenge, they keep grudges, many grudges. Schizoid people socially isolated, socially detached, socially detached, and emotionally cold. Emotionally cold and socially detached, right? Remember here. So, schizoid people means what? So, schizoid people, these people are emotionally cold and most of the time, these people are what? Socially isolated. Emotionally cold, even if you appreciate, no problem. Even if you criticize, no problem. So, lack of sexual activities, lack of family activities, lack of social activities, lack of friends. Schizotypal people, schizotypal. They will appear to be very much odd. Odd speech, remember everything will be odd. Odd speech, odd dressing, odd dressing, odd thinking process. These kind of people, they believe in magical thinking. Very superstitious. They believe in other world also, one more world also. Remember, under super stress, they can have delusion and hallucination also. Oh my God, what I'm saying here that in this personality disorder, psychotic symptoms are also happening here. That's why as per a new classification, new update, schizotypal is no more a personality disorder. This is considered as, schizotypal is considered as at the borderline of schizophrenia. Cluster A, paranoid, schizoid, schizotypal. Now, cluster B, full of drama. So, this will be more common among male or female. Bolo, full of drama and tantrum. So, you are writing females, huh? Okay, so I will divide equally. Okay, I will divide equally. First of all, histrionic people. Histrionic, obviously, more common among females. Histrionic makes what? Full of drama. Full of tantrum. Full of tantrum. Okay. Remember here, full of drama, full of tantrum. Most important is what? They will be having what? Attention seeking attitude. Attention seeking attitude. Why they are full of drama? Why they will behave in, you know, like, like in an extrovert manner, emotionally labile manner. They will exaggerate everything for simple, simple thing. They will make something like, oh my God, what has happened? That is what? Histrionic. Why they are behaving like this? To get attention. If they do not get attention, they can start behaving in a seductive manner also. There can be suicidal gesture. What I am saying, suicidal gesture means what? Only acting. No real suicide. 
girlfriend is asking her boyfriend that if you are not going to take me out for shopping, I will jump from ground floor. Eh? This is called as what? Suicidal gesture. Only gesture. Right now, attention seeking attitude full of drama. Narcissistic, this is more common among male. This is more common among male. Remember only one word, self-love. Excessive sense of self-importance. I am this, I am that, I am the boss, I am this, right? This is narcissistic personality. Right now, self-important, excessive self-important. They always, they always anticipate admiration from other people. Means everyone should be talking about me only, me only, me only. If these kind of people are standing with their friends, everyone should be able, should be speaking about them only. This is what narcissistic, narcissistic. These kind of people can be selfish also, right? No? I remember here, these kind of people are emotionally fragile, emotionally fragile. Emotionally fragile, so they can easily slip into depression also. Now, antisocial personality disorder means what? These kind of people are involved into illegal activities like a robbery, stealing the objects, fight with other people. Right? Antisocial, old name, psychopath, sociopath, right? Antisocial, this is also called as dissocial. This is also called as a dissocial. Dissocial personality disorder. So obviously these kind of people, they do not have any regards for other people. They do not feel guilty about their action, right now. Substance abuse, especially alcoholism is very common. Remember, there can be history of conduct disorder. Conduct disorder when he was a child. Conduct disorder. Conduct disorder. Antisocial means what? Age should be more than 18. Conduct means what? Age should be more than 15. You might have seen a child, very aggressive child very aggressive, violent child, harming plants and animals. That is called as what? Conduct disorder. Borderline personality disorder. Remember here, this is more common among female. Frequent mood swings without any reason. Frequent mood swings without any reason. This is also called as emotionally unstable personality disorder. Emotionally unstable Personality disorder. Very, very important. Frequent mood swings without any reason. See here, like when you look at this photo, now you can understand this man. Even he does not know why she is shouting. Frequent fights, frequent breakups. Extreme level of emotional liability. And this is called about borderline personality disorder. There can be self-destructive activities also. Slashing of wrist, overdoses of medicine. So please write down here, suicidal tendency can be seen. Suicide can be seen in borderline also and antisocial also. Drug abuse can be seen in borderline also, antisocial also. Very, very easy to understand. I hope all these points are clear to all of you. Here we are, see here, borderline personality disorder. If you do not treat on time, there is very high risk of developing what? A bipolar disorder. So how to treat? First of all, see for all personality disorder, first of all, how to treat? Psychotherapy. Psychotherapy. Apart from that, as per the symptoms, we have to start medicine, right? Borderline, we have to start mood stabilizer also, antidepressant also, sometimes anti also. One behavior therapy for borderline. For C, see, for simple behavior therapy, we have CBT, co uh, cognitive behavior therapy. For borderline, we have what? DBT, dialectical behavior therapy. We motivate the patient not to harm. Dialectical behavior therapy. Last cluster C, these kind of people will always be anxious. Anxious and fearful. Avoidant means what? Fear of rejection. Suppose if a first year MBBS student, 17 year old boy, he proposed 17 girls and got rejected everywhere, right? After that, do you think he will develop fear of rejection? 
यस फियर ऑफ रिजेक्शन फियर ऑफ रिजेक्शन दैट्स वाई दिस काइंड ऑफ पीपल विल अवॉइड मीटिंग अदर पीपल नो अवॉइड दैट्स वाई दे विल बी हैविंग वॉट लैक ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस डिपेंडेंट Seeking excessive amount of advices from other people for simple simple thing, these kind of people will always be dependent on other. Okay, dependent persona, obsessive and compulsive personality, and OCD of contamination both are different. OCD of contamination is what ego dystonic, but obsessive and compulsive personality is syntonic. Here a person will be showing what perfectionism. perfectionism person will be focusing more on minute minute details minute minute details for everything they will be showing what perfection that's why they will always be delayed they will always be late in delivery of the task right obsessive and compulsive type of personality disorder personality disorder so see remember here cluster a cluster b cluster c as per old pattern old pattern but as per a new pattern as per icd11 icd11 has removed abc is icd11 has classified as a mild moderate and is severe mild moderate and severe this is a dimensional approach suppose earlier a person was there who was only harming plants and animals mild anti social behavior after that he did robbery moderate anti social after that he did murder severe anti this is the new classification okay fine now which of the following is incorrect answer please Yes, Dr. Sara is here. Hello, hello. Good evening, Dr. Adnan, Dr. Shubham, Dr. Helping Healing Hands. Yes, very good. Dr. Helping Healing Hands less than fifteen for conduct disorder. For conduct disorder, the personality disorders I have explained you everything. Cluster A, cluster B, cluster C. Now the new classification is what mild, moderate, and severe. One more classification. See one more classification is there. Person can be a type A. Person can be a type B. Person can be a type C. Person can be a type D and type A. Type A full of competition. Full of competition. Very competitive. Very ambitious. Right now, so and sometimes you might have seen these kind of people, uh, like these kind of managers, like. Uh, they will be talking with their you know like they will be talking with their managers and uh, they will be talking with their employees hey, do it fast do it fast i don't have this much time always a time urgency they will be having right so see full of competition very competitive very ambitious right no, very ambitious right okay fine very ambitious at the risk of heart attack in future coronary artery disease at the risk of myocardial infarction at the risk of a stroke type b people easy going entertainment 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 no risk of heart attack relaxed people cool people type b type c means what stressed people stressed every time you will see these kind of people will be full of stress right now full of stress so these kind of people they keep all the emotions inside and emotions are like energy if you are keeping all the emotions inside no there will be what weak immune system there are the risk of there are the risk of cancer in future cancer in future type d depressed people negative thoughts they are also at the risk of heart attack in future coronary artery disease type h you might have seen in every batch there will be a self claimed monitor a person who wants to control other people hardiness type personality that is called a type h personality disorders have completed everything now which of the following is incorrect ego syntonic yes schizotypal is no more a personality disorder yes new classification is mild moderate and severe yes other psychiatric illness associated with narcissistic remember here narcissistic personality disorder no these people are emotionally fragile 
they will not be able to tolerate even the simple, simple criticism and they can easily slip into depression. Depression, not OCD. Remember here, they are at the risk of depression. Sleep disorders. The next topic, sleep disorders. There are two types of sleep pattern, REM and non-REM. Ne REM and non-REM. Rapid eye movement, non-rapid eye movement. See, remember here, first of all, we should know there are two types of sleep disorder. One is called as a dysomnia. Another is called as parasomnia. Dysomnia means what? When sleep is the problem. When sleep is the problem. Like insomnia and hypersomnia. So can you define insomnia first of all, all of you? How to define insomnia very very important for your exam and you might be suffering also right now insomnia means what you are going to bed at 9 p.m and falling asleep by 1 a.m again and again in the night so so what does it mean there is problem in sleep induction problem in sleep induction sleep induction problem you are not able to maintain the sleep because every time you are having dream, oh my God, result out, oh my God, hall ticket didn't come, oh my God, and so every time, oh my God, 114, oh my God, 153. Basically, again and again, you are getting up in the night time. So, you are not able to maintain the sleep. You are not able to maintain the sleep. Okay? You are not able to maintain the sleep. See, there can be early morning awakening. Patient will say, Sir, earlier I used to get up by 7, but these days without alarm, I am getting up by 5. Early morning awakening, classically seen in depression. Fourth point, non-restorative sleep. Patient is saying, what sir, I am sleeping for 5 hours, but I do not feel fresh. Depression. So, these are the definition of, and so, insomnia. How to treat? We can give benzodiazepine. But benzodiazepine is having what? Severe addiction. That's why now we are using what? Z compounds. All of you, please write down some examples of the benzodiazepine. All of you, please write down some of the examples of benzodiazepine. Likho. All of you, all of you. Alprazolam, Clonazepam, Diazepam, Lorazepam, Oxazepam, Clodizepoxide, all these, they go. For every, for every group of the drugs, you should know 4, 5, 6. Okay? What are the Z compounds? There are only 3 Z compounds. Zaliplon, Zolpidem, Isozopiclon. That combo. So, remember here, benzodiazepine is having severe addiction. This is having what? Severe addiction. That's why, see here, maximum we are giving to the patient for two to three weeks. Ideally, we should stop before two weeks because after two weeks, there is very high risk of dependency. High risk of dependency. That's why we are using Z compounds. Now, melatonin agonist receptor is also there. Now, melatonin receptor agonist, which one? Rameltion, right? Rameltion. Very easy to understand. These are the drugs which we are using for what? Insomnia. Now, one syndrome which is associated with insomnia, can you answer me? Where patient, when patient is sleeping, where he is having what? Sensation of insects around his legs. Sensation of insects around his legs. And because of this, he keeps on moving his legs and he is not able to maintain the sleep. What is the diagnosis? This is called as what? Answer please. Ekbom syndrome. It is called as what? Ekbom syndrome. Restlessness. Feeling of sensation. Feeling of sensation around the legs, right? Ekbom syndrome. Also called as what? Restless leg syndrome. Delusional parasitosis. How to treat? Okay, remember dopamine agonist we are giving? Ropinirol. Ropinirol, ropinirol dopamine agonist. Okay, we can also use the we can also use the pramipexol. Pramipexol. 
Remember, all these points are important. Now, let's learn about parasomnia. Parasomnia means what? Abnormal events during the sleep. It can happen during non-REM means what? Non-rapid eye movement sleep. Non-rapid eye movement sleep, right? Deep sleep basically, right now delta wave will be more prevalent here. Deep sleeps where person is not able to recall anything, almost unconscious, patient does not remember anything, right? There can be what horrible level of dream that is called a power, power nocturnus. Sleep walking somnambulism, this occurs here only. Bruxism, teeth grinding, sleep talking somni locker. Sleep related inurosis, bed wetting. The question is how to treat all these. Mostly these are related to young age. As per the age, patient will improve. What about bed related inurosis? Bed wetting. We can use a medicine that is called as desmopressin. But if examiner is asking you what is the treatment of choice for bed wetting, answer should always be bed alarm. Answer should always be what? Bed alarm. There is a type of bed alarm, what kind of, what kind of bed alarm here? See here, like either mother is going to keep an alarm and after every two hours she is getting up and she is going to take the baby to washroom, right? And one more bed alarm is there, see here, like, uh, like there will be a small electronic chip. This will be implanted in the underwear of the patient, like underwear of the child. Whenever even a single drop of liquid is going to touch that, no, after that, they'll be what heavy no, 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 no. After that, patient will get up. That child will get up, right? So in this manner, child will become very, very cautious. And yes, remember here, yeah, treatment of choice is what? Bed alarm. Bed alarm. Parasomnia during a REM sleep, nightmare. This is milder form of horrible dream. Nightmare patient will be able to recall. But what about power nocturnus? Will not be able to recall. Even narcolepsy also mostly we see during REM only, right? Okay, all these points are important related to your exam. Now, see what will be the symptoms in narcolepsy? You have to be careful that, see here, four symptoms you have to keep in mind. Four symptoms, okay? Four symptoms you have to keep in mind. See, narcolepsy means what? First of all, patient will have, see here, First of all, there are four stages of non-REM. Stage 1, then stage 2, then stage 3, then stage 4. After that, after that, there will be repetition of a REM. This is, see, this duration is how much? This duration, this is called as a REM latency. This will take minimum 90 to 100 minutes. This will take how much? 90 to 100 minutes. So after every 90 to 100 minutes, if there is a repetition of REM cycle, it is normal. But what if REM cycle is reduced, REM latency is reduced less than 60 minutes. So within every one hour, patient is getting up again and again, again and again, again and again. So mostly patient is in a REM only, no? That's why patient is having what hallucination also, right? No? Hallucination before going to bed and before getting up, right? Patient can have... Patient can have catalepsy. Catalepsy means what? Sudden muscle contraction. Sometimes, see, yes, suppose there will be severe sudden muscle contraction of a low limb, person can fall in the ground also. So, like some kind of the jerky movement, patient was having something in his hand. Whenever you are going to speak some kind of emotional thing to your patient, patient oh, yes, oh, yes. So, this is what? See, this is called a cataplexy. Most common symptom is what? Sleep attacks. Most common symptom? Irresistible urge to sleep again and again. Baat karte karte soch. Hypnogogic, hypnopompic hallucination. Sleep paralysis most dangerous. Eyes are open but patient is not able to move his upper limbs and lower limbs. This is called about sleep paralysis. So there are four symptoms of narcolepsy. Narcolepsy is important. Narcolepsy is important. Okay? Remember here. Okay, fine. So, over what is the root cause here? First of all, decreased or reduced the latency of REM sleep. REM sleep. How to treat? We are using which drug here, especially modafinil. Modafinil. Remember here, gold standard method to study sleep pattern is what? 
polysomnography poly somnography remember here polysomnography polysomnography where we have to check intraocular movement also ecg or heart rate also brain wave also eeg also spo2 also all movements basically remember we have to check saturation of oxygen not the carbon dioxide now mood disorders see here especially we have to look for these five major mood disorders a patient is having only depression severe depression it is called as major depression this is what unipolar patient is having depression with the mania it is called a bipolar milder form of mania is called as hypomania milder form of or milder form of milder form or you can say what a less severe form of bipolar disorder this is called a what cyclothymic in the same manner milder form or less severe form of major depression it is called as dysthymia keep in mind duration criteria is extremely important symptoms for more than 14 days major depression for bipolar disorder equal to or more than 7 days hypomania 4 days cyclothymia and dysthymia symptoms they should persist for more than 2 years more than 2 years now see now you can ask you what is the meaning of dysthymia major depression yes we are going to see major depression yes we are going to discuss very soon okay, but let's understand the meaning of cyclothymia milder form of bipolar dysthymia means what milder form of major depression what does it mean and i'm saying duration should be more than two years suppose if there is a new engineer 23 year old male he's saying doctor you know one thing since my btech since my college since my first year i never used to enjoy my friends used to have fun but i never used to have that much basically most of the time i used to be hopeless only i never used to enjoy now, if I'm asking my patient, see, uh, uh, so did you had suicidal thought? No, no, no. Weight loss? No, no, no. Milder form of major depression for more than two years is called as dysthymia. Dysthymia. Remember it. Now, hypomania and mania. How to differentiate? Hypomania is what? Mild. Mania is very serious. Remember, mania, hospitalization can be needed. Hypomania, not needed. Mania, psychotic symptoms can be seen. Delusion, hallucination. Here, hypomania, no. See here, normal activities or daily life, okay, you now life activities will be affected. Hypomania, not affected. Duration criteria for mania, more than seven days. Hypomania more than four. Very, very easy to understand. Remember here, when I talk about major depression, this is more common among females than males. What is the most common age group? Mid age group. After 35, or you can say on an average 40. But when I talk about bipolar disorder, this is more common among males than female almost equal but slightly higher among male and this is young age see here remember this is young age mania is more commonly seen in young age people young age people less than 25 keep in mind major depression mid age remember all these points are important major depression is responsible for maximum daily disability adjusted life here why depression is happening? Due to decreased level of serotonin, norepinephrine, and somewhat dopamine also in limbic system. Remember here, there is one more neurotransmitter that is called as BDNF, brain-derived neurotropic factor, which I have taught you in detail during the class. Remember, increased level of BDNF will cause mania, decrease will cause depression. BDNF, brain-derived 
brain derived neurotropic factor right now brain derived neurotropic factor okay dr adnan yes suicidal tendency is seen in mania very good very good yes so mania is actually what very much violent very much aggressive right now so very much serious right or i hope all these points are clear to all of you now let's see this question and try to answer Answer please. Yes, I can see that most of you are marking the answer as what? See, atypical depression you are saying, right? Atypical depression you are saying. Okay, fine, chalo, theek hai. We can discuss. Yes. See, remember here, there are different types of depression. First of all, most important is what? See here. See here. Suppose you would have heard, no, that in depression, patient is eating a lot or patient is not at all eating. Patient is sleeping a lot or not at all sleeping. But when I talk about typical depression or typical my patient will not eat, patient will not sleep. Typical depression, lack of mood. Lack of food. Lack of sleep. That's why there will be what? Lack of energy. That's why lack of attention, lack of concentration, lack of judgment power. That's why there will be what? See, remember, there will be what? Negative thoughts also. Negative thoughts also, right? See here, here there will be what? Severe feeling of guilt. Severe feeling of guilt, right? So obviously now suicidal thoughts, suicidal thoughts will be there and when patient is not eating, when patient is not sleeping, obviously there will be what? Weight loss. There will be what? Weight loss. There will be weight loss. Remember here, out of these symptoms, most important you have to keep in mind suicidal tendency, weight loss and yes, lack of mood. Afterwards, this can convert it into anhedonia also. In the beginning, lack of mood. Last time there was the question, what is the key feature of depression? What is the key feature of depression? Can you answer me? Lack of mood, suicidal tendency, anhedonia, or weight loss? What is the key feature? Without loss of mood, without lack of mood, how there can be depression? See here, anhedonia will take some time. Suicidal tendency will take time. In the see from the beginning to the last time, lack of mood will be there. low mood, basically sadness, sadness. So lack of mood, please write down. This is key feature of depression. Key feature, low mood, lack of mood or sadness. Very very important. Anhedonia will take some time. First of all, lack of mood, low mood. Out of these, if equal to more than five symptoms are there. For more than 14 days, 100% patient is suffering from what? Typical depression. Typical depression. Now, there is a type of depression where there can be reverse of biological symptoms. Reversal biological symptoms. Now, patient is eating more. Hyperphagia. Sleeping more. Hypersomnia. Right now? Hypersomnia. Right now, hypersomnia basically say when I talk about narcolepsy, no, narcolepsy means what actually what sleeping a lot, a lot, or hypersomnia type, right? Okay, fine. So here also patient is sleeping a lot, sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. Because he's eating a lot, so there is what? Weight gain. In typical depression, every time patient will be having a lack of mood, low mood. But in atypical, no, if something good will happen at home, any marriage birthday party or any good thing patient will start feeling happy this is called as what a reactivity of mood this is called a what mood reactivity sometimes there can be feeling of discrimination patient will complain his family members that you people are not loving me anymore you people are not caring about me right that is called interpersonal sensitivity Sometimes patient will say, sir, you know, I'm sitting in a corner and I'm not able to lift my hand like this so heavy. 
हेविनेस ऑफ लिम्स इट इज कॉल्ड एज वॉट लेडन पैरालिस लेडन पैरालिस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिमेंबर फॉर ऑल डिप्रेशन फर्स्ट लाइन ऑफ मैनेजमेंट इज ऑलवेज एस एस आर आई एस एस आर आई एस एस आर आई बट ए टिपिकल डिप्रेशन हो फर्स्ट लाइन इज वॉट माउ इनहिबिटर आफ्टर दैट एस एस आर आई नाउ वन मोर टिपिकल टाइप ऑफ डिप्रेशन मेलंकोलिक विच इज वॉट ओल्ड एज डिप्रेशन विच इज वॉट ओल्ड एज डिप्रेशन मेलंकोलिक मीन्स वॉट दिस इज इंग्लिश वर्ड मेलंकोलिक मीन्स वॉट आइसोलेटेड alone sad in which age there will be you know more isolation old age right no old age here person will be having severe feeling of guilt severe feeling of guilt remember miserable feeling will be there this is the most important word related to old age miserable feeling miserable feeling profound feeling of guilt here here old person will be having this kind of thought process that i could not make so many you know so much money uh, i could not make good relations and all right so miserable feeling very see here early morning awakening and very very high risk of sleep so keep in mind different different types of depression typical depression atypical depression melancholic depression very easy to understand right now See, yeah, if you see a depressed patient, no, you look at forehead, physical sign. Every time they'll be like this, no, like this. So because of this, what can be there here? There can be what contraction of muscles here, forehead muscle, like procerius muscle. You will see something like this over the forehead. This is called as omega sign, like this omega sign. Near the nasal corner, even orbicularis oculi, upper eyelid can become like this. this is called as what this is called as veragath fold so there are two physical signs of depression there are two physical signs of depression omega sign veragath fold this can be your image based question how to treat these days drug of choice is ssri okay and when to take a decision to start the patient on snri when patient see in the beginning i have taught you when patient is having what lack of energy lack of motivation lack of drive then snri what are the two examples i have explained you about snri can you tell me answer venla faxin des venla faxin mau inhibitor related to mau inhibitor there was question last time fmg okay first of all understand along with when patient is already on mau inhibitor along with mau inhibitor which food beverages should not be given remember when patient is already on mau inhibitor no we should not give what cheese red wine or beer right why because there is something called as what tyramine which is having sympathomimetic activity see when a person see here See the tyramine. When a person is going to consume cheese, red wine, and beer, no, after the see, there will be what release of tyramine that can easily be digested by monoamine oxidase, which is there in the GIT. Easily, it can be digested. But when patient is on monoamine oxidase inhibitor, no, like salicylin, when patient is going to have cheese or red wine, no, now there will be release of tyramine, monoamine oxidase inhibitor is there, no, so no. metabolism of no digestion of tyramine and tyramine can escape to systemic circulation this is having sympathomimetic activity and what it will do it is going to increase the blood pressure like hell it can see this can cause what lethal lethal hypertension lethal hypertension this is called as what cheese reaction this is called as cheese reaction how to treat how to treat this pentol amine right this time see yeah so this was the question last time now remember here earlier we were using tca what is the full form of tca tricycling or tetracyclic antidepressant like you can take the example of imipramine amitriptyline amoxapine 
Now TCA is not the first line truck. Why it is second line, second line truck? Very, very important. TCA is not good for the patient, but TCA is good for the medicals because TCA toxicity will become your question. Remember here, TCA was, see here, now you should understand, TCA was inhibiting, it was blocking serotonin and norepinephrine. Ideally, it should be, ideally it should be increasing only these two. Yes, it was increasing these two. When it was increasing these two, no, my patient would have been what? Very, very much happy. But problem with the TCA is that this is also having antagonizing effect on muscarinic receptor. Antagonizing effect on muscarinic receptors. Histaminic receptor, alpha 1, alpha 2, sodium gated channel of sodium gated channel of heart, and it is also causing metabolic acidosis. This time INICT question also, INICT question also. Remember here, now we are going to understand here TCA toxicity. Remember here, now because of muscarinic, when there is what? Anticholinergic side effect. Patient is saying what? Doctor, the medicine which you have given me, no? I'm oxapin. After this, I'm not able to see clearly. I'm having blurred vision. I'm having dry mouth, dry belly, constipation. I'm having a urinary retention also. So a patient of BPH is there with depression. Can you start the patient on TCA? No. A patient of glaucoma is there with depression. Can you start on TCA? No. Simple. Okay. This is also going to disturb the sweating, you know, the, the sweating mechanism. Right? It is also going to disturb thermoregulatory center. So there will be what? So there will be what? No sweating. So because of this, there will be what? Hyperthermia. Not hypothermia. Remember here, see it will cause what? It will cause what? Hyperthermia. See this will cause what? Hyperthermia. Hyperthermia. This is also cause midriasis. Midriasis. Because of histaminic patient is complaining what? Yes, sir, the medicine which you have given me, you know, every time I'm sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. Sedative effect. Because of alpha 1, patient is having low BP, high potential, every time giddiness, giddiness. Because of sodium gated channel problem, patient is complaining of what? Severe palpitation. There is having arrhythmia. Because of tissue hypoxia, it is calling. See, this is going to cause what? Metabolic acidosis. So if I ask you, if you have a patient of TCA toxicity, which investigations are mandatory? First of all, the ECG mandatory. You have to do. ABG, yes, you have to do. Right? No, ABG, why metabolic acidosis is very, very dangerous. No, very, very dangerous, right? So when you do ECG, everything will be, see, everything will be increased. Wide QRS, wide PR interval, right? Axis deviation and all. So ECG metabolic acidosis, so how to treat the patient, how to treat the case of TCA toxicity, serum alkalinization, injection of what, IV sodium bicarbonate, IV sodium bicarbonate, remember TCA toxicity, very very important topic for your examination, how to treat TCA toxicity, serum alkalinization, IV injection of what, sodium bicarbonate. Very, very important. Please remember here, all these signs and symptoms. This time in NICT, they have asked, which of the following symptoms cannot be seen in TCA toxicity? One option was midriasis. Second option was there, hypotension. Third was there somewhat, I think, arrhythmia. And the fourth was there, hypothermia. So answer will be what? And the answer will be what? Hypothermia. Right? Because here there will be what? Hyperthermia. More side effects you should know here. See here, because of excess of serotonin, excess of serotonin, see here, every time it should be stable. Excess of serotonin, now remember here, there can be what? There can be what? Disorientation also, mental confusion also, there can be seizure also. Remember, all these points are important related to T TCA. TCA, okay? Now, let's solve some questions related to treatment of depression, antidepressant drugs. So, can you solve this question now? See this question and try to solve, all of you. 
I can see that I'm taking longer duration for the class, but I'm telling you, uh, like we are going to solve all the questions in exam, okay? Most of the antidepressants will be having sedative side effects. But remember, remember this point that SSRI and SNRI will decrease the duration of sleep. Decrease the duration of sleep. I'm not saying they cause insomnia, no. They decrease the duration. So remember here, option A, B, TCA, mortazepine, and option D, trazodone. Write down A, B, and D. They will cause a sedation. They are going to increase. They are going to increase the sleep duration. They will cause more sedation. So if you have a patient with depression, you know, like suppose if you have a patient of dep uh, depression with insomnia, which drug you should be choosing? Mortazepine or either option number D or TCA. Remember here, but if there is a patient with depression, with hypersomnia, then you can choose what option number C, SSRI, SSRI. Last time they have asked one question in NEET PG, which antidepressant has a side effect of prior prison? Answer is Prasadone. Side effect of, side effect of what? Priapism. What is the meaning of priapism? Painful erection. Next question. See, most of the antidepressant drugs will increase the weight, except few. Can you solve this question? Remember, especially you have to remember at least two drugs, only one SSRI, which is neutral to weight, fluoxetin, and one more drug, bipropion. These two drugs are there, which are, these drugs are what? Neutral to weight. So answer is what? C. Answer is C. Bipropion is NDRI, noradrenergic dopamine reuptake inhibitor. Remember, bipropion we are using in what? Depression, very important, ADHD, and anti-smoking drug also. Anti-smoking drug. Remember, all these points are important. Next question. See, this was the question of MCI. Can you solve this question and answer? Patient is complaining of what? Sexual side effect. Sexual side effect. So now you are going to switch the patient to which drug? Imipramine is what? TCA. Venlafaxin, SNRI. Acetalopram. SSRI. What about bipropion? It is what NDRI. Keep in mind, see, always keep in mind, any drug which is going to increase the level of serotonin, serotonin can affect both. testosterone as well as the dopamine. Dopamine is responsible for the kick, no? Dopamine is responsible for kick, for orgasm. There will be kick obviously after the orgasm, right now? So remember here, increased level of serotonin is going to disturb both dopamine. Dopamine is also and testosterone also. So if there will be what? Any drug which is going to increase the level of serotonin because of what? Dopamine alteration, what will happen? Difficulty in achieving the orgasm. Difficulty in achieving the orgasm. Testosterone, what is the side effect here? Now lack of libido, erectile dysfunction. So any drug which is going to increase the level of serotonin, that will be having sexual side effect. This is TCA, it will increase serotonin for sure. 
ejaculation why because it is affecting what dopamine delayed orgasm very easy to understand so what are the antidepressants which have lesser sexual side effect first of all bupropion 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 very very important after that what has it been pesadone agomelatin vilacetone or what you oxidate remember all these drugs you have to memorize they have lesser sexual side effect most preferred is what bupropion now see this question what is the answer here bolo you are saying postpartum psychosis yes most of you are saying what postpartum most of you are saying what postpartum psychosis yeah this is the right answer very good remember here last time also there was question related to postpartum blues or psychosis they have asked remember, see here postpartum very very important psychiatric aspect of pregnancy there can be postpartum blues postpartum psychosis postpartum depression most common is see remember most common is postpartum blues blues okay this is bpd so let's understand here that whenever there will be postpartum blues no postpartum blues see here this can start this can be seen in approximately 75% of the mother after delivery okay but this is happening within one week within 3 to 5 days this is important duration is important do you think there will be the do you think there will be the tearfulness yes sleep problem yes but do you think there will be suicidal tendency or thought of harming the baby depressive episodes risk of depression no no so how to help only emotional support only emotional support but when we talk about postpartum depression no depression this can occur in approximately 10 to 15% of the mother but duration this is this can happen very very late within 3 months after delivery 3 months i'm saying 3 months are you going to see tearfulness anhedonia sleep problem here yes 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 are you going to see suicidal tendency in mother thought of harming the baby depressive episodes in future there is the risk of episode yes for everything it will be there for sure yes symptoms of postpartum symptoms of postpartum depression with illusion and hallucination this is called as postpartum psychosis postpartum psychosis but duration of postpartum psychosis is within 3 weeks now understand here postpartum blues will happen in 3 days postpartum psychosis 3 weeks postpartum depression 3 months 3 months remember it very very important okay now very very important now you can easily understand this question and answer here see here here she is claiming what her baby is not the real one someone has already stolen means nihilistic delusion cotard syndrome 20 days within 3 weeks so this is a case of what postpartum psycho postpartum psychosis now see remember here for depression yes we can use what we can use for depression we can use ect but the question is that ect question is that ect can be used in all cases of depression in all cases of depression not all cases of depression not all cases of depression remember here 
in which condition it can be used Depre if there is a depression with a suicidal tendency depression with the psychotic symptoms depression with the stupor or a patient is not responding to other modalities of treatment okay ECT. But remember, yeah, for ECT, we have to give anesthesia. There are some side effects, right? Now, methohexital we are using. So that's why we have a new procedure now. This is called as what TMS. TMS full form. What is the full form of TMS? Transcranial magnetic stimulation. Here we are using what? Magnetic field to stimulate the nervous system. Here, no need of anesthesia. Remember, here side effect will be what? TMS, headache only. Next. Now see this question. See this question and try to answer. Answer please. Okay. Yes, this is a case of what? See here, when a person is what? Hyperactive. When a person is what? Hyperactive. Working a lot, working a lot, right now. See, remember, yes, this is a case of what? Actually, mania. This is a case of what? Mania. Mania. Let's understand the meaning of mania. See, mania means what? Mania means what? Hyperactivity. Hyper. See, person will be what? Hyper. Hyper. Over talkative, overwork, right now? Over sexuality. See, whatever person will be doing, he will be doing a lot. Over religious activities, over donation, over charity, over shopping, foolish business investment. But remember here, person will be working a lot, but he will not feel tired. Why? Because mania, see, in mania, what will happen there? There will be increased level of dopamine. Increased level of dopamine. Okay? So, and there will be obviously flight of ideas will be there. Remember, you should know decreased need for sleep. When person will be sleeping only for two to three hours, two to three hours, but full of activities, full of energy. Why? Because of dopamine. So decreased need for the sleep will be there. Mania means what? Hyper. Okay, fine. Now the question is that, see now, related to mania treatment protocol is important. My question is that if you are receiving a patient of acute mania in emergency department, if there is a patient of acute mania, he is very hyper, he is very loud, he is very much destructive, shouting, screaming, he is very much violent, very much aggressive. What should be the first line of management? What should be the first line of management? Bolo, which drug will you give at first? Suppose if you are thinking lithium, okay, you can give mood stabilizer. Hmm? Okay, chalo, one more point here. Out of these symptoms, no. Minimum symptoms, like it should be three to four symptoms for more than seven days. Okay. This is the criteria. Question is that, but if a person is very hyper for bipolar, for mania, okay, no, for mania, we can give what? Mood stabilizer. My question is that if a person is having only depression, we are calling it what unipolar. If I am saying if a person is having only mania, can we call it unipolar or bipolar? Always keep in mind, mania never occurs alone. If a person is having mania, no, depression will be accompanied for sure. So remember, once a person is bipolar, he is always bipolar. If a person was having depression for last four years, he will be called as a case of what? Unipolar major depression, unipolar depression, unipolar depression. But even one episode of mania will be there. No? Now he will always be called as a case of bipolar, bipolar, bipolar. So mania is always bipolar. Okay. So we can use what? Then uh, like mood stabilizer. 
Okay, fine. So first of all, write down a few mood stabilizers. Most important is which one? Lithium, Valprate, Carbamazepine, and Lamotrigine. Out of these, I hope all of you know that lithium is gold standard drug, gold standard mood stabilizer best. Antisuicidal also. But lithium is a notorious drug also because of narrow therapeutic index. My question is that lithium can be given during pregnancy or not. Because as we have learned in pharmacology that lithium can cause teratogenic effect like Abstin's anomaly. My question is that lithium can be tried during pregnancy, yes or no? Yes or no? Bolo? Remember, although lithium is a notorious drug, Although it can cause Abstin's anomaly, but it can be tried. It can be given even during pregnancy because Abstin's anomaly it can cause. But how much is the ratio? 1 is to 1000. 1 is to 1000. Ratio is very, very much less. Okay? 1 is to 1000. So yes, lithium can be given even during pregnancy. Remember, which mood stabilizer should never be tried, should never be given during the pregnancy valparate because it can cause what? Neural tube defect. Which one? Spina bifida. Spina bifida. What is the safest mood stabilizer? Safest is what? Lamotrigine. Safest is Lamotrigine. Okay, fine. Remember here, in acute condition, if you are giving lithium, now how much is the half-life of lithium? Can you answer me? Lithium half-life, how much? 1.3 days. But lithium will achieve its plasma concentration after 3 to 4 half lives. No. So lithium will achieve its plasma concentration only after 5 to 7 days. Since lithium is a notorious drug, we should do therapeutic drug monitoring. Plasma concentration. When should you be taking the first blood sample for a TDM of lithium? Lithium will achieve its plasma concentration only after 5 days, no. So if you are starting lithium today in a case of acute lithium, it will start working after 5 days. So remember here, so lithium in acute condition, it will not be that much supportive. So when should be the first blood sample should be taken now? First blood sample after 5 days only. After 12 hours of last dose. We have to ask the patient that say here, lithium mostly we are giving TDS or BD. So we ask the patient, we are starting lithium today. On day 5, night dose you take. In the morning dose don't take. First of all, you come to hospital. I will take sample to check right now. After that, you can take morning dose. All these points are important related to lithium. Right? Okay. Remember here, why person is hyper? Why he is this much? Because of dopamine. Dopamine. So always remember, first drug to be given in a case of acute mania is always antipsychotic. Antipsychotic drug like olanzapine. Along with this, yes, we can add lithium. Lithium should be added. Lithium should be added. Although lithium will start, lithium will start working after five to seven days, but See here, in the beginning, patient is hyper. No, we have to control his hyperactivity. No, so with the help of antipsychotic, antipsychotic, antipsychotic. First a drug, a drug of choice for acute mania is always what? Antipsychotic, antipsychotic, antipsychotic. Along with this, please give benzodiazepine also to calm down the patient. Antipsychotic can be stopped after two to four months. Benzodiazepine can be stopped within two to three weeks. After that, lithium should be continued minimum for nine to 12 months. So how much is the duration of treatment for bipolar disorder for the mania here? Nine to 12. My question is that, my question is that, and I see my question is that,
if you are getting a patient of suppose if you are getting a patient of bipolar disorder no bipolar disorder bipolar disorder right bipolar depression bipolar depression means is a case of bipolar but only depression is there only depression is there can you start your patient on antidepressant or you should add some more drug my question is that can you start a patient is having only depression bipolar depression only depression can you start your patient on only on antidepressant answer is no monotherapy should not be given monotherapy should not be given because see here depression will improve more improvement more improvement now there will be what drug induced hypomania so antidepressant should always be combined with mood stabilizer mood stabilizer drug this is the rule this is the rule now see these five questions and try to answer me see these five questions question number one can monotherapy with antidepressant be started in a case of bipolar depression answer please no so what should be the combination antidepressant with mood stabilizer what is the first line of management in acute mania can you answer me second question now second question now first line of management in acute mania antipsychotic right antipsychotic okay third can lithium be used during pregnancy answer is yes safest mood stabilizer which one is the safest mood stabilizer can you answer me lamotrigine see here Mania can be two types, euphoric and dysphoric. For euphoric mania, what is the drug of choice? Drug of choice is lithium. But for dysphoric mania, drug of choice is what? Valproate. Even after road traffic accident, also person can have mood disorder no? if there'll be damage of limbic system, hypothalamus, mammary body and all, right? Okay, fine. So my question is that even in a case of accident or organic mental disorder, after accident, if a person is having bipolar, so drug of choice is valproate. Minimum duration for the treatment, 9 to 12 months. In this manner, question will be framed. See, remember here, for, suppose if a patient of depression was there on treatment for more than two years, for more than two years, he will be called as a case of what? Resistant depression. What is the new drug for them? Esketamine. Esketamine, this is enantiomer of ketamine. So, ketamine drug, no, always a risk of what? Always a risk of, always a risk of addiction, dependency. So there is a new drug, esketamine is what? Esketamine is what? Nasal spray. For the treatment of resistant depression. Every week, actually weekly along with oral. Now, postpartum depression. There are two new drugs you have to keep in mind. First of all, Brexanolone. And now recent most drug is Zurzuve. Zurzuve, okay, which is sold as Zuranolone. Zuranolone. Remember, Brexan alone, we are giving IV infusion, but Zurzobe, we have to give what? Oral drug, oral drug. These are new drugs. Remember here, very, very important drug. Now, acute lithium toxicity. When a patient is on lithium, yes, lithium can. Lithium can create problem in all the organs. Remember here, lithium can create problem in all the organs. Like CNS, may, this will be causing what? Coarse tremors. Endocrine, it will cause hypothyroidism because it is going to affect TSH, GIT, nausea, vomiting. Renal, it will cause polyuria because of that polydipsia. Finally, it will cause what? Secondary what? Basically, it will cause what? Nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. Nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. 
for diabetes insipidus how to treat now we can give what thiazide diuretics right now thiazide we can also give a spironolactone thiazide okay thiazide and spironolactone last time they have asked what is the relation between thiazide and lithium thiazide and lithium remember when a patient was already on lithium patient started having diabetes insipidus right now after that after that if you have to start the patient on see here thiazide. now thiazide also lithium also thiazide will decrease lithium clearance thiazide will decrease lithium clearance lithium clearance remember thiazide can increase the risk of lithium toxicity thiazide can increase the risk of lithium toxicity skin folliculitis folliculitis rashes teratogenic effect abstains so how to treat see remember here overall when we do plasma concentration no how much how much serum concentration we should be maintaining remember 0 0.6 to 1.2 after more than 1.5 concentration no there will be a risk of toxicity so always keep in mind that lithium tox lithium concentration should always be less than 1.5 less than 1.5 so first of all stop the lithium right now and after that we can do the lavage also and if there is what extreme condition of lithium toxicity then final last option we are left with dialysis that's it sexual disorder see this question and try to solve See, an extreme degree of sadism in which the person after mutilating the body sucks or licks the wounds right now so this is the type of see here eating the flesh of the victim to derive sexual pleasure this is a type of what paraphilia where person eats right now, this is called what necrophagia necrophagia remember in sexual disorder please revise all paraphilias okay like sadism sadism masochism see there is a paraphilia where until and unless a person is not going to murder his or her partner, he will not be getting gratification. That is called as what? What it is called as? Lust murder. You know, that is called as what? Lust murder. Also called as? Also called as erotophonophilia. See now, which type of paraphilia is this? See, remember here, which type of paraphilia? Paraphilia, you have to revise. I have taught you all in detail, right? paraphilia see here when a person is going to watch other people having sex after watching the sexual intercourse if a person is having sexual gratification it is called as what or if a female is undressing herself and if a young man is watching her secretly voyeurism that is called as what Voyeurism, also called as scotophilia. One more name. Bolo, one more name. Peeping Tom. Do you think voyeurism is a punishable offense? Yes. Which IPC? Which IPC voyeurism? Peeping Tom. Which one? IPC number, batao. IPC number 354. C. 354. C. Very, very important, right? No? By using, see, after using inanimate objects like undergarments of female, handkerchief, sandals, if a person is deriving sexual pleasure, it is called as what? Bolo? Fetishism, fetishism. After exposure of genital organ to any stranger, if a person is getting sexual pleasure, it is called as what? exhibitionism right this is called as what exhibitionism right okay fine see remember here 
Remember here, by using any mass, see what is the meaning of klismaphilia? Can you answer what is the meaning of klismaphilia? Klismaphilia? After using what? Enema. Necrophilia means what? What is the meaning of necrophilia? Desire of having sex with that dead body. Eating dead tissues is called as what? Necrophagia. So paraphilia you have to devise. Now remember here, see here, four phases of sexual response cycle. First a desire, then excitement, then orgasm, then resolution. See here, first of all, male and female should have desire, okay. Then excitement. Remember, how will you understand that male is excited and female is excited? They both will be having what? Increase blood pressure, pulse rate and respiratory rate. How will you understand male is excited? There will be what? Erection. How will you understand female is excited? There will be what? Vaginal lubrication. There will be what? Vaginal lubrication. Orgasm phase. Male and female. Male orgasm means what? There will be ejaculation. Female will be having what? Involuntary contraction of outer third of vagina. All right. Resolution body will go back to normal phase of uh, like resting phase. For excitement, how much is the duration for excitement? Minutes to hours. Orgasm, how much is the duration? 3 seconds to 15 seconds. This is having shortest period. Resolution 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. Now, related to this, disorders are being asked. I have taught you that during excitement, there will be what? Erection? No. So, which disorder belongs to excitement phase of sexual cycle? Can you answer me? Erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction. I have taught you ejaculation will be there during orgasm. So, which disorder belongs to orgasm phase? Bolo answer karo. Yes. Answer is what? Premature ejaculation. Premature ejaculation. Very easy to understand. Premature ejaculation. Remember, Female can have multiple orgasm at the same time, but male will be having what? Only one orgasm. Remember all these points. Now, related to disorder, they are asking the treatment. Premature ejaculation, first of all, behavior therapy. Squeeze technique. This time, actually, so last will, uh, so last time, uh, INI CT question. Squeeze technique. See, premature ejaculation means what? There are premature ejaculation. Remember, yeah, this can be mild moderate and a severe mild See, remember here when a person is having ejaculation within 13 seconds to 1 minute moderate 15 to 30 seconds severe less than 15 seconds less than 15 seconds severe premature ejaculation so my question is that a squeeze technique you have to ask the patient that whenever you feel that there will be ejaculation now, apply a pressure over glands. And because of this, there will be what? Backflow of semen. Backflow of semen, right? A squeeze technique. Stop a start technique. Stop a start technique. Ask the patient that whenever you feel that you are about to come or there will be ejaculation, stop for some time. Then restart. Again stop. Then restart. This is called as what? A stop a start technique. Remember, which drug can be used for the treatment of premature ejaculation? Answer is what? SSRI. Why SSRI? Because side effect of SSRI is what? Delayed ejaculation. That's why it has become the drug of choice for what? Premature ejaculation. Which SSRIs are more preferred? Can you name? Please write down. Paroxetine and Depoxy. Pyroxetin and Depoxetin. Very, very good. Very good. Yes. Okay, fine. And one more is there that is called what? Dual sex therapy. Dual role sex therapy. Where suppose, suppose if you are getting a couple and the couple are saying what? Kisa, we are married for seven years, eight years. But now we do not have that feeling for having sex. We love each other, right? But 
So here you have to teach the patient how to seduce your partner without touching the genital organ. Right now, how to improve a foreplay. This is called a dual sex therapy. Keep in mind, this is behavior therapy. And you have to treat only the couple, not the individual. This will become your question. Erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction. Mostly this is psychological. So, suppose if a person is having erectile dysfunction, or which drug should be given? We should give a drug which can increase the blood flow to the penis. Phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors like sildenafil, tadalafil, vardenafil. vardenafil. This can increase the blood flow to the penis. More the blood flow, longer the erection. There is only one injectable drug which we are injecting into corpora cavernosa or urethra, not in the uh, not in the vein or artery or intramuscular or subcutaneous. No, remember here this is alprostadil. These are drugs you are supposed to learn. Remember here these drugs you are supposed to learn. So basically, here I have taught you sildenafil, vardenafil, tadalafil. Viagra. For females also to increase their libido, we have some drugs like filibenserin. Filibenserin. To increase the lipid, to increase the libido, to increase the desire in females. So this is called a female Viagra. No, that's why filibenserin is called as what? Pink Viagra, pink Viagra. But remember here, this is completely contraindicated with alcohol because it can cause severe hypotension. That's why we have one more drug now, new drug that is Bremelanotide. Bremelanotide. Okay, Bremelanotide. So, Flibanserin and Bremelanotide, two drugs I have taught you for hypoactive sexual desire in females. All drugs which I am teaching you, please revise. Okay, you will get the PDF. Please revise it. Very good. Now, some culture bound syndrome, especially we have to emphasize on Guru and Dhat. Earlier, I was not teaching culture bound syndrome, but now we should know why. Because last time, NEET PG, they have asked this question. NEET PG or INICD, somewhere they have asked this question. Dhat syndrome. See, especially in the young boy, when they will start having ejaculation in the young age, you know, they will be confused actually. Oh my God, what is happening to my body? And they will feel that they are becoming weak or losing virility, using maleness because of what? Loss of semen. Sometimes they will be feeling what? Oh my God. See here, my blood is coming out with the semen. Sometimes suppose if they have, you know, UTI and if they can see white discharge, sometimes maybe. Or sometimes they can feel that, oh my, the semen is also coming out along with the urine. Blood in semen or semen in urine. This is called as Dhat syndrome. Dhat syndrome. Right now, uh, if you visit North India, like if, uh, like especially if you are visiting, you know, uh, like UP, like near, uh, near to Ghaziabad, you know, uh, like on the big, big wall, they will be, they will be writing, Dhat Pat Ka Ilaj Kare. Right? Actually, piles and all. Basically, you know, so this is a kind of, you know, like this is a kind of culture bound syndrome, dhat syndrome, young age disorder. But you know, like after that, after the as per the age, as per the age, patient will become normal. No issues at all. Right. So here, young boy will be having what? Young boy will be having what? This kind of feeling that he is losing his virility or maleness because of this. This is dhat syndrome. Koro syndrome. Here, person is having this kind of belief that his penis will retract back into the abdomen and he will die. And he will die. Lata syndrome. See, remember here. See, there'll be what? See, there'll be what? Exaggeration startles, right? Exaggeration of startles, even with the minimal stimuli. This is called as Lata syndrome. Keep in mind, Koru and Dha. Now, neurotic stress related. Here we are going to learn about anxiety disorders. First of all, panic disorder. Yes, I will explain you in detail. Panic disorder. Anxiety means what? Physical symptoms. Anxiety means what? Physical symptoms in response to an unknown stimuli. Right? Overall, most common psychiatric disorder is anxiety. Suddenly, if there is what? Suddenly, if there is what? Restlessness, nervousness, 
tachycardia, sweating, right now, sweating, hyperreflexia, increased frequency, there can be diarrhea also. These are the symptoms of anxiety. See, anxiety means what? Nervousness. Means only nervousness, tachycardia, palpitations and all. Same symptoms like anxiety with heart attack like symptoms. It will be called as what? Heart attack like symptoms? Panic attack. Panic attack. Pain in chest. Breathlessness. Choking sensation. Right? I know. Panic attack. First time, panic attack. Right? Okay, fine. Now, let's learn here. See, panic disorder we are going to learn in data. Specific phobia means what? Fear of some particular things like fear of spiders, arachnophobia. Fear of dogs, dinophobia. Fear of height, acrophobia. Fear of dogs, I know. Fear of death, anatophobia. Agoraphobia means what? Agora is a bigger term. Fear of places from where escaping can be difficult. See here, no? fear of places, see here, what is the meaning of agoraphobia? Fear of places from where escaping can be difficult. This can be closed space, this can be open space. Going somewhere alone is also problematic for the patient. That is also agoraphobia. If you ask the patient, use public transportation, he will be uncomfortable. Agoraphobia. Specific means what? To a particular situation. Fear of fire. Pyrophobia. Fear of water. Hydrophobia. Easy to understand, right now? Okay, fear of animals. Zoophobia. Fear of strangers. Xenophobia. So these are actually what? Specific phobias. Now, social phobia means what? Social anxiety disorder. Don't think that fear of gathering or fear among so many people. No. Social anxiety means what? Social phobia means what? Fear of being watched or fear of being judged. Fear of being judged. What other people will think about me? What other people will say about me? This is called as what? Fear of being judged or fear of being watched. Okay, now fear of getting embarrassed in a particular situation. This is called as social phobia. Social phobia, fear of being watched. Generalized anxiety disorder, free floating anxiety disorder. So many thoughts are coming to your mind. Now, selective mutism means what? Mute are the selective places. You might have seen a child or you might have seen some other people, right? You might have seen other people that they will be normal. But uh, like suppose if I talk about a child, especially in front of the mathematics teacher, he will be silent, mute. After that, there can be restlessness, nervousness, tachycardia, selective mutism. Separation anxiety disorder. See here, all these are types of what? All these are types of what? Anxiety disorders. Anxiety disorder. Panic disorder is also a type of anxiety disorder. Separation anxiety disorder means what? If you ask a child that tomorrow I'm going to shift you to hostel, for sure there will be bed wetting tonight. Why? Separation anxiety disorder. Child will be thinking what? Oh my God, I'm going to get separated from the family, from my home. Separation anxiety disorder. See this question. And try to solve. Sudden onset of breathlessness. See the symptoms here. Breathlessness, anxiety, palpitations, feeling of impending doom, impending doom due to particular fear. It happens very often, but symptoms are persisting for 15 to 20 minutes. Physical examination does not reveal any abnormality. See, so what I'm explaining here that, see here. This is a case of what? Yes, all of you are correct here. This is a case of what? Panic disorder. This is a case of panic disorder. Panic disorder. Very, very important. Panic disorder. Remember here, same symptoms of anxiety with heart attack symptoms. Like feeling of impending doom. See, first of all, First of all, what? severe pain in chest, severe palpitations, breathlessness, choking sensation. Patient will say, what? oh my God, doctor, I can, I can feel my heartbeat. I can feel my, it seems that my heart will come out, right? No, my heart will come out. Fear of dying, fear of losing control. Remember a most important term, you have to keep in mind what? Feeling of impending doom. 
feeling of impending doom. Doomsday means last day on the earth. Oh my God, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. This is called as panic attack, panic disorder. More common among females than males. Symptoms will be persisting for 20 to 30 minutes. 20 to 30 minutes. How to treat, especially what? We have to use what? SSRI with behavior therapy. SSRI, we can also use benzodiazepine with behavior therapy. So panic disorder, you can easily understand. Find a feeling of impending doom, please keep in mind, okay? Fine, so I have explained you the difference between anxiety and panic disorder, right? There should be no confusion. There should be no confusion. Next question. Phobia. First of all, you tell me what is the diagnosis? Yes, this is a case of what? This is a case of agoraphobia. No, this is a case of agoraphobia. See, yeah, fear of closed place, only closed, then closed. Fear of dark place, then nicto. Fear of closed, open, going somewhere alone, right? No, this is agoraphobia. So, there are four most important lines of management for phobia, which I'm going to teach you. Remember here, best is behavior therapy. Suppose, suppose if a patient is having cyanophobia. Yes, I can use a medicine, SSRI, benzodiazepine, beta blocker, I can use, I can use propanolol. But do you think if a person is scared of dogs, if I give him a tablet of SSRI, after that he will become Shaktiman? Obviously no. Right now, how to treat phobia? Expose the patient to anxiety, provoking stimuli. Exposure therapy is behavior therapy with the medicine overall best. Behavior therapy with the medicine is best. So remember, you should know four lines of management. First of all, systemic desensitization, where I have to expose the patient to anxiety provoking stimuli and along with that, medicine also. Systemic desensitization is best. Therapeutic graded exposure, only exposure. Flooding, severe, Severe form of exposure to the anxiety provoking stimuli. If a patient is having what? Arachnophobia, fear of spiders. Now, if you know that in a small room, so many spiders are there. Now, suddenly you are going to push him there. Suddenly in front of so many spiders. So, this is what severe form of exposure to anxiety provoking stimuli. This can be dangerous. This is flooding. And modeling means what? Where clinician is also participating. Where I am also demonstrating the method. It is called as modeling. So there are four methods of treatment for the phobia. Systemic desensitization is best. See this question. I have solved this question before also. Okay, Dr. Ting Tong, yes. This PDF is already shared in the Telegram group also. Annotated PDF will also be shared, okay? Hello, yes. Yes, easily you can see this question, you can easily solve this question. This is a case of what? OCD, right? This is a case of what? OCD. OCD means what? Obsessive and compulsive disorder, right? No, OCD. Now see, remember here, when a person is having what? Uncontrolled thoughts. That, see, suppose see here, no? See this photo, you can easily solve. Suppose if a person is having this kind of thoughts that and if your hands are dirty, 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 he knows that these thoughts are irrelevant. Uncontrolled thoughts, uncontrolled thoughts, obsession. When he wants to resist, when he wants to resist, he is having anxiety. He is having anxiety. To release the anxiety, he has to wash it. That is called as compulsion. So first of all, this is OCD of contamination. After closing the room, if a person is going to check the room again and again, whether I have locked or not, locked or not, locked or not, right? This is called as OCD of pathological doubt. This lady, when she cuts vegetable, no? Shape and size of every vegetable should be equal to 0.6 centimeter. 
even if one size is 0 0.5 or 0 0.7 centimeter now she will be having so much anxiety this is what ocd of symmetry right okay so remember here four major symptoms ocd of contamination of dirt and germs pathological doubts of rechecking the door again and again symmetry maintaining the shape and sizes and some people can have OCD of intrusive thoughts and images also. Intrusive means what? Weird. Thoughts and images also. Suppose if a person is having this kind of thoughts that he is having sex with the God. Whenever he will be having, whenever he will be having this kind of thought that hey, he is having sex with the God. After that what will happen? Oh my God, how could, how could I think, how could I think like this, right? So this is what? A kind of OCD disorder. Now after that, what he will do? After that, he will start reciting holy verses of holy book. This is called as what? Compulsion. So four major symptoms you should know. Contamination, pathological doubt, symmetry and intrusive thoughts and images. Now, five new types of OCD are added in ICD-11. Hoarding disorder. Hoarding means what? To keep on accumulating. To keep on accumulating the things. See these pictures, you can have more clarity. A person is not discarding any old stuffs for last 14 to 15 years. 14 to 15, old undergarments, eh? old books, 4th, 5th class mathematics, who will keep those books? Obviously, no. When you have old stuffs, obviously, you are going to throw everything. No, you are going to throw everything, right? Okay, fine. Basically, you have to discard the things. No, you have to discard the things, right? Ideally, you should discard it. But a person is having obsession of losing something important. Losing something important. So he does not discard anything. He keeps on accumulating old stuffs, old stuffs, old stuffs, old stuffs. So now situation will be like this. This is called as what? Holding disorder. This is called as holding disorder. Body dysmorphic disorder. Obsession of misshaped of any body part like nose, skin or nails. This is a type of OCD. See her body dysmorphic disorder. She looks perfectly fine but she keeps on looking herself into the mirror. Oh my god, I have become fat, I have become fat. Been... So every time she is looking in the mirror. She does not have anything just below her eye but now again and again she's looking into the mirror oh my god oh my god i have got what i have got what black eye bag black eye bag this is also a type of what body dysmorphic disorder okay suppose if a female she has a red she has read about deviated nasal septum no dns deviated nasal septum dns okay right now, again and again, she's coming to the doctor. Doctor, see, my nose is deviated. See, no, doctor, please check. My nose is actually deviated. Please check. After you say, hey, no, it looks fine. Uh, like everyone does not have a straight nose. So it's fine. No, 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 doctor, this is a case of deviated nasal septum. I think you should do, you know, rhinoplasty. You have to operate. Hey, do you have any breathing problem? No, 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 but you know, no problem. Again and again, she will come to you because she is suffering from what? Body dysmorphic disorder. Next is olfactory reference syndrome, where a person is having this kind of obsession that he is emitting a foul smell. He is emitting foul smell. He is emitting foul smell from his body or from his mouth. That's why whenever he is going to meet someone, he will maintain a distance. He will maintain a distance, right? This is called as olfactory reference syndrome. This is called as olfactory reference syndrome. Now, body focused. Repetitive behavior disorder, hair pulling disorder called as what? Trichotillomania. Excoriation or skin picking disorder. Let's see here. See, this is repeatedly asked question. See, skin excoriation disorder. When you are getting one pimple, ideally you should not be touching it. Ideally don't touch, right? No? But see here, what we will do? Like every time we are doing like this, every time, every time, because of this, many more pimples will come. This is also a type of obsession. Skin excoriation disorder. Suppose if you are having a small skin here, dead skin, every time we are removing, every time we are removing it now. Why? This is what? Skin excoriation disorder. Okay, this is a type of what? OCD. OCD. This can be seen even in substance abuse also like cocaine, amphetamine. How to treat? Remember, for all OCD, 
रिमेंबर फॉर ऑल ओ सी डी ओ सी डी ऑफ कंटेमिनेशन ओ सी डी इज वॉट ईगो डिस्टोनिक रिमेंबर इयर इट इज वॉट ईगो डिस्टोनिक राइट नॉट डिस्टोनिक देर विल बी इम्बेलेंस ऑफ विच न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर सीरोटोनिन तो विच ड्रग इज गिवेन अलॉन्ग विद द बिहेवियर थेरेपी फॉर ओ सी डी कैन यू आंसर मी यस वी हैव टू गिव वॉट एस एस आर आई वी हैव टू गिव वॉट एस एस आर आई एस एस आर आई See here. Here, person knows that he is wasting so much of time or energy. The patient can easily go into depression. Along with OCD, which other psychiatric illness is seen? It is depression. For depression, how much is the duration criteria? Fourteen days. For OCD also, duration criteria is fourteen days. Right? Fourteen days. So we have to add SSRI with behavior therapy like habit reversal. What is the meaning of habit reversal? Suppose if a patient every time she is going to you know she is going to each here each so right here we have to ask the patient whenever you feel that you are going to do like this you no know, stop your hand stop like your hand this is called what habit reversal don't do this habit hair pulling this is extremely important topic for your exam extremely important topic for your exam right okay fine. the earlier hair pulling was considered as impulsive control disorder but now hair pulling disorder means what trichotillomania hair pulling trichotillomania hair pulling disorder like this every time no this is a type of ocd now after hair pulling person can eat the hair also no this is called as what trico hair eating is called as what trico trichophagia after that do you think there can be obstruction of hair ball in git right what it is called as it is called a what trichobezoar it is called as trichobezoar remember here this picture was asked in last exam last fmg exam trichotillomania is very very important right hair ball obstruction inside the git it is called what trichobezoar you might have seen a psychiatric patient who can eat raw vegetables big big potato like this obstruction by vegetable material it is called as phytobezoar sometimes so basically bezoar means what in indigestible material inside the git sometimes see here there can be accumulation of milk also milk also na milk also so it is called about lactobezoar it is called as a lactobezoar some people can take many okay many medicine at the same time so many drugs so many of the tablets accumulation obstruction because of the drugs or tablets it is called about pharmacobezoar pharmacobezoar so remember when i talk about trichobezoar and all how to treat the patient last option is what surgical removal only surgical removal only the drug to be added ssri right ssri very very easy to understand right very easy to understand i know now one more is here see here hypochondriasis hypochondriasis as per dsm 5 it is a type of somatic illness but as per icd 11 new now it is considered as a type of ocd hypochondriasis means what illness anxiety disorder same like mbbs first year students like whatever he will be learning he will keep on asking the doctor doc i think i am also having this problem i think i am also having this problem i am also having this problem that is called as what illness anxiety disorder Your patient will keep on coming to you again and again, doctor. I think there is something wrong in my body. So you please do one thing. You do the X-ray of entire body, right? That is called as hypochondriasis. Hypochondriasis. Very easy to understand. Hypochondriasis. Now, how to treat OCD? First of all, remember here how to treat CBT exposure. Remember exposure and response prevention. the exposure and response prevention exposure and response prevention therapy ERT is the best right now along with this suppose the patient is not improving then please add a medicine also ssri or clomipramine very very important 
to treat OCD. Impulse control disorder, what is the meaning of impulse? Last time this was the question. Sudden urge to do something, to do something, right? Which, which can be injurious to other people. Suppose if a person is having this kind of urge, this kind of urge to burn something, burn something, that is called a what? Pyromania. To set something on fire. Aag laga do, right? Pyromania. Kleptomania, stealing the object. My question is that why kleptomania you are not keeping as antisocial personality disorder? How to differentiate antisocial personality and kleptomania we are keeping in impulse? How? Hmm? Remember, antisocial means what? Robbery? No. Robbery for expensive things only. Only for expensive things. Robbery for expensive things, right? But kleptomania means what? Urge, irresistible urge to steal anything, either tissue paper, pen, pencil, anything is here, no. There is only urge, if there is a tissue paper here, no. Here person will be having urge to steal something, like person will be looking here in the afternoon. This is kleptomania, irrespective of economic values. Right now, irrespective of economic values, this is called as kleptomania. Even a rich people can have, even a rich people can suffer from this disorder. Intermittent explosive disorder, destroying destructive activities. Destructive activities. What is the meaning of intermittent explosive disorder? What does it mean, explosion? Any boy or any young person or any man who is suffering from explosive disorder, what he will do? He will take one hockey, he will go out of the home, he will see five cars, he will break the windows of all the cars. See, whenever a young boy is there, he will enter the kitchen, he will break many, many plates. After that, after that, his mother will break. Is it to understand? This is called as what? Intermittent explosive disorder. Compulsive sexual behavior. See, excessive sexual desire in male or female. In male, excessive sexual desire, it is called as what? Excessive sexual desire in male is called as what? Satire acid. See, in female, it is called as what? In female? Nymphomania. Remember, satiriasis and nymphomania, no, these are what? These are what? Compulsive sexual disorder, actually. A type of impulsive control disorder. Person will perform sexual activities in one day for five times, six times. He will not be able to control. After that, he or she will have that kind of, you know, that kind of regret, that kind of feeling of guilt. Aneomania means what? Aneomania means what? Irresistible desire to do shopping. Dipsomania, irresistible desire to have what? Alcohol. Mutilomania, mutilate the animal. Mutilating, mutilating animals. Any boy who is suffering from, any boy who is suffering from mutilomania, what he will do? He will keep one blade in his hand. He will walk on the road. He will see any animal he will give. Uh, so he will mutilate the animal. So first of all, he will give one slash here, second animal, third animal. Basically, he is giving slash. Or he is mutilating the animal. Last to last time, INICT question. Gambling is also impulse control disorder. See this question now. See this question and try to answer, please. Yes, this is a case of what? Very good. This is a case of PTSD. This is a case of PTSD. After the trauma, there is what a stress disorder. So see here, what will be the symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder? PTSD. What will be the symptoms here? Suppose a simple logic is that, suppose if a 19-year-old boy who went who reached airport to receive his parents. He got very excited because flight is about to land. He could see flight is landing. He got very excited. But suddenly during landing plane got crashed. He was allowed to go inside. He's, he could see the separated head of his father from the pot. Do you think every time he will be having flashback and a nightmare? Yes, flashback and nightmare. Flashback and nightmare. Again and again he will be having the same dreams, nightmare and all. 
Do you think he will be having normal mood? No, anhedonia, anhedonia. Do you think he will be able to speak normally? No, a startle response, a startle response, right? A startle response. Do you think he would like to go back to airport again? Obviously, no, avoidance, avoidance, right? He will be able to sleep properly? Obviously, no, insomnia. All these are the symptoms of what PTSD. Remember here, PTSD is more common among females. And this is the disorder of a young age. Always keep in mind, young age disorder. Remember here, how much is the, how much is the duration criteria for PTSD? More than one month. More than one month. Same symptoms like PTSD. Duration less than one month is called as what? Acute stress disorder. PTSD symptoms can occur even after six months also. After six months, no PTSD with a delayed onset. With a delayed onset. Sometimes same symptoms like PTSD within two days. Within two days. It is called as what? Within 48 hours, it is called as what? Acute stress reaction. Acute stress reaction. PTSD. Now you can easily understand here right now PTSD see here I have explained you panic attack panic disorder PTSD acute stress disorder how to treat PTSD remember here PTSD should be treated with the help of what SSRI first line of management but best is always behavior therapy we are also using one therapy that is called as EMDR eye movement desensitization and reprocessing Keep in mind that treatment of PTSD, SSRI with behavior therapy. Most important line of management is what? Behavior therapy. Now see this question. See this question. Yes, this is a case of what? Hypochondriasis. This is a case of what? Hypochondriasis. See, remember here, very, very important. See, somatoform related disorder. Somatoform related disorder. Sometimes patient can have some symptoms. Patient can have some symptoms, but there is no pathology. In spite of reassurances, in spite of negative results, patient will keep on coming to you again and again, again and again, again and again. Okay, no? Even if you're asking, hey, nothing is there, but patient will keep on coming to it. This is called a what? Somatoform disorder, also called as, also called as what? Unexplained disorder. So if patient is having more than one symptom, patient number one, patient number A. If patient is having pains at multiple sites or pains at four sites, like shoulder pain, back pain, abdominal pain, joint pain. Patient can have GIT symptoms like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Patient can have CNS symptoms like mental confusion. Patient can have sexual symptoms like lack of libido. If patient is having more than one symptom, no, it is called as what? Somatization disorder. Somatization disorder is also called as Briquet syndrome. Briquet syndrome. Now, if patient is complaining of only pain, somatoform pain disorder, hypochondriasis, no, or minimal symptoms, minimal symptoms, only ideas of having a disease, only ideas of having a disease, that is called as hypochondriasis. Doctor, I think there is something wrong in my body. Please check. I think so. Something is wrong. Hypochondriasis. Also called as what? Illness, anxiety, disorder. Remember, as per ICD-11, hypochondriasis is what? A type of OCD. But as per DSM-5, this is a type of somatoform disorder. Right? Now, what about this one? What about this one? Please answer. See this question and try to answer.
see this question. See, sometimes there can be some patients, some patients who love to stay with you people, who loves to stay with they, who loves to get the attention of doctors and paramedical staffs. So a patient will fake some symptoms. Patient will be faking some symptoms to get hospital admission, right? So it is called as what? Factitious illness. It is called as what? Factitious illness. Remember here, it is called as what? Factitious illness. It is also called as hospital addiction. Hospital addiction. When patient is faking the symptom, it is called as Munchausen syndrome. When a caregiver like mother is faking symptom for the baby, it is called as what? Munchausen syndrome by proxy. Munchausen syndrome by proxy. When patient is faking the symptoms to get hospital admission, patient will keep on insisting for multiple tests, multiple things. Okay, patient will fake the symptom. Patient will say, doctor, I'm having lower abdominal pain right side. Nausea vomiting also. I think you are suspecting appendicitis. Now do one thing. Admit me for two days. Do whatever investigations you want. It is called as what? Factitious. What about this one? Answer please. See here. Psychological stress can produce some physical symptoms. Physical symptoms. So that person can get love, respect and attention. Psychological stress can produce physical symptoms. So that person can get love, respect and attention. This is called as dissociative disorder. It is called as what? Dissociative disorder. What to do? I think we... Yeah, if you have another pen, please give me. Okay, fine. See here. So basically what I'm saying here, that what I'm saying, see here, psychological stress can produce physical symptoms. Psychological stress can produce physical symptoms. So that person can get what? So that person can get what? So that person can get attention this is called as dissociative disorder dissociative disorder also called as conversion disorder old name was hysteria remember this is more common among females this is more common among females this is called as what dissociative disorder dissociative disorder old name hysteria please write down dissociative disorder keep in mind keep in mind when a person is having, you know, like uh, these kind of symptoms. Suppose if there is a patient of dissociative disorder, a person can become what? Uh, like person can become person can become fully paralyzed also. Yes. See, this is called about dissociative disorder. Yes, chalo, theek hai. So remember what is happening here. There is something called as a labella indifference. Labella indifference. Labella indifference. Ideally, when I will be losing one eyesight, I will be very, very much concerned. I would like to see my ophthalmologist as soon as possible. But dissociative patients, no, they will be unconcerned about the result, indifferent about the result. Suppose if they are losing one eyesight, they will say, what? no problem, I am having one more eye. This is called as labella indifference. Labella indifference. Please remember, this is important topic, labella indifference, seen in dissociative disorder, also called as conversion disorder, conversion Remember, this is seen more among females, more among females. Yes, yes, yes. Mother died, we tell her, yes. Easy to understand? So now you tell me, see, this is more common amongst females. So what will be the answer? This was the last to last time INICT question. 
आंसर इज वॉट डी ओनली आंसर इज डी ओनली साइको एनालिसिस सी यर साइको एनालिसिस चैप्टर सी वाई वी आर यूजिंग साइको एनालिसिस टू ब्रिंग आउट ओल्ड मेमरी इन टू द कॉन्शियस मेमरी it is called as a reaction process by which the forgotten memory we can retrieve back to the conscious memory sometimes what is happening here whenever a doctor and patient whenever a doctor and patient when doctor is doing what psychotherapy when doctor is doing what psychotherapy if see many a times what will happen patient can develop some emotion for their doctor it is called as transference but sometime doctor can also develop feeling for their doctor it is called as what counter transference these two words are important transference and counter transference whenever i talk about psychoanalysis who is who is called as father of psychoanalysis father of psychoanalysis sigmund freud sigmund very very important person right sigmund freud all right now here he gave a structural theory of mind he divided mind into id ego super ego remember only few points we should know here most important topic see here first of all sigmund freud gave topographical theory of mind he divided mind into conscious preconscious unconscious all right after that he gave a structural theory of mind he divided mind into id ego super ego after one week you have exam and one part of your one part of your mind is saying what i want to enjoy i want to enjoy so that is what i want to enjoy id but one part of your mind will say what you cannot enjoy you have to study you have to study now because you have exam that is called as what super ego remember id works on pleasurable principle but super ego works on moral principle who speaks about ethics so in between ego has to come and it has to bar hey uh, so like ego will say both of you don't fight do one thing you study for 4 hours and watch a movie for 1 hour again you study for 4 hours again you watch movie for 1 hour in this manner now you will say yeah this is a right idea right now so that is the uh, balancing is done by ego so ego works on reality principle id has completely unconscious domain but ego has unconscious as well as conscious super ego unconscious and conscious remember defense mechanisms no all defense mechanisms are being played by all defense mechanisms all defense mechanisms are played by unconscious domain of ego except one conscious which one separation okay now See this question. Solve the question now. Psychosexual stages of development. See earlier there was only one news that only adult can derive sexual pleasure, but Sigmund Freud said no. Even one year old child can also derive sexual pleasure. everyone said no how it can be possible so sigmund freud said that there are five stages of sexual cycle no five stages right no five stages five stages oral right the in between 0 to 1.5 year anal 1.5 to 3 year phallic 3 to 5 year latent 5 to 12 genital more than 12 sigmund freud said that oral means what a child will have this kind of you know like this kind of activities of deriving sexual pleasure that child will derive how after biting chewing sucking okay this is the method of a child to derive sexual pleasure up to 1.5 that is fine after 1.5 there should be shifting to other stage right he said that as per the age there are five stages but there can be fixation at a particular stage and that can result into that can result into another mental anal stage when a child will be toilet trained toilet trained in the beginning when mother is going to clean the toilet okay fine that will be a kind of you know sexual pleasure fine 
Up to three years, it is okay. This is called an anal stage. But if a nine-year-old boy is there, Still, he is enjoying. What does it mean? Oh my God, fixation has happened at anal stage. Fixation at anal stage can result into OCD. OCD. This was the question in last FMG. OCD. OCD can develop after the fixation at which stage? Anal stage, anal stage, anal. Right now? OCD. Now, phallic stay 3 to 5 years. See here, for both, for male and female, for both, for both, center of attraction organ will be what? Penis. See, you might have seen a 4 year old boy, every time he will keep on playing with his, you know, like, every time he will keep on rotating his penis. Even a girl child will be asking her mom, where is my penis? She will ask her mom, oh my God, my brother is having something extra, where is mine? And she will hold her mother responsible for this. A, a girl child will think like this, that she had a penis, but her mother has gastric. During this stage, a son will have sexual attraction towards his mother. It is called as Oedipus complex. At the same time, Daughter can have sexual feeling for her father. It is called as what? Electra complex. Electra complex. So during Oedipus complex, no. Son will be having this kind of, son will be having this kind of feeling that if my father will come to know about this, he will castrate me. It is called as what? It is called as castration anxiety. And girl child will always be thinking about what penis, where is my penis, where is my penis, right? So she will be what? Penis in. Up to five years, it is fine. Sexual feeling in the son for mother, in daughter for father. Up to five years, you might have seen girl child will always be sitting in the lap of father. Boys, a boy child will always be holding his mother. Right now, up to five years, it is fine. It is psychological, it is natural. But if a 15-year-old boy is having sexual feeling for his mother, what does it mean? Fixation has happened at phallic stage. And this can result into, and this can result into neurotic illness. This can result into hysteria. This can result into hysteria. Fixation at phallic stage can result into hysteria. Latent stage, most of the time, child will be sexually inactive. Child will focus more on learning skills. More than 12 years of age, a child will be, so now, genital organs. See here, after 12 year after puberty, a person can derive sexual pleasure with the help of what? Genital organ. Fixation at latent and genital can result into neurotic illness. Neurotic illness. Fixation at phallic stage can result into hysteria. Fixation at latent and genital can result into neurotic illness. Fixation at anal stage can result into OCD. Now, the most, see here, the most beginning phase of life is oral stage. Fixation at oral stage can result into fever illness. Like schizophrenia, mood disorder like depression, substance abuse like alcoholism. Okay? Alcoholism. Personality disorder like dependent personality. Personality disorder like dependent personality. See, uh, this table is extremely important for your exam. Five stages of psychosexual stages of development. Five stages. Oedipus complex, electro complex. Very, very important. Sexual attraction of son towards his mother, Oedipus. Sexual attraction of Girl child towards her father is called as Electra complex. Very, very important. Please go through all these. Organic mental disorder, especially. See this question. What is the answer here? Answer, please. This is a case of what? Acute delirium. Remember here, just two days after the admission, 
Suppose if a patient was admitted after their bonds and what happened for, for last 14 days I was doing the dressing but what happened today? Hey, yesterday I forgot to do the dressing and today what happened? Suddenly now when I'm going to see that patient, now patient suddenly he's like, hey, who are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Basically, now he's not recognizing me. He's not recognizing his family member. He said, oh my God, where am I? Oh my God, this is jail or what? Oh my God, this scorpion, a scorpion, a snake. A snake is going to kill me. Please remember here, sudden onset of symptom, acute onset of symptom, sudden what altered sensorium or disorientation to time, place and person. After that patient can have what? Insomnia, irritation, agitation. Irritation, agitation, this is called as what? Delirium. This is called as what? Delirium. Acute condition of what? Delirium. Delirium is always acute. Sudden onset. Sudden onset. Remember, here also there is what? Disorientation of time, place and person. Person is having hallucination also. Most common will be what? Visual hallucination. Okay, easy to understand. This is called as what? Delirium. Delirium can be because of what? Delirium can be because of what? long you know like long term hospitalization major surgeries after drug abuse after alcohol right now okay fine see here so i have taught you that in delirium delusion and hallucination can be seen okay fine is schizophrenia also na how to differentiate remember here first of all delirium is always acute is schizophrenia is never acute See, in delirium, there will be what altered sensorium or clouding of consciousness or mental confusion. Is schizophrenia? No. Is schizophrenia may patient will be well oriented. Okay. In delirium, most common hallucination will be what? Visual. But is schizophrenia most common will be what? Auditory. In delirium, delusion will be there but only for short term. Short term. Schizophrenia long and constant. In this manner, they are going to frame question in psychiatry. How to differentiate delirium and schizophrenia? Delirium and schizophrenia, right? How to treat? Treat the root cause. Treat the root cause, right? No, treat the root cause. Very easy to understand, right? In the same manner, dementia. What is the meaning of dementia? Organic mental disorder. You should know about delirium, dementia. Dementia is what? Dementia is old age. Decline in cognition, decline in cognition, very slowly, very slowly, or you can say what, very slowly, progressively, without any problem in consciousness, without any problem in consciousness, there will be no problem in consciousness, this is called as a dementia, how to differentiate delirium and dementia, delirium is always acute, Dementia is never acute. Dementia is very, very slow. In delirium, there will be clouding of consciousness. Dementia, no clouding of consciousness. In delirium, there can be fluctuation of symptom. Here, no fluctuation. Very easy to understand. Delirium and dementia, keep in mind, very, very important. If patient is having delirium, dementia together, it is called as B-clouded dementia. It is called as what? B-clouded dementia. Dementia is of two types. One is called a cortical type, cortical dementia. Another is a subcortical. If there will be damage in a cerebral cortex, there will be amnesia. Aphasia, acalculia, apraxia, agnosia, right? Like in Alzheimer's, in Alzheimer's. TJDN, right? Alzheimer's, subcortical, when subcortical structures are involved. Any example of subcortical? Can you give me the example here? Where cerebellum, basal ganglia are involved. Motor symptoms are there, something like this. So yes, like Parkinson, Huntington chorea. Wilson's disease, these are subcortical dementia. Remember here, overall most common cause of dementia is what? Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's, right? Dementia, most common cause. Remember, dementia with Lewy body. Dementia with Lewy body. Mixed presentation. Cortical, subcortical also. Here there will be 
मैक्सिमम विजुअल हेलुसिनेशन मैक्सिमम विजुअल हेलुसिनेशन सो इन डिमेंशिया विद लुई बॉडी देर कैन बी डिल्यूशन ऑफ मिस आइडेंटिफिकेशन नो सो यस लास्ट टाइम क्वेश्चन डिमेंशिया विद लुई बॉडी ये कैपग्रास सिंड्रोम कैन बी सीन कैपग्रास सिंड्रोम Cap grass, right? No, where a real person is replaced by an imposter. This is what delusion of misidentification, right? So this can be seen with dementia with Lewy body. Remember here, dementia with Lewy body. Remember here, dementia with Lewy body. Okay, all dementia will be old age problem only. Old age problem, right? Old age, except one. Which type of dementia can occur in young age? Remember, if any patient who is suffering from Down syndrome, who is suffering from Down syndrome, he can start having dementia at the age of 35. So remember, here early age dementia is seen in Down syndrome. Now, next chapter, child psychiatry. See this question. See this question. See, whenever there will be problem in social interaction, problem in language, problem in behavior, problem in IQ. This is called as what? Autism. No? Autism. This is called as autism. Same symptoms like autism with microcephaly, microcephaly, with loss of acquired skills. with breath holding spells with breath holding spells this is called as what red syndrome this is called as red syndrome red syndrome this is called as red syndrome remember red syndrome is especially seen among females there can be mutation of a gene that is called a mec p2 gene mec p2 gene excellent mec p2 gene especially among females actually Red syndrome is exclusive to females. All other autistic disorders are seen among males, more common among males. Remember here, more common among? Yes, very good. So see, here you can understand, if there will be problem in IQ, problem, language, problem, social interaction, problem, right now? See, it is called as autism. Autistic spectrum disorder like red, uh, like red syndrome, all these are autistic spectrum disorder. Symptoms like autism with microcephaly, with seizure, with breath holding spells, right? Breath holding spells, with loss of acquired skills. It is called as red syndrome. Earlier there was no any drug, but recently this year only in the March, a new drug got launched. Only one drug is there, that is called which drug? Trophinetide, trophinetide, trophinetide. Okay, same please write down here. See, one more is called as Heller's syndrome, Heller's syndrome, Heller's. Where, remember, symptoms like autism. Symptoms like autism with regression of learned behavior. That's why it is called what regressive psychosis. It is also infantile psychosis, loss of acquired skills, and loss of bowel and bladder, bowel and bladder control. Anywhere child can defecate. This is called Heller syndrome. Remember, IQ is the normal, language is normal. But social interaction is abnormal. This is called as Asperger syndrome. My name is Khan. Here only you are going to see eyelids of precocity. Eyelids of precocity. Good doctor, right? Now, IQ, language, social interaction, everything is normal. But whenever this child is writing any exam, he is getting a fail. It is called as what? Learning disability. What is the most common learning disability? Remember, 
डिसलेक्सिया तारे जमीन पर आई डिसलेक्सिया ओके डिसलेक्सिया इन एस्पर्जर सिंड्रोम यू कैन सी हाइपर लेक्सिया अर्ली एबिलिटी टू रीड देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन इन सेंट्रल मेडिकल सर्विस लास्ट टाइम इन एबिलिटी टू राइट इज कॉल्ड एज वॉट इन एबिलिटी टू राइट इज कॉल्ड वॉट डिसग्राफिया राइट नो डिसग्राफिया In this manner, we have completed all autistic spectrum disorder. Autistic spectrum disorder, right? Oh, dysgraphia. Very good. Now see this question. When there will be problem in attention? Okay. When child will be hyperactive? When there will be what impulsivity? in attention roaming in the class disturbing other children when teacher is asking for a question he is not able to wait for his he is not able to wait for his turn it is a case of what adhd attention deficit hyperactivity disorder remember here this is a disorder of emergency if you are not going to treat adhd on time no see this kind of child will always be punished right now will always be punished this kind of child will always be standing outside the classroom right now so if you are not going to treat on time child is at the risk of what development of in future anti social personality alcoholism and depression so that's why we have to treat the patient as soon as possible we can use a two drugs cns stimulant or non stimulant also stimulant and non stimulant also which one should be the drug of choice stimulant or non stimulant why he is having lack of attention why is having lack of attention because his cns is not at all stimulated not at all stimulated when you smoke when you have tea coffee when your cns gets stimulated after that you get hyper no after that you are having good attention good concentration no so this child is having what non stimulated cns basically his cns is not at all stimulated that's why we have to give what we have to give what cns stimulant as the drug of choice cns stimulant cns stimulant right what is the drug of choice methylphenidate remember methylphenidate methylphenidate okay question is that do you think in all conditions we can use stimulant in two condition we should avoid stimulant when child is having adhd with a seizure and since cns stimulant is having what severe addiction severe dependency so if there is what a family history of drug dependency we should use non stimulant like atomoxetine atomoxetine is most preferred because there is no dependency adhd can persist in adults also so even if adhd with adults will be there no atomoxetine is more preferred atomoxetine is more preferred okay now substance abuse disorder see here what is this substance overall some one liner question what is the most common substance abuse right now in india see every year almost every 2 3 years it will keep on changing what is the most common substance abuse right now in india nicotine or you can say tobacco tobacco actually tobacco now it is again now it is tobacco now it is tobacco most common substance abuse most common illegal substance to be a illegal illicit illegal cannabis okay most common substance use coffee most common substance abuse for which treatment is sought patient will come to the hospital alcohol alcohol most common drug abuse after doctor's prescription after doctor's prescription benzodiazepine benzodiazepine these can be your one liner question okay no one liner question now see here the methods of abusing i'm not going to teach you how to abuse okay for the question for the patients this is called about this is called about electronic no and electronic so this is what vaping this is the news among among youths that this is not dangerous please remember this is equally dangerous same like cigarette 
So this is vaping, this is what? Smoking. This is what? Snorting. And it's snorting. Or like see in the snuff box, if a person is going to, this is what? Sniffing, snorting and sniffing. Sniffing. Okay. Now what about this? Some drugs, especially heroin, especially heroin, right now? So over the aluminium fuel, the powder will be there. And from the lower part, a person is going to heat. When a smoke will be coming like this, you no know, smoke will be coming. So then after a person is going to taste this, stomach, you know, a person is going to taste the smoke like, like this. This is called as what? Chasing the dragon. Chasing the dragon. Chasing the dragon. Method of abusing a substance, right? Chasing the dragon, right? Very good. Chasing the dragon, especially for heroin and then cooking. Okay, fine. See here, some, you know, like solvents, some liquid kind of, you know, substance abuse. So when you are using a bag and then, so this is called as what? Bagging. Bagging. And in the slum areas, young boys will do what? Like they will soak, you know, petrol, diesel, glues, thinners, fevicol and all in a cloth. This is called a what? Huffing. Huffing, right? Some people can, you know, inject their drugs. So first of all, they're going to inject in the peripheral blood vessels. After four to five shots, these are going to get punctured. Then they're going to shift to the main blood vessels here, no? This is called as main lining. It is, this is called a what? A main lining. Sometimes they can become senior anesthetist also. They can choose this blood vessels also. Here also they can inject the drug, right? Jiggler vein also, right? Sometimes they can do what? A skin injection. Under the skin, you can see a small, a small skin popping like this. Skin, skin, you know, like this. This is called as skin popping. Skin popping, main lining. These are the methods of drug abuse, right? Okay. See this question, alcohol is most important. See the alcohol which is being used is called as what? Ethanol. It is called as ethanol. Remember, methanol is poisonous. So, they say that it's a bad drug. It's a bad drug. Or they say that it's a spirit. So, uh, like, basically raw. Methanol is actually poisonous. Okay, so when some patients are getting admitted in hospital because of methanol poisoning, what should be the antidote now for methanol? Usko bol ab achha sarap piyo, achha piyo. Ethanol is the antidote. Remember like that, okay? Ethanol and what is the name of a drug? Fomepizol, Fomepizol. Ethanol and you remember please Fomepizol, antidote for methanol poisoning. Remember here, benzodiazepine has addiction, no? Benzodiazepine has addiction. Even there can be overdoses of benzodiazepine also, right now? What is the antidote for benzodiazepine poisoning? Last time MCI question. Antidote for benzodiazepine poisoning. Plumazenil. Plumazenil. Okay, fine. Now, solve this question. Three days before patient came, right? So this is a case of what? Delirium tremens. Delirium tremens, right? Okay, fine. Now see, this table is extremely important. First of all, as per legal limit in India, how much is the, how much is the legal driving limit? 30 milligram. 30 milligram. Means up to 30 milligram if you drink and drive, no fine. Okay. Right? Up to 30. See, increasing dose of a substance is giving you kick. It is called as what? Tolerance. It is called a tolerance. Decreasing dose of a substance is giving you kick. It is called as what? Reverse tolerance. Now, suppose if a person is severe alcoholic person. Severe alcoholic person. Very good. Now, he has stopped alcohol because of what? Religious issues, because of family issues or professional issues. So first symptom of withdrawal will happen after 6 to 8 hours. So what is the first symptom? First symptom is what? Tremors. After that there can be GIT symptoms like nausea, vomiting, right? There can be autonomic nervous system symptoms also. There can be severe headache, cutting and all, right? Okay. 
More than 12 hours. There will be what? More than 12 hours. Hallucinosis. It is called alcoholic hallucinosis. Mostly there will be what? Auditory hallucinosis. A person will be able to hear the noises of a small insect. Noises of a small insect. Noises of a small insect. Here patient knows that he is hearing these small, small insects noise because of what? Alcohol. So inside this person? No. So it is called as what? Pseudo hallucination. More than 24 hours, there will be what? Seizure. Which type of seizure? It is called as cluster seizure. GTCS type. After taking a rum, a person is having fits. It is called as what? A rum fits. Okay. More than 48 to 72 hours. Now what will happen? More than 48 to 72 hours. What will happen now? Now patient will be suddenly what? Patient will be disoriented to time, place and person. Patient will be very aggressive. Patient can have seizure. Patient can have the resting tremors or any kind of the tremors, right? Now there will be what? Severe condition that is called as what? Delirium. Tremens. This you are not going to forget. Delirium tremens, favorite topic for MCI. Along with this severe hallucination will be there. Maximum there will be visual hallucination. After that there can be auditory or tactile hallucination. Auditory or tactile hallucination, right? Auditory or tactile hallucination. Easy to understand? Right? Auditory or tactile hallucination. Very easy to understand, no? Remember here, delirium tremens is emergency. You have to you have to treat the patient as soon as possible. If you are not going to treat the patient as soon as possible, patient can die. 20% mortality rate. How to treat the patient? Give the injection of benzodiazepine and vitamin B1. Give the injection of what? Benzodiazepine with the vitamin B1. With the vitamin B1. Benzodiazepine like lorazepam. Lorazepam. And vitamin B1, thymine, because in alcoholism there will be what? Deficiency of thymine. Why we are giving this drug? Why to give vitamin B1? Because deficiency of vitamin B1 can lead to what? Wernicke's encephalopathy and Korsakoff psychosis. Very easy to understand. Now, how to treat? How to treat? Very, very important. Okay, chalo, fine. Now we are going to treat the patient. We are going to treat the patient. First of all, whenever you are getting a patient of alcoholism, of alcoholism, first of all, you have to what? Detoxify. You have to what? Detoxify. Detoxification is needed. How you are going to detoxify the patient? Injection of benzodiazepine with vitamin B1. Vitamin B1 for 7 to 14 days. Okay, fine. Detoxification. Question is that, what is the benzodiazepine of choice? What is the benzodiazepine of choice? Chlorodizepoxide. Chlorodizepoxide. Chlorodizepoxide or a diazepam. But these two drugs can be used only when the liver is healthy. Liver of patient is healthy. Remember here, very, very important, you should know, if liver function test is a normal, then you can use chlordizepoxide or a diazepam. Why? Because these are long-acting drugs. <laughs> For a chlordizepoxide, half-life is 12 to 24 hours. For diazepam, half-life is 10 to 12 hours. So these are actually what long-acting drugs, no? So when liver is healthy, then only you can use. Otherwise, if liver function test is not healthy, then go with short-acting drugs. Lorazepam or Oxazepam. These are short-acting drugs. Half-life is only 3 to 4 hours. 3 to 4 hours. Very, very important. Now, what is the most sensitive marker for alcoholism? Severe alcoholism. Can you answer me? If you have alcoholic patient, you are going to do what? Liver function test. You are going to check for AST, ALT, alkaline phosphate, right? GGT, uh, mean corpuscular volume. Everything will be elevated. What is the most sensitive marker? 
C D T. Remember here C D T. Carbohydrate deficit transferrin. Carbohydrate deficit transferrin. This is the most sensitive and most specific marker. Okay. One more formula we can use. If we know how much alcohol patient has consumed, we can calculate exact blood alcohol content. Widmark formula, right? Okay. There is a questionnaire system which we are using in psychiatric cage. Because see, most of the alcoholic patient, if you ask him, hey, do you drink? How, how he will react? Ah, no, doctor, no, 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 obviously no. After that, he say, hey, I'm not your father. Tell me the truth. After that, he will say, for, hey, I'm doctor. Tell me the truth. Then all I can give you the complete treatment. Doctor, eight. So what does it mean? Most of the patients will lie. That's why we have to ask some question. Cage questionnaire. Cage. I'm asking, have you ever felt that you have to cut down on your drinking habit? Did people annoy you by objecting your drinking habit? Have you ever feel, have you ever felt guilty about your drinking habit? Guilt, G for guilty. E. Have you ever taken the alcohol in the morning as an eye opener? As an eye opener. If answer is yes for more than two questions, 100% he is a severe case of alcoholic. Okay, severe case of alcoholism and he needs proper treatment. He needs proper treatment. Cage questionnaire. Please remember some other questionnaire system is cough. Where do we use a cough questionnaire? Cough questionnaire. Eating disorder. Where do we use M chat questionnaire? M chat. M chat questionnaire. Autism. Okay. Very good. Very good. Right. Now, deficiency of vitamin B1 can lead to Wernicke's and Korsakoff. Keep in mind, Wernicke's and Korsakoff. Very, very important topic. Very, very important. Remember here. When I talk about Wernicke's encephalopathy and Korsakoff syndrome, Wernicke's is always acute. Korsakoff is long term. Chronic. So in Wernicke's encephalopathy, what is happening is symptoms will be what? Goa. Global confusion means maximum level of maximum level of confusion. Patient cannot recall his name also. O for ophthalmoplegia. A for ataxia. A for ataxia. Okay. A for ataxia. Now remember here, go for, see here, G for what? Global confusion means what? Maximum level of confusion. Ophthalmoplegia, there will be involvement of sixth cranial nerve. After that, second is third. Okay. So there can be involvement of what? Sixth cranial nerve, abducens nerve. Patient can have what? Horizontal nystagmus ataxia. How to treat? You have to give injection of vitamin B1, injection of thymine, 250 milligram. Question is that if you are giving injection, what is the earliest to recover? Ophthalmoplegia. Okay. Even after complete treatment of Wernicke's encephalopathy, Ophthalmoplegia and ataxia will be there. Residual. And what about the Korsakoff syndrome? Korsakoff syndrome. Long standing. Right now? Long standing. Korsakoff. There will be what? Confabulation. 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 What is the meaning of confabulation? Making false stories to fill the memory gap. So basically, Korsakoff or Wernicke's, yes, these are what? Memory problem, amnestic problem, right? A neurological problem. Remember, Wernicke's and Korsakov, very, very important. One more, one more disorder is there that is called a what? Marcia Fava, Bignami disorder. Now, heroin, opioid. Here we are going to talk about what? Morphine, codeine, right? Now, morphine and codeine, these are what? Natural, right? These are natural. Now, we are going to learn what? Heroin, synthetic. Heroin is what? DM, diacetyl morphine. Diacetyl morphine. Diacetyl morphine, heroin. Okay. See here, very, very important. Suppose if a person, 
Heroin is what? Actually what? Opioid. Opioid. From which plant it will be harvested? Poppy plant. What is the, see what are the street names of heroin? Smack or brown sugar? Smack or brown sugar? Brown sugar. Okay, fine. Now, what are the symptoms of opioid poisoning? What are the symptoms of opioid poisoning? Remember C, P, R. If patient is in coma or immobile. Okay, no? After P for pinpoint pupil. Pinpoint pupil. Or you can say meiosis and respiratory depression. Respiratory depression. 100% this is a case of what? Opioid poisoning. Opioid poisoning. How to treat? What is the see, what is the antidote of opioid poisoning? Antidote is what? Nalexone. IV injection. Short term, right now, short half-life, only 30 minutes. For relapse prevention, we have to give what? Naltrexone. Naltrexone for relapse prevention. Half-life is 96 hours. For withdrawal symptoms, we can give what? Methadone. Methadone as a substitute, right? Methadone. Easy to understand? All these are one-liner questions you can solve. Now, when a person was abusing opioid for longer duration, if he is going to stop, what will be the withdrawal symptom? Remember only flu-like symptoms. Very, very important. Flu-like symptoms like running nose, running eyes, rhinorrhea, lacrimation, sweating. Patient can have diarrhea also, yawning and low erection. I have taught you in heroin overdose, there will be meiosis pinpoint pupil. But heroin withdrawal, there will be midriasis. There will be what? Midriasis. Very easy to understand. Related to heroin, you have to learn all these points. What about this one? Answer please. Yes, this is a case of what? Flashback phenomena. This is a case of what? This is a case of flashback phenomena. Remember, a flashback in PTSD is what? That is horrible. Flashback in PTSD is what? Horrible. Nightmare and a flashback. Here, what is happening here? Whenever I talk about, you know, LSD and cannabis. LSD and cannabis. Remember here, see here, what is the active ingredient of cannabis? THC tetrahydrocannabinol, which is having very high fat solubility. So see here, whenever you are abusing cannabis, no, whenever you are abusing cannabis, remember here, whenever you are using cannabis, there will be deposition of tetrahydrocannabinol in fat. After two days, even if you are not abusing, there will be slow release of TSC in your blood. And even in the absence of using it, you will start enjoying it, right? Now, this is called as what? Flashback phenomena. In PTSD, Flashback phenomena is horrible. In cannabis abuse, it is pleasurable flashback phenomena, right? Flashback phenomena, right? Very easy to understand. Because of cannabis, yes, uh, psychotic symptoms can occur. Plant of cannabis is hemp plant. So, psychotic symptom because of hemp is called as what? Hemp insanity. Flashback phenomena. Running amok means what? A person who was abusing cannabis means what? Actually, bhang, ganja, hashish, jaras, hash oil, right? So, see, remember here, running amok means what? If a person was abusing bhang for last many years, one day he will start having this kind. Maybe even if he has stopped it, someday what will happen here? No? He can develop a disease of mind where he will become very aggressive. He will be having a rage. He will start running on the road. He can hurt anyone. He can murder also. It is called as what? Running amok. Running amok. For this, will there be punishment or not? Can you answer me? No punishment. As per IPC number 84. Why? Because this is considered as a disease of mind. He does not understand the consequences. He does not understand what he is doing, right? So running amok is not a punishable offense. Keep in mind. Keep in mind, right? Okay, fine. Easy to understand? Now, what will be the symptoms after abusing the cannabis? How will you understand that patient has, a person has consumed bhang or cannabis? 
How will you understand that? What will be the symptoms? What will be the symptoms? First of all, remember red eyes. Increased appetite. Suppose if a person is having a red conjunctiva, red eyes, and when he is entering the house and alone he can eat, you know, four or five plate biryani, right? Apart from that, symptoms like, you know, uh, like uh, symptoms like floating in the sky, right? Floating in the sky, right? Symptoms like depersonalization, derealization. Patient will say, what? I can hear light, I can watch music, synesthesia, reflex hallucination. All this basically a dreamlike state in cannabis, bang, right? Bang. Sometimes there can be bad trip also. Bad trip. Bad trip means what? Suddenly patient will be having what? See, suddenly patient will be having what? See, when he will be enjoying, no, suddenly he will have this kind of, you know, like feeling of fear, feeling of severe fear. He will be what? He will be so much scared. This is called a bad trip. Bad trip. So almost all the symptoms of cannabis will be same in LSD also. All hallucinogens like LSD, like, you know, psilocybin, MDMA, fencyclidine, ketamine, right? Okay, fine. A motivational syndrome means what? Patient or person does not want to do anything. How to treat? In the beginning, benzodiazepine. After that, psychotherapy. Cocaine. Cocaine, remember here, cocaine is very, very important. First of all, cocaine will cause what? Severe vasoconstriction. Severe vasoconstriction. Cocaine is used as what? And a cocaine is used what? As local anesthesia also. Vasoconstriction. Okay. So remember, cocaine can cause, when a person is going to sniff, so do you think there can be nasal septal perforation? Nasal septal perforation? Yes, nasal septal perforation, right? Or nasal septal perforation. When a person is going to take it orally, so do you think there can be severe vasoconstriction? Because of vasoconstriction, there will be ischemia, lack of blood supply. After that, there can be necrosis, gangrene also. Na? So black, black. Do you think there can be black color of tongue also? Yes, jet black pigmentation of tongue. Okay? Fine. Very, very easy to understand. So basically vasoconstriction is there, no? peripheral arteries, even central arteries are also involved. So there is a risk of heart attack, myocardial infarction. There is a risk of C here, so blood, lack of blood supply to the brain also, hypoxia and all, ischemia. So see here, patient can have, see patient will be having what? Patient can have seizure also. For seizure, cocaine can cause seizure, amphetamine can cause seizure, seizure, okay? Remember here, cocaine and amphetamine, amphetamine. These are a stimulant drug. These are a stimulant. Okay. Amphetamine drug is used to increase the performance. To increase the performance. Okay. Cocaine is a drug where patient can have suicidal tendency also. Suicidal tendency also. Right now? Suicidal tendency also. And obviously what? See here. Remember here. So here patient can have what? See, remember. Yes, see here. So because of a stimulation of dopamine, norepinephrine, and all, patient can have what? Now see, understand psychotic symptoms. So patient can have what? Feeling like some insects under the skin. That is called a what? Tactile hallucination. See, remember here, I have taught you tactile hallucination. Very, very important. Also called as formication, magnans phenomenon. All these points are important. Now last is what? Tobacco here. So tobacco means what? Nicotine. It is going to stimulate dopamine and acetylcholine. If a person is going to stop after smoking, you have good attention, good concentration, good judgment power, right? After stopping, lack of attention, lack of concentration, lack of judgment power, dullness. How to help the patient? Nicotine replacement therapy. You can give gums, patches, inhalers, spray. Two medicine you have to keep in mind, bipropion and verniclide. Bipropion and verniclide. See, this is actually alpha 4 beta 2 agonist. Out of bipropion and verniclide, verniclide is better. 
टू एंटी स्मोकिंग ड्रग ऑलवेज यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड ऑलवेज यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड वर्नीक्लाइन एंड बिप्रोपियन Bupropion is what NDRI. Dopamine is getting here. No, dopamine is there. So patient will get dopamine. He will feel happy. Now last topic here, very small topic. The learning theory. We learn something with the help of classical conditioning and operant conditioning. Whenever we are going to pair up something, we can increase or decrease the behavior, like dog and bell experiment, right? Classical conditioning, operant condition. So classical conditioning. we should know about aversion therapy aversion therapy aversion therapy okay aversion therapy okay aversion therapy classical conditioning aversion therapy this is specially for alcoholism and paraphilia paraphilia here alcoholism how see in alcoholism first of all we have detoxified the patient we have de we have what we have done what detoxification of the patient but after that maintenance of abstinence is also important no so see at this topic i have forgot there so here we can cover remember here maintenance of abstinence we can give what deterrent drug we can give what deterrent drug like disulfiram 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 drug disulfiram i hope you remember i hope you remember the metabolism of alcohol alcohol will be converted to acetaldehyde further it will be converted into acetate and finally it will be converted into carbon dioxide and water Do you think some enzymes are playing the role here? Here alcohol dehydrogenase, here aldehyde dehydrogenase. Remember, I have taught you a drug for me, pizol, no? For me, pizol. This blocks alcohol dehydrogenase and disulfiram. Remember, disulfiram very very important. This blocks. This blocks what? This blocks acetaldehyde or aldehyde dehydrogenase. Okay, fine. Remember. when i already have completed detoxification i have told my patient don't drink any more so okay fine he is motivated what happened after one month his old friend came and now he went for alcohol and he went for alcohol okay so now he is already on disulfiram remember here disulfiram drug this is going to block this enzyme completely irreversible no completely now there will be what whenever he is going to drink the alcohol no now there will be no conversion of acetaldehyde to acetate to carbon dioxide and water there will be accumulation of acetaldehyde acetaldehyde is an itching agent which can which works on histaminic and serotonin this is going to increase all these so remember here even after even after this when patient is going to take alcohol acetaldehyde accumulation can cause what see here whenever he wants to have pleasure he is already on disulfiram disulfiram will give him punishment pairing up pairing up classical conditioning aversion therapy now when he is going to drink though there will be accumulation of acetaldehyde patient will have a red rashes on his body nausea vomiting low bp okay low bp patient can go into shock patient can have seizure also and patient can die also this is called a disulfiram ethanol reaction so basically with the punishment when pleasure will be given and now patient will he will hate the app this is called a deterrent right not deterrent you should also know about anti craving drugs like acamprosate naltrexone and all right okay fine now operant conditioning means what as per the result as per the result we learn some behaviors like if there will be suppose if you ask a child suppose if you ask a child that i will give you one chocolate if you study for one hour child will say what i will study for two hours give me two chocolate you can increase the behavior this is called as you can increase the behavior by giving a reward this is called as what see this is called as what positive reinforcement that's why in medical colleges in all the colleges in all the colleges rewards are being given medal 
okay world cup trophy certificates right now so see your medal reward and all these these are what positive reinforce reinforcement so that other students should also work very very hard positive reinforcement negative reinforcement because of the fear of your father if you are studying more right now so so that is called a negative reinforcement in these two behavior will be increasing frequency will be increasing positive reinforcement for the reward negative reinforcement and right? for the fear of something punishment if a child is using foul language slap him after the child will not be using foul language punishment will decrease the behavior extinction lack of motivation a hard working intern no one has appreciated her she has stopped working that is called as extinction okay in this manner we have completed almost entire psychiatry i think i have taken so much time actually six uh, six and half hours i have taken right we have started by 7:15 now it is 135 okay it's okay but see चलो ठीक है फाइन ठीक है सो थैंक यू सो मच बट यू नो हाउ मच आई हैव टॉट यू नो मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व आई एक्सपेक्ट अप्रोक्सीमेटली टेन क्वेश्चंस इन साइकेट्री यू कैन सॉल्व ऑल द क्वेश्चंस ऑल राइट चलो देन थैंक यू सो मच आई होप राइट वेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड राइट राइट चलो ठीक है आई एम ग्लैड टू सी यू पीपल Doctor, spirituality, yes, more than enough to pass FMG. Yes, 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 yes. See here, PDF of this file is available on the Telegram group. A noted PDF will also be given. Okay. So then, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Wherever you are, stay happy, stay healthy, and God bless you all. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Good night.